Yo, what is going on everybody? I'm back. Uh, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I was freaking tired and I went and did some fun stuff. I'll tell you about that later. We're in the new E-Jets today though. Um, we're going to be taking it from Boston over to DCA, then DCA back to Boston. It's about an hour and 15 minute hop both ways. And if we want to and we're feeling like it, we'll give it another trip over from uh, Boston to JFK. So it should be pretty fun. We'll test out this plane. I've done a few just like basic ground tests to make sure, you know, the plane's not going to like fall out of the sky. And it seems like it's working a little bit, either a little bit even more stable than it was before. It's still a little bit of a buggy plane, but we'll see how it's going. How are you guys doing this fantastic Thursday though? Hope for you, if you had a good day. Got Mr. V Seth in the house, PNG announcement in two hours. Oh yeah, we're gonna be, uh, since I'm still gonna be live streaming and I wanna watch it myself, uh, we're gonna watch it as it's happening. So whenever the premiere happens, I think it's like eight or something, we'll also be looking at it. What's going on, Gavin? Appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing, Gavin? Julian's is in the house. How's it going, Julian's? Appreciate you stopping in. Mr. Fires in the house. Moo, how's it going, Fires? Just got Mr. Paul in the house. What's up? It's been a long time. It has, Paul. How are you doing, man? Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, Rafita says, what gate? Yeah, we're uh, Charlie 30, my guy. We're going to get connected and invent some here very quickly, man. Uh, Big S says you should do a live reaction. Yeah, we're definitely we definitely are. I was actually surprised they're doing a, a little thing here. So maybe that means it's around the corner. We'll see. I mean, at least if we're getting a whole preview video, it has to be somewhat done. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking that it's probably going to be like April it comes up. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these songs turned on for you guys. Give me a quick second. All right, cool. Anyways, <clears throat> we got Mr. Uh, Mo in the house. How's it going, Mo? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Diesel's in the house. How's it going, Diesel? Appreciate you stopping in, man. I heard you had some issues with the Phoenix. Did you get them figured out, man? Uh, Julian says, half of your viewership's definitely waiting on the 777 previews. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are. I'm, I don't blame them, to be honest with you. What's going on, Classy? Appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, I'm going to fly with you uh, on this one. It will be fun. Hey, there you go, Classy. Appreciate you flying with me, man. Yeah, it should be, should be a nice little flight. We got the river visual planned for today, so we'll see how this plane handles river viz i've done this route before off stream um like a while ago but we'll see how it is on the river visual i feel like i can handle it mikey's in the house how's it going mikey appreciate you stopping in man hopefully everything's okay so you had like a phone call or something uh Zerva says uh who said the pmg announcements in two hours uh i don't know just go on the go on my discord they like link the video or just look up pmdg triple seven there's like a, a big premiere that's happening i think at eight o'clock or something so yeah that's what it is uh, Classy says, what altitude are you heading up to? We, I don't even know yet. Let me see. I think we're at, what are we at? Let's go check. We are cruising at 32,000 feet. It's an hour and 15 minute air time block. So we'll see if we're going to be at 32. We'll just see how fast the plane climbs. Uh, um, Kills in the house. How's it going, Kills Skills? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening, man? Uh, Jace is in the house. How's it going, Jace? Appreciate you stopping in. Doesn't it finally have VNAV? No, obviously not. This plane doesn't have VNAV yet. They keep saying it's going to come out, but it, it, it it's taking longer and longer. But I will say the way the plane handles now is still you need VNAV. I think the plane just desperately needs VNAV, but it, it's handling better with the descents and climbs. It's not as buggy as it used to be. So I will say it's not it's not the end of the world that doesn't have VNAV. Now it used to be a little bit like, bro, come on, this thing needs VNAV. Now it's kind of just it really does need VNAV, but using like level change and all that is a lot more stable now. So, I mean. Eh, it doesn't have VNAV yet though. Big S says, how many uh, viewers y'all think the uh, preview is going to have? Probably close to like 50k. I mean, knowing the flight sim community is not that big, so I don't expect like 600,000 people, but I'll probably say like 50k. Uh -uh, I don't need that. <clears throat> uh, Fred says, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, man. Been looking towards this one for Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Kills with skills. Uh, Paul says, I had exams, so I'm back uh, to the freedom, but also time. Hey, it's all good, Paul. Hopefully you did good on your tests. Uh, nope, still haven't found a solution. Yeah, I could try to look into it. I mean, once we get in the air, I don't really know what could cause you having delay in the game other than you having frames in, like I said before. Yo, what's going on, Ashton? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Uh, Alex says, is a VNAB? No, not yet, man. Uh, does my chat send? Yeah, now it does. I'm seeing your chats. Are you not? Is it not working for you? Can you still shout out, man? Big S is currently on approach for a hair. Nice, Big S. Tell me how the landing goes, man. Mika says, everything's cool. Just had some uh, finances to handle this morning and moving some bills around. Ah, oh, it's all good, Mikey. Uh, if it has verticals, if it has ver uh, verticals that uh, not having VNAV won't matter. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it's, I think it should have VNAV. I mean, this plane for the price, I would expect you to get VNAV with it. It's like a 33 or 33 pound plane or whatever, which is like 40 something bucks. But it's not the end of the world, like I said, but it's still like, come on, you're paying this much for a beta plane and it doesn't have VNAV, but eh. 
uh, vertical situations. But yeah, there you go, man. What premiere are you guys talking about? Amen. Go in the PMDG uh, YouTube channel, and there's a premiere at like eight o'clock or something tonight. Um, they're gonna be premiering and showing off the PMDG Triple Seven. It's a video. It's not like a live stream, but they're premiering the video. It's going public at eight. Hey, you just I can't decide if I like this livery or not. It's a it's a strange livery. I'm not gonna lie to you. But cool, if you guys haven't already hit that like button, we're at 21 likes, trying to hit that like goal of 80 this evening. Should be some good flights, we'll connect to Vatsim here as a JetBlue 2255, which actually just left this airport IRL like 10 minutes ago or something like that. Uh, we are in E190 today. Yeah, we should see how this plane handles. I mean, obviously with this new graphics card, uh, I used to complain about the performance on this plane, but with this graphics card, this the performance on this plane is... It, it runs like the PMDG, so I mean, I don't have any frame issues with it. But cool, we're connected. It looks like we actually got some people on in uh, Boston today. And I think that's only because there is a Boston GA event happening soon. I think it starts at like 6.30 or something. So yeah, we're on the newest build though, 0 0.9.26. So we'll go ahead and clear that up. And uh, let's go ahead and get this plane started up. So we'll go ahead and get the GPU online. We don't need any of this. Uh, we'll get the wheel chocks on for now. We'll leave out the safety pins. GSX got the cones. Um, let's come upstairs. We'll go ahead and we'll get a battery one on. Battery two goes to the auto as well. We'll get the GPU on. And we'll wait for that to be in use. Since we're messing with the plane, we'll go ahead and we'll get the navigation lights on. S GPU is now in use. We'll go ahead and arm the emergency lights. We'll get the no smoking and fasten seatbelt signs on. And this plane's pretty darn simple when it comes to setting it up. Um, we already got all the everything alive. So. Let's go ahead and request some catering here we'll catch up on some service or not service we'll catch up on some chats and then uh basically it's like plug and play with this plane so we'll just have to put in a few things and we'll already be good to rock and roll uh that's the link to the previous home side oh the, you i don't think it's gonna let you send links to be honest with you <coughs> i think it's gonna delete it but i could i'll send the link uh because says right next to you charlie 32 nice i see you man you're the a320 uh, Paul says, arriving in the Virgin Atlantic, A350-1000. Uh, I'm taking off in uh, Delta A321. Nice. There you go, man. <laughs> Wait, what? You're, you're arriving on a Virgin Atlantic A3. Oh, I see what you're saying. Nice. There you go, man. Diesel says, I don't know. It's it's uh, just my T-Save and not my Honeycomb, my Warthog, and my T-Bar pedals. It's So you're saying, like, if you try to fly it with the Honeycomb and all that, it's it's laggy? It might have something to do with the calibration. Did you recalibrate your, your uh, throttles and all that? You might have to do that. Flight lines in the house. How's it going, Flight Line? We also got Mr. Eli. How are you guys doing? If you haven't already hit that like button in today's stream, trying to hit that like goal of 80 likes. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Uh, Flight Line says, Yo, it's good. I just flew into Jackson Hole and, it, and uh, it's the Innsbruck of US. Got a negative 324. Oh, literally, Flight Line, don't get me started. Every stream I've tried to land the plane there, I always slam it. I feel like I really need to go back to Jackson Hole, but I just don't have that crap plan. What's going on, though, Eli? Nice landing, Flight Line. I haven't been better, so I can't even say anything. I might just have fixed my sim crashing, just maybe. Uh-oh, what did you do this differently? Uh, oh, my BLs. What's going on, Zephyr? What do you mean? What do you mean, my bad? What happened? Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're good, bro. It's uh, it's not me. It's just the the night bot thing just moves the, the links away, so it probably won't even send, which I didn't see it either, so. Uh, bro's about to skydive from playing. If I was about to say, like, what? <laughs> I was confused. What's going on, though, Dominic? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? I said this should be pretty fun. I uh, I said earlier there is a little bit of a GA that some event online that's covering Boston and somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure that means Boston's gonna light up. We already got Boston ground and delivery online, um, but we don't have center. I think it's actually Toronto and Boston, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see what it is. Let's go ahead and grab the Atis real quick, uh, because they actually do have one online today. Uh, let's see here um boston information what is current also heavenly amount of oh yeah so it's a uh, it's boston and burlington wherever burlington is throwback thursdays in ga event anyways uh we have information bravo um uh, we got uh wind zero nine zero at zero nine uh 10 statue miles visibility at three zero zero three parallel runways one four right and fruit and use and one four left departure runway zero nine which is what we have planned so cool there are cranes in the area, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't apply to us in the sim. Anyways, uh, we have information Bravo. So we're going to go ahead and call for some IFR with Bravo on board. And we'll set the plane up and get ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah, the size stick in the game and the rudder has like a one to two second delay. I mean, that sounds, honestly, that's that's kind of normal for the Phoenix. I've, I've, I know before the update, it used to be really laggy like that. But I think it's somewhat fixed, which is why it sounds weird. 
good just got done finishing up stream nice dominic how'd it go man uh, i don't know how to explain everything in the phoenix uh, screenshot channel just gotta scroll all right but uh did you see png's doing a dev update on the triple seven i did visa they're gonna be checking it out live for everybody here as well all right so we're using departure runway zero nine today we're gonna use a flaps one departure uh it's currently dry out here we'll go ahead and sync the weather uh, we're playing for 11,000 pounds of fuel, which does look right. So we got a first officer of a AU, whatever that is. Um, cool. We'll go ahead and calculate that. That's going to throw it into our manifest. And let's go ahead and instant load it here. And fuel on board is 11.4. We got 11.4 plants. So that looks good. We'll hop down into the route. And it looks good. We got 22 of February to uh, 20th of March, which is good. We'll go maintenance. Make sure dual selected is good. Now we'll go to route. Boston to Kilo Delta Charlie Alpha. We're going to throw it in. Currently call sign today is Juliet Bravo. Where's the Bravo? Bravo uniform 2255. I love that call sign. It's just so simple and straight to the point. We'll go ahead and send a flight plan request. They're done outside. So let's go ahead and go ground. We'll shut up the doors for them. And uh, we'll request boarding here in a quick second. Cool. Uh, we got the request sent um and let's go ahead and do requests we'll go ahead and apply the active that should throw in our flight plan here for us um this approach to jack's hole is insanely fun it's a uh, nerve wracking with the high mount dude literally you should have seen my older streams we just keep going around and stuff it's <laughs> it was bad <clears throat> all right cool we got the flight plan received i'm gonna go ahead and let's go get this stuff ready to rock and roll go departure let me catch up on some chat i'm kind of getting behind here uh, I'm happy to know that my chats are going through. Yeah, I don't I'm telling you YouTube does the weirdest shadow ban crap That's why I was not surprised when you're like in my shadow ban. I'm like probably I don't do that stuff It's just YouTube. So that sounds like a YouTube issue Uh, PCS fanboys and that's how I was getting ready for school. Nice. Where do you live? You're getting ready for school at five o'clock <laughs> Where do you live man? But appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing on this fantastic Thursday? I'm guessing it's Friday or something for you. Uh, not features in the house. Uh, yo, I love your thumbnails Hey, I appreciate it, man. We try to we take pride in these thumbnails, man. It, I sit there for 30 minutes just debating if I like the picture or not. So I'm glad that you enjoy them, man. Uh, uh, how do you make this stuff? Yeah, so basically, um, if you go into the description, I have a person that takes my screenshots. Um, he's a very cool YouTuber. His, like I said, his link is in the description. He takes the pictures and I throw it into my template. I add some color filters a little bit to it put it in my you know my base thumbnail thing and then i upload them so yeah waves is actually basically carrying them so check out his thing it's in the description man like the reason i clicked this video is because the thumbnail was mesmerizing hey i appreciate that man that's literally the whole point of my thumbnails i always say that if the thumbnail looks good it's more likely to click on it other people don't think the same but i think if the thumbnail is freaking beautiful then you know you'll be like "Ooh, what's this and click on it, you know i'm glad it works <laughs> appreciate you stopping in man uh yeah so pmdg uh the pmdg thing i guess we're finally getting the videos because they didn't they did the same for the 8700 and it officially reached like a month or two after oh really okay yeah i was thinking it's maybe late april now because if they're making a whole video on it it's obviously somewhat done so uh the jet blue are awesome oh yeah there you go i love jet blue dude. this livery is fantastic um it's at 814 in australia ah i see uh you're one of the reasons to keep flying microsoft hey i appreciate that future uh i didn't really go around i just had to do a quick loop over the uh, waypoint to slow down if you've never flown this approach it catches you off guard yeah that's what i was saying i was saying look at my old streams um i flew in there twice i had a redemption and then i flew in there again and both times i had to go around and almost slammed into the mountain it was really embarrassing <laughs> anyways we're gonna manifest here and we'll look at that for now uh departure runway we're gonna take uh zero nine so let's find zero nine we're gonna be climbing on the sock seven departure boom we'll go ahead and apply that arrival into dca today luckily is the river visual one nine i hope it doesn't change we're going to be taking the rnav one nine approach uh do we get the fergie transition we didn't but we're going to take vectors from there we're going to descend probably on the caps three. Oh no we're actually not we're on the uh dl3 so dl3 and we're going to go trans uh laughlin so let's go laughlin go on and apply and that looks good to me we'll go ahead and request some boarding from gsx and let's call up uh Let's call up ground for some uh, clearance here. Oh, they actually just hopped off the second. Okay, <laughs> that's that's great. They hopped off the second. Okay. Anyways, we didn't get a PDC though. So let's go dot CTAF um, and let's type in KBOS. Boston, frequency for Boston, 128.8. So we're gonna go down and set, uh, one, yeah. We're gonna go 128.800, boom. Let's go down in COM2. Let's go ahead and we'll switch it over. 
Oops, I hit the wrong switch over button. Uh, how do we switch this over? Oh, right. It's I just put it in comm too. Oops. Uh, let's do something random there. There you go. And then uh, 128.80. Oh, there you go. Cool. So that's set 128.80. That looks good. And uh, we got catering coming. I'm going to go ahead and open the doors for them because they're going to start bugging me. So let's open these up. Also open up the boarding door. I don't know why that was closed. I don't know how I got on the plane. Cool. Flight plan's getting thrown in. We're getting our boarding up. And uh, we'll pretty much be ready to rock and roll. Like I said, this plane's not really the most realistic when it comes to the FMC. It's not fully custom yet. They're working on it, but it's not yet. So it's pretty basic to set up. Uh, ways for hire. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. He's been taking me and Mikey's pictures, so I don't know if he'll be down for it. But he's he's a chill dude. So, I mean, you could ask him. Just know he is taking his own pleasure screenshots. He has his own YouTube channel to worry about. He's also taking me and Mikey's picture. So, I mean, it's, it's probably leaning towards a no, but you could ask him. It never hurts. What's going on, Mr. Pilot Dev? We're back in this plane. Low. Yeah, we are, man. I've learned it a little bit more. So, I, I've understood how it works a little bit better. So, I think it's that, and it's a little bit more stable now. So, these flights should go a lot more smoother. Uh, flying the JetBlue LaGuardia in Miami to A321 or 20. I don't know yet this Saturday. Nice. There you go, man. Yeah, we're going to hopefully um, I just moved to Virginia. So I think JetBlue is going to be one of those airlines that we fly to D.C. sometimes, you know. Um, but yeah, should, we should be flying this airline every now and then once we actually do real flights. So that's sick, man. <clears throat> Noah's in the house. How's it going, Noah? I'm sorry. I can't stuff up DCA. I don't have a DC. I don't have uh, your DC certified. Hey, you're all good, Noah. I appreciate it, man. At least you tried. Um, it's all good though, man. It's a it's a little event going on. They were on and then they all just hopped off. So I don't <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but hey, it's all cool. Appreciate you guys stopping. If you haven't already hit that like button, we're at 27 likes trying to hit that like goal this evening of 80. I appreciate you guys all stopping it, man. Again, sorry I wasn't uh I wasn't here yesterday. Um I woke up really early and I went to bed at like four or five a.m. Not five a.m., probably like four fifteen. And uh, I woke up early and we went to go get my permit switched over and all that crap. And then I, I told my mom, let's go check out the airport. And we went to the airport and I booked a discovery flight. So that's pretty cool. And also after the discovery flight, we're looking at, you know, getting some actual classes there. So that should be fun. So I think that's a pretty valid reason to not stream, you know, actually go fly in real life. You know what I mean? So that works. Because is this an actual update or just a minor one? I would say it's an update, like a pretty decent update. They actually did make a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff more, you know, not glitchy. Everything that is in the plane now is stable. There's no really bugs anymore. So I'd say it's a big update, but it's still not an update to make the plane how it should actually be. You know what I mean? It's an update to make the plane of what it has now stable, just not realistic as the E190, if that makes any sense. Isaac's in the house. I've had, I'm done with Microsoft until uh, I can run the game without my screen freezing for 15 seconds. Uh-oh, Isaac. Uh, Kills with skills says, even though there's no VNA, the copy looks super nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like this plane has a lot of potential. And that's what a lot of people say to it as well. It's just the fact that they keep promising that stuff's going to come out, and it's been like a year. So, uh, What app do you use for photo editing? I use an app called Photopia or Photopia, whatever you want to call it. Just look up Photopia or Photopia. It's the same thing, just a different way to say it. Um it is i use like a, a file and i import it into that website and it it's it already has like my template loaded into it so i would recommend using canva or something you kind of need a template like i do to use that website without it being you know, like super confusing so i would recommend canva but the one i use is photopia if cst here he'd be roasting he's gonna come soon don't worry <laughs> uh that's me to your left appreciate you uh, Jonah and fires Mario's in the house. How's it going, Mario? You left Georgia. Yes, I did, man. We were moving. That's why I wasn't able to be live for like a few weeks. So, yeah. We're in Virginia now, then, man. I'm about five from push. Yeah, sounds good. We're just boarding up these guys. We got the passengers boarding as well. And uh, I'm going to quickly throw in our flight plan, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Last time I was on the Embraer, I was on the uh, 175 uh, Dallas to San Antonio. Nice. That's a long flight for a 175, really? I mean, that's not that long of a flight, but it's just for a, a, a regional. That's interesting. Uh, you better vlog. I will. I will. I will. Uh, getting refueled right now. Oh, there you go, fires. Okay, then I might buy the uh, 175 next month. Who knows? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Cal. Just know what you're getting into. The plane, it's still a really non-realistic and very expensive beta plane. J just know what you're getting into. I wouldn't say it's a bad plane, but just know it's nothing how you expect a proper plane of this price to be. Cool. We look good here. We'll go ahead and do our takeoff. So runway heading for departure today. Let's actually pull up these charts here. So we'll go KBOS. 
and we'll get KBOS in this one as well. And this is going to be our departure. So we're going to be climbing via the Sock 7. So let's go Sid and let's go Sock 7 RNAV departure. Beautiful. And taxi chart for here. We'll go airport info. That looks good. Let's zoom in here. We're taking off a of runway 09. This has a runway heading of where is it? Show should tell you somewhere here. And we'll just look at the departure. I just don't want to change the page. All right, so we'll go flight plan and Boston user is at 092. So we'll go ahead and go performance or not that thing. Performance takeoff and we'll go 092. Obviously, we could change this if we need to, but that's fine. 092. Uh, we can't put in the slope yet. Still, we have winds currently at this runway. What are our winds here? Let's pull that up. <clears throat> All right, uh, winds currently. Let's open up the briefing for the departure airport. And they're already done back there, so we'll close in in a second. All right, winds. We have um, winds 0909. So we'll go 090 at 09. Perfect. Uh, we're not going to mess with elevation. Let's go next page. We're going to use flaps one for departure today. Uh, takeoff temp is 7 degrees Celsius. Is that what we got here? Plan. Let's go manifest. Uh, yep, yeah, cool. All right, let's go to OR. Make sure that looks fine. We'll return there. Takeoff. And this is where we get all of our stuff. So let's go to the init page. There's another one we have to go to here. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be our performance stat here. There we go. So taxi fuel today. We have, where's taxi here? Let's pull up our OFP. Give me a quick second. Actually, can I pull up the OFP in the plan? I think I can. Um, Taxi, taxi. Briefing preview. There we go. All right. Taxi fuel today is going to have us at 400. So we'll go slash 400. We've got 400 pounds of fuel for taxi. Looks good. OR. Nice. We'll go next page here. Cruising flight level is 32,000 feet. We'll see if that's actually what we want. We'll get 32,000. Average winds at 32,000 today are showing us 296 at 51. So we'll go 296 at zero five one oh <laughs> i don't think it's zero five one we'll just do five one there crew there we go zfw today we'll look at what our zfw has us planned for zero fuel weight is going to be eight six seven four one so uh, eight six seven four one beautiful next page and this is our takeoff data we're going to be good here we can't really mess with all this fms takeoff flaps one and takeoff so Departure speeds today, V1, 135, 138, 143. So I did not remember any of that. 135, so we'll set 135, boom. VR is going to be at 138, so we'll set 138. And 143. 143 is good. And VFS is going to be at 19 or 5. 195. Beautiful. Flaps one. Pitch is going to be 11.0, which is a crazy pitch. I'm just going to leave it at what it has now. We'll leave it on this page. Um, let's go ahead and we'll set our speeds currently to 193. And cool. I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. We'll get our doors shut here. And uh, cool. Whenever you guys are ready, we'll catch up with some chat here. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Sorry about that. We just had to. This plane's a little kinky when it comes to adding all the fields and that. So I just had to make sure it was all good. Uh, last time. Oh, I read that. Uh, boarding music's also W. Hey, there you go. Fires. Okay, then I'm at. All right, right there. Of course, I had 32 minute presentation today for my 8 a.m. Oh my gosh, Cal. Jeez, bro. Uh, CST 190. Oh, baby. Yep. We'll see what CST says. It was a nightmare. Oh, gosh. Forgot to mention Journey today. This leg, hopefully, the uh, leg to Kennedy, my home airport. Nice, Zephro. Appreciate it, man. GV's in the house. How's it going, GV? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Pushing out. Sounds good, classy. We're calling our push truck here as well. Uh, prepare for pushback and departure. Oh, also, before we do that, let's start up the AP. Uh, AP you can get started up so we gotta go up here we'll go on make sure that loads up to 31% we're gonna go ahead and get our music turned down here cool and 31% looks good we'll go ahead and crank it to start and we'll let it spool on up here and we'll monitor that <clears throat> appreciate you guys stopping in though if you haven't already hit that like button we're already at 30 likes trying to hit that like gold 80 this evening you guys are freaking awesome man uh, Zip says, Owls, you never helped me Tuesday. What did you need help with, Zim? I literally, dude, yesterday and the other day, 
I helped like 15 people in a row. So if I missed you, I'm super sorry, but I had like literally so many people I promised I would help and then I just overbooked myself. So I'm sorry about that, man. What did you need help with though? Uh, thumbnail uh, hit today too, by the way. Thank you to freaking Waves, bro. He finally got his PC fixed so uh, we could have the good thumbnails again. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and remove the wheel chocks. The uh, parking brake is set. So cool. We'll go ahead and remove those. And GPU can get gone here because it's a veil. And cool. Prepare for pushback and departure. Uh, oh, we're still boarding. Are we still boarding? We're just going to restart, Kuta. We're not boarding anymore. I don't know what it's talking about. Restart. Boarding door can get closed. We'll let that refresh here. Pushing now sounds good. Classy. What's going on, though, GV? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Sorry I didn't get to your chat as fast. Hey, Nine, All right, we'll go ahead and prepare for push back and departure here. There you go. Uh, Zip says, Owls, I'll fly uh, this route in the A320. Sounds good, Zip. It's usually an E190 flight, but yeah, if you don't have the E190, that's the best you could do. I filed 320 and they gave me, uh, they gave you back 300. Yeah, oh, I forgot. I did get a PDC. Uh, yeah, they gave me 320 and a squawk of 3445. So let's put 30, 3445. And uh, we'll get that on standby for now here. We'll go TCAS. Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll stand back here. Go back to radios. Cool. Beacon light can go ahead and come on. Get the uh, red beacon on. And uh, I'm going to leave this off. Somebody told me I should turn the electric pump A on, but I was testing the plane, and I pushed back, and I didn't turn electric A on, and both engines started up. Y'all know I've been having issues starting the engines on this plane on stream for some reason. So we're going to leave it off. If it makes somebody mad, oh, well, but... <laughs> Cool. There we go, man. Uh, a bill is $3,779 on favor of Alice paying it. Say it. What? Alice, what's a good one-hour flight from Jacksonville? Uh, Jacksonville to Memphis. Jacksonville to Miami. Jacksonville to Miami is a real one, so that's a nice one. Right, it says, Jet Blue 1217, Charlie 70, or Charlie 32 to your right. Sounds good, man. Uh, let's see. Did you spawn on him? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you already pushed. Well, that's the only one to my right. Sounds good, though, man. Appreciate you flying with us, dude. Uh, still on the flight going good, no lag or nothing, knocking wood. All right, let's see, Eli. Best of, best of luck for you, man. Oh, right, yeah, Jack. All right, LAX. Oh, I thought you read, I read that as Jacksonville. Yeah, LAX to SFO, LAX to Vegas is always, you know, a, a solid one. LAX to Vegas. Um, cool. So I want to be facing. How am I? Where are we at right now? Hmm. Should we push the spot 10? I feel like we should push to spot 10. We could face southwest. Um, let's go southwest. And cool. And boss of traffic. It's a jet blue 2255 radio check. Boss of traffic. It's jet blue 2255. We're going to be pushing from stand Charlie 30 into spot 10 for uh, Boston traffic. All right, cool. Park brakes getting uh, released. Mr. Tech My It or Tech My It is in the house. How's it going, my guy? Appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing this fantastic evening, man? Uh, you gotta talk to ATC in that hood voice when you head down to DC. <laughs> All right, bet. Uh, never mind. I can't read the title. Oh, you asked if this was the CRJ? No, it's the E190, man. Just don't forget to turn on that. No, we won't. We won't. All right, cool. So we look good. Here we go. Let's go ahead. We'll go start on number one first. I'm telling you, every time we're on stream, dude. Every time. It's literally only on stream. Republic five, I'm pushing uh, the wrong way. Five by five. Am Thanks. I pushing the wrong way? Oh no, I thought I wasn't. Yeah, I was about to say I don't think I was pushing the wrong way. I feel like this is just a thing on stream, dude. <laughs> it's like, like literally, it's only on stream. It only happens on stream. I'm so confused why that is. There must be something going on in the background, dude. I don't understand that. It's <laughs> only on stream. Here, we'll turn on the uh, A. That's so weird, dude. Do I need to service something? Hold up. I want to figure this out. Maybe it's something I, I do that I need to service, maybe? Is that what it is? Yeah, if you're, if you're unsure of the CTAP for your set in airport, type in the messages dot CTAP. Um, yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, we're just going to control E it again. Oh, well. <laughs> I really don't know what that is, dude. That's so weird. Alright, we're Locked. gonna go ahead and hold here for a second. Just so we don't block him. Ah, I don't know what it is. It's only on stream. The engine doesn't start up. <laughs> it's so weird. 
Uh, hey, what's going on behind the skies? Appreciate your stuff. And then, man, I was uh, tuning into your stream earlier. Hope you had a good stream, my guy. Uh, yo, is this a Cessna 127? Yeah, it is. All right, parking brakes getting set. Boom. Shut up. I know. Uh, is this the Fly Tampa Senior? Yes, sir, it is, Mr. Uh, behind the skies. I love Fly Tampa stuff. I think it goes Vegas, then Boston. What other Fly Tampa? Oh, Vegas, Boston, and then Amsterdam. I think they're Boston's number two, though. Amsterdam's a great scenery, but Boston just, whew, it's beautiful, man. Uh, not too bad. How are you doing? Doing a flight from, uh, or flight to Toronto? Nice. I'm doing great, man. We had a good little morning. Uh, I got some food. Went and run some errands. It was a good day, man. Appreciate you asking, dude. Uh, Bapino's in the house. Uh, my French friend, how's it going? I got her from France. How's it going, man? Appreciate you stopping in, Bapino. How are you doing? If you haven't already, though, hit that like button. We're at 31 likes. Let's see if we get it 40 before we depart, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, got a negative 22 in the MKCO's Oprah. There you go, man. Beautiful. I bought the Mad Doll last night. Uh, let me tell you, it's amazing. Is it? It's just so expensive, dude. I don't. There's no way I could justify buying a plane that expensive. But yet I could buy this plane, which makes no sense. But <laughs> cool. All right, so we won't get stare on just yet. Oh, did I not set the parking brake? Oh, there we go. Uh, we got the beacon light still on. We'll get all that turned on in here in a second. Let's go ahead and do a flight control test. Um, so cool. We'll go full left neutral. Full right, neutral, full up, neutral, full down, neutral, right rudder, neutral, left rudder. And you know what doesn't make sense to me? Maybe it's a setting I change, but look how like low frames the, the yoke itself is, but look how smooth like the rudder pedals are. I may, I might have changed it myself. Anyways, our auto brakes are set to RTO. They're still down there doing their thing. You guys can go ahead and push if you really want to. Um, we're gonna go ahead and lock lock the uh, cockpit door there. There we go. Cool. We got the clear signs. We're gonna drop flaps one degrees. Beautiful, man. Uh, you could uh, roll for. Uh, uh, can you roll forward? Go. I got you. We got you. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. Here, I'll move up to. Uh, let's. I'll. I'll start hey, slow tech. All right, nose like you come on. Parking brakes are released. We'll go ahead and just. Ro Ooh, they don't want us to do that. We can't do that yet. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. Uh, how much is this plane and by who? It's amazing. Uh, it took a while for me to get used to. Oh, the E-175? This plane is... It's 35-something euros, I think. So it's around 40-something bucks. But the thing about that is it's not really that expensive of a plane. But for the price and what you get is what makes a lot of people say, is this plane even worth it? It's because it's it's not an e190 the systems are not an e190 it's based around an e190 but it's still like disguised as with the default systems and all that so that's that's the big hate again against it and also doesn't have vnav so that just makes everybody not like it but it's made by flight sim studios this is their one and only plane for the ejects they have e195 e190 the e175 um and the e170 and then they also make some other planes i have no clue what they are but it's a good plane, in my opinion. Just some of the stuff is not fully, fully made out yet. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I was till the triple seven comes out. Uh, that's it's probably gonna be seventy five to one twenty. I think it's probably gonna be relatively like seventy five, hundred. I think it honestly might be the same as the uh, seven thirty seven. Uh, did you get sent this? I did it behind the skies. I wanted to, but then I, I bought. It. I got this plane like two weeks ago. More than that. Eh, it was before I moved, like four weeks ago now. What frequency are you guys uh, on? Going 128.8. 128.8. It's the CTAF frequency. Uh, PBG Radio is at 8 p.m. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I can't wait either, dude. It's going to be freaking hype. What's going on? Mr. Milk says, appreciate you stopping in, man. Hope all is well, brother. It's going fantastic. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic Tuesday or Thursday as well. Got Jay in the house. How's it going? Jay, sup, buddy? How's the updates? It's pretty good now. We're going to see how it is in the air. Flight plans all in. We got everything looking good. So, we're about to go ahead and get out of Boston, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, they did say within a few months it'll be custom systems. They've been saying that for a few months, though, if you know what I mean. So that's the only problem I have. Anyways, we're just going to start slow taxing here. And Boston traffic, strip blue 2255, just pushed out of a spot 10. We're going to head to a runway 9 via Charlie Bravo Kilo. Crossing runway 14 left at Kilo. Mike, calling point Mike for 09 for Boston traffic. So cool. And Boston traffic, uh, Brickyard 4. Five, uh, 5290 we're going to be taxing from a 9. The Etihad 777, dude. Uh, cross from a 4 left, 
Mike should run me not on Mike bus traffic. And they already said that they showed the list of what they're going to be making. I mean, they're making the entire 777 fleet. They're making the 200 LR, the 200 ER, the 777, I call it the 200 F because that's what it is. But the 777 F, they're making the 300 ER. Like, they're making everything. Now, obviously, you guys know me. I love all the 777s, but the hottest looking 777 is the 300 ER. You could say something. You could say I'm wrong. The 777 300ER is freaking beautiful. But, eh, that's my thing. Insta buying the LR. I mean, hey, I mean, I guess for like, you know, Air India, maybe. But I, I love the 300ER and the 200ER. Those are just my top two. I want to get the 777F, but obviously I think it's a bundle, so I'm going to get it anyways. But the 777F, you can't really do that many realistic flights with it just due to the fact that nobody uses it on like short routes, really. It's more so like FedEx uses it from like, you know, Memphis to Honolulu. It's not like short legs that they use that for, but that's just me being a totally trying to be hyper realistic. What's going on, Lone Star? Appreciate you stopping in, man. I heard you uh, said you're going live soon, so hopefully that goes well for you. Pass it through 6,000. Great departure. Nice, classy. We're looking good. I'm taxing really slow to get these guys to not be left behind, but we'll be fine. <clears throat> uh, Mario says, someone did JFK to Amsterdam in the Phoenix A320. How did that go, bro? Paul says, very true. Totally agree. Yeah. My question is, uh, what packages are on offer? I think it's the... I want to say it's the 777. I think it's the LR. And hold up. And Boston Traffic is JetBlue 2255. We're currently on uh, Bravo heading uh, southbound via Embraer American. You could go ahead and cross from right to left. Thanks, Boston Traffic. Uh, be careful. Uh, 552 in taxi via Alpha uh, Echo across from the four left. Mike Sherman. Boston Traffic. Boston Traffic. JetBlue 2255 behind the uh, passing traffic right to left. We're going to follow him runway uh, Niner for Boston Traffic. But yeah, I think it's the 200 LR and the, I think it was originally, I don't really know what it is now. Now that they, I know they have planned all of these, I want to say it's the 200 LR and the F, and then it's probably going to be the 200 ER and the 300 ER. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but we'll see. Uh, Emirates Sky Cargo. Well, yeah, other than Emirates Sky Cargo, I honestly think those are the only ones that do shorter flights. I know they do like Dubai to Amsterdam, which isn't short, but I mean, it's not like a 12 hour flight. You know what I mean? Uh, check flight some screenshots uh, landing reactions once you take off in the sand plot. I got you flight line All right, let's go ahead and get stereo on we're getting to the runway. We'll get these strobe lights on here Wing and we'll go ahead and get strobe online as well We look clear on the arriving for four left and uh, we don't see anybody traffic downfield. So we're continue crossing here I will say sounds sound super good when you taxi the engine startup sounds and the AP startup and the toga and the airborne sounds are where the sounds sound terrible I I love trying to make this plane look good, but the sounds in the air, dude, are so bad. And when it, it you'll hear it. I had to turn the volume down just because it just hurts your head. Like it, the sounds are so aggressive and like a, a, a spinning turbo fan type noise. It I hate it. But other than that, the, the sounds are good for taxi. I just randomly set that just so you guys can know. For takeoff, though, if it does just get too loud, just lower your volume. I have the game volume turned down, but the plane is... It's extremely loud on takeoff, and they're not quality sounds. Yeah, 300 ER, Paul. I'm telling you, that's where it's at. What was happening with PMDG 8? Milk says the uh, PMDG has been uh, currently in development for a 777. I think for a few months now, actually. They're going really fast, surprisingly. Um, but they're actually going to be doing a hey, preview video traffic, for the 777 uh, at 8 o'clock tonight. So that's what we're all hyped about. We're going to be departing only 9 on the SOC 7 departure in the SOC transition. Both traffic. Cool. Boston traffic behind the departing barrier. We're going to line up at Mike or Runway Niner for Boston traffic. <clears throat> What's going on, Aviation Oak Cap? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing? The 200 LR and F is my guess since they kind of teased it a while back. Yeah, that's what I think, Dom. I'm pre it makes sense, too. You do the 200 LR and the 200 F, which is like the odd ones, and then you do the even ones, which they're both the ER. So, like, there's an ER bundle, and then there's the random bundle. You know what I mean? That, that would make sense. Uh, Philadelphia to Miami, 777 with America. Exactly. That's why I see I want the 200 and the 300 for that, but the F is like the odd thing. And the LR is an odd thing. We're going to let him go ahead and depart out of here. We made it to the runway, so these charts can go ahead and... Uh, oh, I thought I had the run charts. These charts can go ahead and be closed. There we go. And we'll use the SOC 7 departure plate. He's on the roll. We'll go ahead and ping out the cabin. And let's go ahead and get the strobe lights back on. Wing lights can come on. Let's go ahead and line up uh, behind him. You can go ahead and get TARA on. Looks good. Nobody's landing on nine. That looks fantastic. The traffic is rolling down. Cool. Let's go ahead and go. Get this thing started, man. 
hurts your head it does it's like a you'll hear it i'm telling you it's like a whoosh, it's so bad bro can you watch my landing what's your bottom landing? yeah sounds good kills my skills i got you i got you my guy are you saying like when i when i land can i look at your landing you're flying with us oops hit the brakes too hard uh watch this departure about a skyrocket oh my gosh he's already at like a thousand feet <laughs> he was not lying he's out of my range now though. he was like a little speck the second i look at him uh dog says it's been in beta for close to three months my guys absolutely 100 percent uh we just get in that thing in april that's what i was saying dude i feel like we get in april i feel like that's not like a, a unexpected thing all right cool go ahead and hold here set those parking brakes we do have to run through a few tests so let's go ahead and do takeoff config no take -off. Break. the what Oh, I see. That's messing around the trim again. That's all good. Let's hit the magic takeoff button, which will get us in there. It looks good. Once we spool it, we're going to go to auto throttle. It's going to get engaged. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit heading select. That looks fine. We'll go nav. Um, once that pops up as well, um, that will be good. Cool. So we're pretty much ready to go. I just don't like the trim. No Great. Yeah, it's, it's worrying about the trim because it wants us to be at 11.0. 11.0 is not going to be a good takeoff trim. So that's what we're just not going to do. Landing lights gotta come on across the field. Uh, nose can come off. Uh, Stero's on. We're ready to rock and roll, man. Auto brakes are set RTO. Just letting them call clear here. GV says, I'm doing well. How about you? Currently on a flight from New York to Chicago. Just bought the i build JFK and it looks really beautiful. Oh, yeah. How's it perform for your system, though, GV? It's one of the, the worst things in the freaking scenery. It's just, we're, it looks so good, but it runs terribly. Hopefully, it's running well for you, though, man. I'm doing great, though, GV. Appreciate you asking. Glad you're doing as uh, good as well, man. Yo, what's going on? Just appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing? Catching us for the departure out of Boston, man. Heading over to DCA for the river visual. Should be fun. Because uh, the P3D, they had a package of the 200 LR and the F, and the package for the 300 and the LR. Oh, really? Interesting. That's random. Okay. So I can't join flying from uh, Heatho to uh, Dubai on Vatsum. All good. Just probably enjoy your flight, man. Because Skills says, yeah, once you're on short final watch, I got you, Because Skills. In Boston traffic. I got you. From, Don't worry. Uh, brick, uh, brickyard, I'll make sure I'll stop my 29. landing just to look at your, Passing, just, uh, just to look at yours. Don't worry, man. Flatline Light says they tried too hard to make him good. Yeah. Three two zero bus traffic. What did he just say? <laughs> yeah, my engines are roaring. Are they, Zephyr? <laughs> All right, here we go. My turn. In Boston traffic, it's uh, JetBlue twenty two fifty five. Uh, we're gonna be departing runway nine, climbing the Sox seven departure initially to the south for Boston traffic. All right, everybody, get those Togo emojis ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and spool these things. Forty percent hit Togo on them. Let's go. My brakes are off. Cool. Auto throttle's engaged. Toga. Oh, it sounds so much better when the volume isn't full blast in your ear, dude. These things sound horrible. We got air speeds alive. There's two good engines. The rest is set. Back pressure's released. That's cross check. 100 knots. Indications are normal. V1, rotate. Positive rate climb, gear's coming up. If I could find the gear, oh my gosh. Go ahead and get nav. L nav. All right, VFS flaps are clean. We'll go ahead and bump the speed to 5 -0. And there's nav kicking in. Beautiful. 2-5-0 on the speed is getting set. Beautiful. 2-5-0. Got L nav. We're following those flight directors now. We're speeding up to 250 knots here. All right, coming up close. Beautiful. Autopilot's coming engaged. TCS looks good. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and set our altitude. 
We'll climb out of 5,000 for 320. 320. Nice. And Boston traffic, Deputy 2255, uh, clear of runway 9 at this time. Climbing via the SOC 7 departure, passing 2.6 for Flyable Street 20, Boston. Cool, auto brakes are off of RTO. Taxi light can come off, which is the nose light for now. Oh, leaves stay on all that on. Lights can all stay on as well. We're looking good. All of the indications are showing us nice and okay for this departure. Um, Beautiful. We'll leave it in flight level change and we'll climb up to 32,000 feet, man. Get those musics turned back up here and we'll catch up on the chat. Beautiful departure, man. Yeah, we ain't going outside right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if y'all saw my face before I hit that. I was like, eh, should we? Nah, no, no. This plane, the sounds are not optimized at all in this plane. It's just, it's just loudness. I, I don't even know. Anyways, nice departure out of Boston. Literally no wins. I mean, I didn't have to do much rudder correction at all. Um... I was sent it, uh, been pushing back every every time I stream with it, really unsure about this pro- Yeah, that's the thing behind this, guys. It's, it's a- it's an iffy plane. It's like, is it good? Is it bad? It, it's ba it, That's why I keep saying it's a personal preference plane. It's either you like it because you want something different to fly, and this is a flyable-ish plane. In my opinion, a little bit under the CRJ is kind of the comparison. Or you could just be like yeah i want an, i want different planes to fly but this isn't a proper e190 it's beta for 40 dollars. this is not worth it which is most which is you know most of everybody else but in my opinion it's a little bit pricey for playing especially for a beta that's not completed i totally understand that but i still think that the plane is at least flyable and as you can see now it's we're not we're not doing anything bad so i mean yeah um, hey, how's it going? What's going on, Isaac? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? Captain Taft's in the house. How's it going, Taft? Balls, 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 balls. Nice. There we go. I'm getting that clipped anyways. Uh, I9 Builds London Heat, though, is actually quite good on my stream. Oh, yeah. I, I have I9 Builds Heat, though. It's a beautiful scenery, man. I love uh, Heat, though. Also, Isaac, what did you get with your gift card, man? You never told me. I I think I asked, but I forgot. Are you doing LaGuardia or JFK as the final airport? Amen, we're going to be doing JFK as the final airport. Um, But the LaGuardia one is going to be, I think, uh, next Tuesday is what I'm planning for. Or not next Tuesday, next Wednesday. Or this Wednesday, if you want to say that. I'm going to be doing Syracuse to Detroit. Detroit back to Syracuse. And then Syracuse over to uh, LaGuardia. I'll let you know, though, Amen. Don't worry. If I was flying into LaGuardia, I'll, I'll tell you. Classy with the toga. We got Mr. Kills My Skills. Uh, make sure to blast the landing audio so you can't hear any ATC. I got you. Don't worry, Kills My Skills. I got you. Also, I'll, like like I said, I'll just disconnect from the network. I'll pause my... Actually, no. I'll pause my sim and not disconnect to the network. I'll pop up your landing on stream, and then I'll make sure everybody sees it. I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, kills with Skills with the toga. We got Eli with the toga. Aim with the toga. Taff with the three togas. W supporter right there. We got Classy with the toga, Isaac with the toga, Fires with the toga, Eamon with the spam of togas, Mikey with the toga, we got Isaac with the V1 Rotate, we got Captain Taff with the V1, we got uh, Mikey with the V1 Rotate as well, we got Classy with the V1 Rotate, we got uh, Taft with the Rotate, Jay with the toga, we got Just Pie with the toga, V1 Rotate, and my controls, there you go, perfect execution there. We got Flightline still in Johan with a runway contact loss. Wazies is in the house. How's it going, Wazies? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Taff is also with the V1 and Rotate. We got Dominic with the V1 and Rotate. Jay with the V1. Behind the skies without a membership, but still saying V1. I appreciate that, man. We got Kills with Skills with the V1 and Rotate. We got Wazies also hopping in saying Rotate. We got the Just Pot saying Leo. What's going on, Wazies? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Uh, we got Just Pot with the Toga. We got Flightline with the Toga. Or, not Toga. We got uh, Just Pot with the Toga and Rotate. We got Flightline with the Rotate. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Pipe lots in the house as well. How's it going, Pipe Lot? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Uh, just finished school. Nice. There you go, man. How was your day at school? Also, quickly, guys. Quick break. Uh, I thought we would. So, yeah, we've passed 10,000 feet. So, sterile can come off. Landing lights can come off as well. Uh, we'll get the wing light off and we'll ping out the cabin. I'm going to disable the fastened seatbelts now because, I mean, it's pretty darn smooth. So, that's what we got going on. Cool. Let's also zoom out here just a little bit. We're going to plop this over to flight plan. Cool. Let's go ahead and status change. Uh, not status change. Just the uh, the menu here. Uh, we'll get nav aids turned off. Uh, airports off. Vertical profile. Maybe we'll get a vertical profile in there as well. We'll get terrain off as well. Cool. Looks good. Zoom on out. Make sure we look good. Now, does this plane have a top of descent yet? Maybe they've updated. I haven't checked that. Let's see. Does it have a top of descent? I don't believe this plane has a top of descent yet, so we're kind of just going to have to guess it. It doesn't have VNAV, actually. So, yeah, if it doesn't have VNAV, I don't think it would have a top of descent, to be honest with you. All right. 
Looking good though, man. Looking fantastic. What's going on though, Waves? Appreciate you stopping in, man. A lot of people were, excuse me, a lot of people were commenting and thanking, or, you know, not commenting. Um, they were complimenting the thumbnail. So that's Waves. He's the one who made it. You did good as well, Waves. Appreciate it. Um, uh, no term, let's take off for you. I had a lot. 18, go oh my gosh. Really, Eli? Bro. <laughs> Uh, crosswind descending now lots of terrain. Uh oh Eli. <laughs> yeah, have fun with that man uh, Pipebot says excited for the river visual if the aidus lets it. Yes, Pipebot. We got the river visual. We're playing one nine uh, Like I said, there's a event in Boston So I've kind of been trying to see if they're gonna hop on currently. They all hopped off. They were on but they hopped off um, JFK grounds online, but we don't have DC Center. So if we continue the winds still look good I mean, it's you know Western Western winds all the time So we usually all the time land one nine, but oh, what the heck is this crap? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Sounds good, man. Uh, but yeah, we should get the river visual. Yeah, they're still laying in the video. I was about to say, yeah, they are. Anyways, I'll be doing uh, Gatwick to Innsbruck on EasyJet today. Nice. That's the flight I have planned, but I literally just flew over there to Gatwick and all that. So I've been I've been kind of spacing it out for a second. Then we'll hop over that. But yeah, nice ways. Tell me how it goes. Uh, aviation is the best is in the house. Uh, can you see my chats? I probably can. I saw you earlier. I think I might have just read over your name. I'm sorry, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, you said are the E-175 sounds good or bad? Uh, the E-175 songs, aviation, they're literally the exact same as this plane. It's basically just a copy and paste. So everything that you see in this plane is basically identical to the E-170. Um, just minus like the steep approach and stuff that the E-170 just doesn't have. Also, let's switch over to Unicom 122 decimal eight, um, as we are not in the seat. Oop, we're not in the approach for that. Cool. It's good to pass in at 18,000 feet. Uh, we didn't set the altimeters, but uh, we are we are going standard now. I should have set the altimeters. I forgot about that. That's fine though. Looking stable though. I'm okay with that, man. There we go. Look up here in the uh, nose view here. Nice. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, we're, we're having a very active stream today, man. So I appreciate you all stopping. I, I'm sorry I didn't reach your chat, though, man. I wonder where CST at with the shiny turd. I don't know. I'm waiting for him. I posted in his Discord, too. So I'm surprised he's not here. He might be out eating or something. GV says uh, it's uh, running really smoothly. As I heard, the PMDG is showcasing the 777. Then I bought the Boston JFK Syrian long off flight comes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're going to. I'm telling you, dude, when the A321 comes out, and the triple seven come out. That's all you're gonna see on this channel. You, you guys know me. I have wanted a triple seven 300 ER. That's a proper study level plane in a sim for so long. And I've only had two simulators. Y'all could be like, yeah, P3D has a great one, but the graphics don't look good in P3D, and I've never had it. Whereas I've had Microsoft, they don't have a good one of yet. I had X Plane, they don't have a good one, but now they are having a good one. So both sims are finally getting good triple seven. So I'm super excited. But yeah, A321 and triple seven. That's literally just going to say my my YouTube channel is A321 and triple seven driver. I'm going to change my YouTube channel name. Uh, would it be okay if I use that play, plane emoji on my stream hours? The one between uh, Boston and Washington? Yeah, I don't care behind the skies. You got it, man. A lot of people use that thing, man. I, I could care less, bro. Go ahead, man. As long as you don't copy and paste my entire description and post it on your channel, you'll be surprised how many people I've seen do that. But <laughs> as long as you don't do that, you're fine, man. Because what's good says you got to close the sim and restart the entire flight so it looks nicer. Ah, I see. Okay, I, I got you. Don't worry. I'll do it just for you because it's because obviously because you're running the stream. I got you. man. I got you. <laughs> dude, it, it surprises me how many people come in the chat and just say, watch my landing and crap like dude. Also, we'll, I'll open up discord here in a second to check out what a flight line was talking about. I didn't forget. Uh, Amen says it's because I'm fasting at the time uh, you landing. It's the time I'm breaking my fast. Ah, I see Amen. Okay. Jones with the V1 token. Rubs out to appreciate it, man. It should have been an arrow in the ND, if I remember correctly. It does. Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, what? I'm on 28. There you go. Salt Lake City to Denver IRO flight was uh was nothing like this IRO though. Ah, I see. What's going on, Mr. Eddie? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing? Flight is looking good. It is, man. We are chilling out today. We are having a nice flight so far. Hopefully, getting the river visual. Should be pretty pretty nice, man. I'm zooming all the way out here just so it's not super loud. Plane is looking good though too. I kind of like this livery. I don't know if I if I hate it or like it. It's it, I'm in between. Let me turn down the sim honestly, just so I don't hear it. I mean, 
The sounds in this plane are, are kind of trash. I'm not going to hold you, but hey, it's all good. Um, Lone Star says, yo, my E-175 just works like right now. Oh, really? There you go. Trying to fly tonight so I can learn a thing. Yeah, sounds good, Lone Star. I got you. We can hang out. Uh, the 777 is about to change the game for my long haul day this week. I'm telling you, bro. Imagine they like they release it and then they actually release it. You know what I mean? Like they release the preview and then they release the plane like at the same time. Imagine. Oh, my. They're going to release the 200 LR first. Yeah, I think it's the 200 LR and the F first. I think that's what we're all planning. I'll be back. Sounds good, Mikey. Um, at least that's what I think. I saw PMDG 777 video uh, better in with the release date. I'm telling you, dude. If, if it says, like, coming soon or some crap. Oh, no. People do it. Yes, behind the skies. That must be so sad. Dude, I've caught at least, like, it's not even me. It's usually the, my viewers. They'll be like, hey, go look at such and so stream. It looks like your exact layout of description. And I'm over here looking at it. And I'm like, dude. They copy. It's more so the people that don't actually, you know, fly the flight some correctly. They they kind of use it as a video game, like you know, they just hop in the Microsoft map and all that. There's people that copy my entire description, and it'll say like Vat Sim, hit that like button, try to hit like goal of 55, blah blah blah. Literally the same layout. It has my same peripherals and crap that I know they don't have, and then they'll be acting like it's their YouTube channel. I've had like at least three people do that in like the past two months. I mean, it happens so often, dude. It's like, bro. But yeah, it. I don't even know. I've had people steal my entire titles. In, in my title, say like Vat Sim. One of them said giveaway and they didn't have a giveaway. I was like, dude, it doesn't take that long to type out a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, did you get new headphones? I did fire as we did. We got these uh, Arctic 7X, whatever, from Steel Series. They're pretty nice. Uh, bro, the, their life must suck. I don't know, dude. Like I said, I'm not going to judge them because I know, you know, Usually they are younger people when I look at their channels they do tend to be like the younger people but it's still like bro you can't just steal somebody's entire description better yet my title and description that's usually like a kind of a unique one I know my titles usually have a lot of emojis in them I stopped doing it honestly because it looked a little extra but I've had my titles with like a bunch of emojis all in them and they're exactly identical to what I did I was like dude <laughs> bro everybody's gonna look at them and be like huh that looks familiar oh yeah owls did that you know what i mean like what's going on fs man can we stop with the father thing farther thing please like that's interesting bro how's it going though fs man appreciate you stopping in uh soon someone gonna use an ai for real bro an ai of me and that's gonna be scary bro Sc uh, sceneries i got you man or screenies yeah let me pull up the discord here <clears throat> I just, I, I wrote it ages ago, just copy and paste. Yeah, literally, that's all I do, too. That's why I don't understand why people just can't take time out of one hour of their day, make a whole description, just use the default copy and paste thing for every stream they do. It, it, that's what I do. I don't retype it every day. Like, I don't know. Some people are concerning me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to Brussels. Nice of us, man. There you go. The approach controller is a circle, is it? Into a DCA? I don't see DCA on. I see New York approach. Oh, yeah, New York approach. I bet he is strict. Oh, is he that one dude that streams? I think I've seen him before. Passing out 32. Once we level at 32, I think I'll uh, we'll look at the stuff here. We got a plan where we got to descend though here, man. We don't have any controllers or anything on, so we kind of got to base that off of me. Coming up on 32,000 though seems pretty darn fantastic, man. Um, uh, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, uh, bro, Discord. I got you, flight. I got you, flight. I got you, man. Uh, AI Owl channel coming soon, guys. Don't worry, Jake. Oh, gosh. I just start, like, flying. I start turning into one of those Xbox flyers. Oh, gosh. Doing doing a giveaway that never happens, like one of those channels. Like, hit the, hit the link in the description to join the giveaway. Hit the link in the description to join the giveaway. If you join it right now, you can get free v or <laughs> Some crap, dude. Oh, that would be bad. That would be really bad. Right, let me zoom back in here. Cool. Looking good. Just leveled at 32. Sounds good to me, man. If you guys haven't already, though, hit that like button. We're at 40 likes. Trying to hit that like goal this evening of 80. Already halfway there. You guys are freaking fantastic, man. What's up, farther? You're like, dude, what? So don't mess up in the pressure, JK. We'll see, Eamon. That's, that's just an extra leg I added. Um, I am flying the JFK this weekend, so I don't know if we might do that second leg, but if I feel like flying after this, once we get back into Boston, then we'll see if we go to JFK. Uh, I've been watching a uh, farther time for PMDG 777 tutorials. Lol. He's a tired American 777 captain. Great. Oh, he's like an actual YouTuber. Oh, interesting. There you go. Uh, bro, uh, bro's image is going to be destroyed. <laughs> You're going to be flying the dune plane in the top. Gun. Yeah, literally like that crap, like flying around. Guys, go in the link in the description. Giveaway. It signs you up for 50 free Robux. Like, oh gosh. 
All right, let's go ahead and check out the Discord here, though. Uh, boom. So today we got Mr. I saw this one by Hendo. This made me want an A330 200F, but look how beautiful this is. If if only this wasn't a Neo, it would look so good. Nice picture, though, man. Anyways, got a flight line set. I got a 324, but I was flying into a 6,000 foot long runway with a 6,000 foot hover elevation. Cool. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm supposed to be flying in the Jackson Hole with the. Uh, oh, that's nice, dude. I'm supposed to be flying in the Jackson Hole with the CRJ, but I don't know if I'm going to do that stream because. I got to do multiple legs for that. Oh, that's nice. You got the GSX preset, so it actually walks you through it. Beautiful. Mr. Eli flying a 7-3 out of Salt Lake City. Line up for 3-4 uh, left. Climbing out of 3-4 left. Beautiful, man. Fires with his DCS shots. Lovely. Look at that. Flying the jet silver. I know he's going to be flying this, dude. I just knew it. Nice, dude. Beautiful shot. It's got Lone Star. Uh, this is one of his thumbnail pictures, I'm pretty sure. Flying the 7-3. Coming into the land. I don't know where, but beautiful shot. Ooh, look at that. It's like a flight line type shot. There you go. Beautiful shots. We got food. Oh, yeah. I got a shot. Oh, hold up. I would, I would tear that up. Anyways, look at what I had last night. I guarantee most of you guys thought this was like chicken nuggets. This is actually Korean style fried uh, cauliflower. So it's Korean fried cauliflower. This thing was freaking... I'm getting this again, dude. That was so good, bro. Yeah, I literally got this and a whole burger, and I had to, like, eat them separately because I thought I was going to eat that as an appetizer and then have the meal after. Dude, I couldn't eat all that, dude. It was a lot. FS Man with the EZ pictures. There we go. Mr. Easy Jet. Nice. Easy Jet. That cockpit is, is actually concerning. We got a landing reaction by Mr. Flightline. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Uh, that was coming into Austin. Nice. There you go, man. Uh, I didn't say farther. I asked, what is a uh, father? Oh, <laughs> bro. That honestly didn't even look that bad, to be, to be real with you. Just had to flare a little bit more. It looks like you kind of, you wimped out on the flare. But hey, I mean, that's a good landing. I think you should happily take that. Oh, yeah. Look at the, the effects on the wing. Uh, they try to make them look so good. Also, I'm going 250 knots. I can go faster than 250. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go ahead and speed it up. Uh, we could get that thing all the way up here. And ble Oh, I got the APU still on. Oops, APU can come off. <laughs> cool. Let's go ahead and get the speed back up here. I was going slow. I was like, why is it taking so long? Cool. Um, Free Clash Royale. Yeah, something like that crap. Like, bro. It does have us pitched up at a little bit of aggressive angle, a little bit of a aggressive angle here. Uh, we are speeding up though now, so I mean I'm not gonna worry about it. it. Does look like a weird, a weird elevation, but I guess that's just how it cruises. Um, wait, so are you flying on Friday? I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm gonna be flying on Friday. Sorry, am I like jacking you guys up? I'm like, I'm so all over the place with this chat right now. So if I'm jacking people, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be flying Friday. Uh, looks JKF. <laughs> Uh, LAX is uh, SMF to Jacksonville United. Oh, there you go. I was thinking something out of Denver. Though. I was doing like Denver to Jackson, the Denver to somewhere else. I don't know. Though. We'll see. I was, can you help me calibrate after stream? Oh, that's what you need help with? I got you, son. I have that the uh, Sun Pick is a flight line train. Mark, it is. PMG mixing that the uh, device for the 777 has been significantly better than the previous 737. So I'll say the release mid-April or early April. All right. We'll see. Uh, where do I put my channel trailer for you to look at it? Go into the self-promo. Um, it's like something for your channel. Go to self promo and I can check it out there, man. 50, I oh know 49 more minutes. So we arrived though. Looking fantastic. Looking good. Leave the APU on for extra thrust. <laughs> we were burning fuel, dude. The way, the way Simbrief plans these fuels, dude, it, they give you nothing on reserve for these flights. So that's why I was like, uh oh, I don't know how to re how to, you know, add more fuel to this plane. So if we need to, that would have been bad. <laughs> Glad I noticed though. Uh, doo doo landing JK. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Oh, the development for it. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it is because I mean, dude, they they literally uh, announced like what did they announce the triple seven? I mean, it was like recently. They've been doing this like the past like four or five months, which is really fast for any development team right now. So I mean, hey, maybe they got something going on. Uh, I feel you, Al. My chat calls me King. Oh gosh, bro's taking notes from Mikey. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Mikey told me to leave the AP on, guys, so I start doing it for extra thrust. Lone Star also uh, told me to do it. Um, words cannot express how much I don't want to be at work. Dude, I got to go to school on Tuesday, and it's not going to be an easy day at school because I'm going to have all my actual core classes... I'm going to have a tennis game and then get home late after being on break and, you know, relaxing. So <laughs> it's not going to be very fun for me. But, hey, hopefully you have a better, a better, eh, may, you know, make it seem fun. I don't know. January or December. You think it's going to come out December? I don't think. Oh, that's when they start working on it. I mean, that's not that long. I mean, that's still re relatively fast than all these other devs. I want to see what i builds does with that A350, though. I feel like that A350 is going to be rolling. Check sub promo. I got you. What's going on, Leon? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? Uh, let me pull it up, though. <laughs> what do you mean, CST? I take notes from you, bro. You're, you're, you're a role model. Uh, cool. Let me check out your channel trailer here. All right. Let's see if this thing slaps. I don't think I'm going to play the song just because I don't know if it's copyright or not. I have a 1% I'll join on my phone. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Is my Discord bugging or is that the entire thing? Oh, that that literally was the entire thing. I I was like, dude, is my am I chipping? I love this song. What is this song called? Nice. I would say maybe make it a little shorter. I feel like the music won't make it as awkward, but it, it does seem like you stay on the like saying FS man just bland on the screen for a long time. So I would say maybe maybe make that a little bit, you know, shorter. But I mean, other than that, it looks like a pretty nice intro, man. There you go. Good for RFS. Yeah, so let's see. I don't know where I'm going to start my descent, but we look like 150 out for now. So we'll chill out for now. We'll just stay outside and then we'll start that descent here eventually. We still don't have anybody online. Um, we have all these New York stuff in Atlanta Center, but we're not heading down there, so we'll figure that out. Uh, ready to go back to school? I'm not. No. I like going to school. I mean, like, it's not like a, especially me going to a new school, it's not like what it used to be like. Like, going to school for me now is like, oh, finally get to do something fun, like different, you know? It's a big school. It's not like, I've been going to the same private school that I was at since I was in first grade, so... It was a private school, so it wasn't that big. And it also was me going to it for six. What is that? Not six years. I'm first grade to 10th grade. I've been going there for 10 years. Technically 11 if you want to count like the year thing for it. But 10 years basically going to the same small private school. So I knew the building like the back of my hand. I could walk in there freaking blindfold and go to all my classes. So it's, it's definitely fun going to school now because it's different and you know not the same stuff every day but i'm still not happy to go back and learn um i will say though going from a private school to a public it does seem like you guys do nothing in private school or public school because <laughs> i feel like i'm like easily flying through these classes except english english is the one class that seems like it never gets easy but other than that um i'll be able to fly the pmd triple seven because my navigraph bills and i just bought the phoenix so i have to wait a little ah oh, that's all good uh, I like to go to school for becoming a pilot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go to school to become a pilot. Not to learn about the quadratic formula or something. Cal says, just finished my uh, full stack engineer intern certification test. Expecting a fall, a fail. But uh, I hope now I get a better at it. Hey, well, there you go, Cal. I have no clue how to help you with that. But hey, there you go. What's going on? Yeah, I appreciate you stopping in. Dog, what is this? What do you mean? What What happened? Uh, boy, uh, Mike is in the house. Uh, howdy, just got done with another quality live stream. How about yourself? How's it going, Mike? Hopefully your stream went fantastic. We're doing good. Flying the uh, E195 today in the jet blue colors. Planning for the river visual, so that should be pretty nice. Looking good, though, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Hope you had a good stream, like I said. Doing good. Uh, English 2 or 3. I'm in AP Honors English 2, I think. Or something like that. It's some freaking weird advanced 
title they have for the class. I'm pretty sure this was AP English. I don't know what all the details, but they got like a whole, a whole description for it. Uh, can you race my flight to Atlanta? No. <laughs> Hoping they announce the release late so I can request it. That's what I'm saying. Like, if they could, like, I don't think they will, though, to be honest with you. Because every time a company says, oh, yeah, it's going to release this day, it never releases that day. And they're like, oh, we're super sorry. We've been put on a timeline now, so we're rushing a little bit. So we're going to have to push that timeline. It, it always happens. So realistically, I don't think they're going to. They're going to. But, I mean, they may. I don't know. I'm just saying uh, uh, all my major... Uh, and college is uh, comp science. Oh gosh, uh, lovely. Enjoy the river visual. It's always a blast. Oh yeah, man. Exactly. I haven't flown. I've flown it before off stream with this plane, but I've never done it on stream, so it should be fun. Uh, learning the same thing. I'm learning. Uh, what a shame. I feel like we're fa uh, teaching us the same thing over and over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it. I will say for math, the math I'm in now, which is algebra two. It kind of wait. Yeah, algebra two. It just it feels like a, a relearn of what I've already learned, at least in this school. I don't know it just I feel like we need to be focusing more on like how to do taxes and stuff I know there's classes for that but they need to be like main classes because like I feel like that's a lot more important than learning why the hippopotamus has two big front teeth and can swim for six out you know what I mean like I don't know uh, when it coming out the PMG servers are gonna be wild. oh yeah they're gonna shut down again you remember when the app crashed the other day oh yeah that's that thing's not gonna work that's what I say. If it comes out, we probably won't have a stream with it for like two or three days just because I know the app's going to crash. <laughs> I guarantee it's going to be like that for all the freaking uh, streamers, too. Ever since I moved here to Georgia, I've been, been in private school and I'm um, going to public next year in high school. I'm excited for how was the transition. I mean, it was really honestly the first few days. I'm a really like talkative person, so I'm not like a I'm, I'm kind of like an extrovert. I, I'll talk to anybody if you don't seem like you're going to kill me or something. So. I mean, it wasn't bad for me. It was just really different. I was like, dude, usually to go from like one class to another, my other school took like three seconds and we used to just dilly dally in the halls and we would still take three seconds to get to those classes. At this school, you actually got to walk with the purpose to get to your class, bro. You got five minutes. It's going to take you five minutes to get to that class, which is crazy to me. So that's why I feel like it's a little different. This plane's also tweaking a little bit. What are we doing? Uh, am I messing with something? I don't know if I'm messing with something. We'll just stay in the cockpit for now. We are a little bit under speeding here, going 190 knots. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's fine. <laughs> Let it split. It looks like we're just pitched up really aggressively here. Can we pitch it down? I would have probably went off of that. There you go. Is it going to pitch our trim back up? Yep, it is. All right, cool. I guess that's just what it wants. All right. Anyways, we'll monitor it. <clears throat> Um, when I, uh, maybe I'll be able to fly the PMG in uh, May or June. Hey, there you go. Uh, can you re, can you race a flight to, f race the flight to Fort Lauderdale? You talking about like racing in the sim? Probably not. <laughs> there you go. Uh, how much do you think the PMG triple seven months? We're going on aviator creator. I think it's probably going to be around. Honestly, I think $80, maybe 75, $80. That's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing um algebra 2 is hard i mean not really i mean i'm one of those people that I'm, I'm pretty good at math um math is one of my highest classes somehow my highest grades in math i have like a 98 or something like that so it's not really hard for me just because i find math to be like simon says they teach you the steps on what to do and you just have to remember the steps especially with this new school literally they don't like they give you the formulas mid test and stuff like and you could use like this website where you just put in the formula and put in the the problems and it answers it for you You just got to know what formula to use. so i find math to be very easy i i can't say that for everybody though because a lot of people hate math i don't like math but i'm just good at it so i don't know uh i think they'll charge like 70 70 to 84 yeah that's what i'm saying 70 i think not 70 flat but 75 to 80 i think that's what it is i'm sadly bad at math yeah a lot of people are i'm just I think I'm just more fluent in it. It's something in me that makes me like lock in when it comes to, you know, like math, but any other class I'm getting good grades. I have all A's, but it's just like, I'm not like as amazing in it as I am in math. I really don't know what it is. I can't, I can't tell you. Oh, Desmos. Yes. Classy that crap. Desmos, whatever. I don't know what Desmos is, but I'm glad I met it. Cause that thing is freaking like, do y'all even like, cause you've been living here your whole life. Do y'all learn anything? Because using Desmos is quite literally finding the formula 
and importing the numbers and just running it through desmos and it answers the whole thing for you <laughs> i use desmos for my butt dude literally i do y'all learn anything like d there's no shot you learn anything for using desmos I'll, i i came in there the first day of school I, I came with my calculator you know i was ready i got my my book out the scratch pieces of paper and like oh no we do it on desmos i was like what is that and she walked me through and i was like dude you're telling me you just sit there and you just boop answers the entire thing for it. i was like okay all right that's that mm. my cousin uh broke into the teacher's car at our school now the police are looking for him he was the He's supposed to be home by six and he's not home yet. Aviation, bro. Why is your why is everything you say have to like so wild, bro? There's never like a normal a normal comment. <laughs> like the other day was your your friend or something was testing you your loyalty against his girlfriend and now your your cousin broke into a teacher's car and is ev evading the police. Like what? <laughs> what? Uh, I disagree. I don't think they're gonna charge close to the same price for the triple seven they did with the seven thirty seven. I think it's gonna be upwards of ten. Yeah, I don't know. I think it low key might. Just, I don't know. I feel like it. Personally, ninety to one hundred dollar range is basing off the P three D prices, but a bit lower either way. Canadian one hundred dollars. Yeah, obviously Canadian. Maybe just doesn't use Desmos. They actually. Uh, I use Desmos for budget tracking. It's so helpful. Oh, yeah. I think it's gonna cost me a hundred dollars. We'll see. Desmos is literally the best thing that's happened to me, dude. Like I like it, but it's just like. I've already learned how to, you know, import the formulas and I know like all what to do, but it just seems like if you're automatically, literally the test is just like tests here are just like knowing what formula to use for what and just importing the numbers in. That's why I feel like you don't learn anything. I don't know. So basically Desmos is flying in air. Yes, Brendan. Yes. Literally flying in air was you, you push one button. It does the whole thing. It's literally a fly button. It's like an answer button. <laughs> crap i love desmos maybe that's why i'm so good at math i actually learn but i also go to private not public so maybe dude i mean the fact that i was like there's no way we get to use this on test and then the teacher said yeah we use this on tests as well as well as standardized tests i was like there no shot you learn anything using that bro uh, yeah, I got certification. This definitely can increase my chance of getting hired into an internship. Adding uh, to my LinkedIn for sure. Nice, Cal. Congratulations, man. I'm glad that happened to you, man. Very, you, I bet you put in some good work for that, man. So I'm glad it came out how you want it to be, Cal. Congratulations, man. That sounds like a personal. <laughs> Mo said his GF flirt. His, yeah, it was like his friend's girlfriend flirted with him and he was getting a test. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> All right, I guess we're coming back to speed. I guess I just got to watch it. I don't really know what's going on there. We have this error waypoint, but I don't know what we need to be at. So we're going to pull up the charts here, and I think that should tell us what we need to be at. So let's go and close this up real quick. Let's open up some charts for, uh, oops, I just closed the whole thing. Let's say KDCA. We're going to pull up two charts, obviously. We're going to do that one for the arrival and KDCA for the ground charts. And we're going to be taking Charlie 30. That's our gate, Charlie 30. So we'll go DCA. We're going to descend on the daily three. And cool. So we're going to be joining this, I think, at the Laughlin waypoint. So from Laughlin, we need to cross Blit at 1111,000. So actually, let's try something. I've never actually done this. So let's try Blit, if I could find it. Laughlin, Blit, there we go. We'll say 250 knots at 11000. We'll go over here. And you can't, you can't do that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought we had some. Anyways. We got to cross Blit at 11,000. So based off of that, we got Laughlin there. Blit's coming up. I'm going to start my descent very shortly here. Once Laughlin reaches that 100 nautical miles out uh, and gets a little bit under, we'll start that descent. Good flight so far, though. Chilling out. Nobody's screaming and throwing throwing up on the plane. So we're doing good, man. Doing fantastic. <clears throat> uh, what ch uh, changes do they make with the EJ? What's going on, Brayden? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Also, if you guys haven't already, like, Brayden, hit that like button if you haven't. We're at 43 likes. Trying to hit that like goal of 80 this evening. You guys are freaking blowing me up today. I appreciate it. Um, really, all they did was make the plane stable. Um, they I didn't I haven't noticed any like you know physical flight dynamic changes or anything. But what what I can tell you based off of not reading the change log, whatever they already had in the plane, they made stable. So they didn't upgrade anything. In my from my understanding, just from flying, I haven't read the change log. But from what it seems like, they just updated the plane to where. The systems they have implemented are stable and they work perfectly. Just, it's not, you know, like a proper E-190 yet. But it still is a 
all the systems like the vertical change and the flight flight level change all that stuff like vertical speed all that crap is stable it's just not any upgrades to it that's what i'm noticing but i don't know that's just my guess i will read the change logs here obviously but i don't know uh, my life is just crazy i guess so we got to do stuff but desmos we still use uh we still got to show work and all that yeah see our class we basically don't got to do any of that we just type it in the desmos and give the answer we just have to tell her which formula we use it's like bro are you able to use desmos for final exam and midterm i think we are i mean she said standardized testing i don't know if that meant like literally like you know like a, a state test or all that or if it's just for like you know a, a normal test like a classwork test i hope not because dude if that's for standardized testing dude that's like that that's like cheating at that point uh amari says any girls walk up to you <laughs> for what u.s education moment <laughs> I'm getting navigated tomorrow. Nice, Leon. There you go, man. We are allowed to calculators on a test. We're not. A, you're not. Hundred dollar TI eighty four plus CE, and I don't even use it. I'm a TI eighty four Python or something. I don't even know what the Python does in it, but dude, that's actually crazy. No shot, bro. Nice though, Leon. Get navigated. There you go, man. Uh, I know a kid that goes to private. He got a 582 in his algebra 2 SOL. I don't even have to do the SOLs because I go to private. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I think we do. I don't even really know what the SOLs are, but I, I keep hearing them getting called up on the radio for like the English SOL and stuff. So I'll probably eventually ask somebody what, what's an SOL. I'm guessing it's like just a standardized Georgia test like we used to have, but like I guess a Virginia state one, but we'll see. I don't really, I don't really know what any of that is. But that's, that's, just, that's just crazy. If you're allowed to use that on a test, that's no, that, nah. Guess what was going on, Eli? What's up, Killer? How's it going? What's going on, Tyler? Pre or Tyler. Oh my gosh. Taylor, how's it going, man? Appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing this fantastic freaking Thursday, dude? Hopefully you're doing well, man. Um, The police just came out the house with him, and now his grandpa's kicking him out from upstairs. Leon, I don't want to say it, but uh, this seems like a personal problem. <laughs> I, I don't know how how this helps. I mean, you could DM me about this, but I mean, this is like really random. Uh, I think the thing fixed my sim. Uh oh. Tell me, tell me what you did after you completely fly two flights. How about that? Oh uh, yeah, he just got a five eight two using Desmos six hundred is a perfect Desmos as well. Okay. Uh, he did not show or do any work. Like literally, he probably just sit there. Forty two. 6,383. Uh, what did I do wrong? Ah, uh, comma. Ah, uh, okay. 415. Like, <laughs> Desmos is like, bro. Uh, Taylor, Tyler, I've heard it all. Bro, I'm sorry, my guy. I'm, I'm sorry. How, wait, how do you say your name? Is it not Taylor? It's Taylor, right? I, is it not Taylor? Uh, Mario says, no, nah, I keep, uh, keep splitting. Forget what Brendan says. Oh, keep spilling about about the tea of him, his his cousin getting arrested. Gaming fist is in the house. How's it going, man? Long time no see. It has been a minute. Appreciate you tuning back in, man. How have you been? Uh, read the message I sent before that one. Um, you you got it got deleted. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh what is that what is this desmos it's basically an online calculator but you just put in any formula for something and it does it so essentially i could go into my calculator and i'll let me go to plan here make sure this looks good i'll go in my calculator and you know like i'll have a formula for you know finding the square radius of like a triangle or something where in this thing in this system that they have essentially you go in and you find a formula for a square and say it's like length times width times height and essentially you go into desmos and you just type in something you go length parentheses height parentheses uh width and it answers it for you or say you need to use pi like say a triangle formula one half times pi minus two or times two some something random right that and you just you basically fill in what your answer like your problem equation is you just fill in like substitute the numbers in and desmos just goes through and answers it for you so it, it's basically an, a calculator, but it does the formula for you. You don't have to like basically do anything, which is insanely suspicious, but hey, it's fine. I don't know. Uh, that's what I was on the computer too. So you can, you can use web version and probably cheat. Dude, online testing too. That's crazy, bro. Uh, I think I'm about to purchase the Captain Sim 767. Alice, please stop me. Go ahead. No, do it. It's like one of the best planes in the Sim. 
I'll just make sure to get CST in your chat the whole time. <laughs> That'll make you regret your purchase. Uh, make it. Oh, Tyler? T I can't make an Italian. Oh, uh, gosh. I can't make an Italian accent. Uh, the police found my cousin and they're taking him to St. Crocs. Nice. Jim says, uh, yeah, I use the Desmos calculator most of the time. It's crazy. I'm so happy on Sunday I got the Delta Trader A330 card. Oh, nice. I only have an A320. Where is the A320? It's in my room somewhere. I got the A321 trading card. On my flight from Mojito to LX. Nice, dude. Gaming Fist says, I've been good, you know, getting in the gym more for football. Hope you're still on the ground. I am, Gaming Fist. I think you've been here since I've moved, but if you didn't know, we were gone for that, like, two weeks just because I was in the process of moving. We finally got here, and then uh, I had to get some PC upgrades. I got my room set up, so now we're back on the grind. Um, but yeah, we we're going to be, I, I was streaming this whole week. Um, I just didn't stream yesterday cause I was getting a discovery flight and all that planned out and I was tired. So, but yeah, we are back on that grind, man. Getting content pushed out almost every day, except for the weekdays when I'm back in school. Cause, uh, the, the days have been a little rough with the tennis, but we still get it out like, at least three times a week. So it's good. The seven, six, what? <laughs> Yo, I'm back. Appreciate you stopping back in Ashton. Not CST. DC t uh, tower up then? Really? Interesting. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got Boston. Oh, Boston's alive now. There we go. Boston is fully staffed. So we're going to be fully staffed in Boston. I was about to say, there's an event going on. I was, I was literally saying, there's an event going on in Boston. No shot. They're all off. But I guess they all got off to switch controllers. Anyways, there's so much people online now. Uh, DCA Tower 119.1. So let's go ahead and set 19 more. 119.1.0.0. And cool. We'll uh, tune his frequency here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and start my descent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select 11,000 here is what we're going to tune. 1, 1, 11,000. Oops. 1, 1, 11,000 here. Beautiful. Let's go vertical speed. And we'll go ahead and get that down 1,000 feet per minute. And we'll keep this mock here as we descend. We're we'll going to ping out the cabin that we're starting that descent here. Cool. Nice. There we go, man. Uh, St. Crocs. Is it? Oh, St. Croix. Yeah, sorry. St. Croix. I forgot about that. Uh, Captain Sim is better than PMG. Please buy exactly. Like, capital please. Dude, it's such a good aircraft, dude. The Captain Sim, I would highly recommend for all these loving av geeks, dude. It's one of the best planes ever released, dude. Uh, wait, you moved from Atlanta? Yeah, I did, Ashton. That's what, that li I think, that's what I'm saying. There's so many people that are slowly trickling in being like, oh, you're back live again. Why weren't you live? I was like, dude, I was moving. <laughs> I was driving. I wasn't. I wasn't home or anything. But yeah, I did. We're in Virginia now, man. I finally uh, pulled the trigger on GSX Pro. There you go, Tech. You're not gonna regret it, man. Trust. You're gonna love GSX. Uh, thousands of dollars later. Sup, I was going on aviation. Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing? Um, Regan Tower on G. No cap on this River Visual garbage runway one. <laughs> Hey, uh, 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 what's this? Reagan National Towers, uh, for, what's it? JetBlue 2255, about a, about a five mile final with a visual one, nine River Vision type, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, actually, can we get that transition from, uh, the Latin Waypoint part of that r <laughs> Oh, my. Uh, Vatsum event, uh, this evening, just if I, yeah, I know, Classy. It was, it's a GA Vatsum event, so I don't know how many actual airplanes are going to be not flying GA. I'm guessing a lot if Boston's fully staffed, but tomorrow we're going to be flying into the, uh, Orlando Vatsum event they're having tomorrow, so that should be fun. Uh, I got the camera, good. Eddie says, uh, can you still load a flight plane with Simbrief if you don't have Navigraph? I think so, yes. I'm pretty sure Simbrief itself is free. Just Navigraph is the nav data and chart. So yes, you can. Just Navigraph, you can't load like the charts up and all that. You just be able to have your flight plan. All right, we're gonna basically be staying in the cockpit for the rest of this flight. So we're gonna go ahead and get these tunes, or the, not tunes, but the audio of the game turned a little bit up. Get it at 30. This plane is so loud, dude. I just, I can't listen to it. All right, cool. Like I said, we need to try us uh, blit at 1, 1, 11, 000. It's in 50, 50 miles. So I think this descent rate should be fine for now. We'll just make it a little bit extra here in a second. Uh, GSX a one-time purpose? Yes, it is. It's a purpose. Purchase. Yes, it is. One-time purchase. Uh, do I have the A3 uh, A330? I have the Headwind A330. Um, that's the only one I own. There's the PMP. That sucks. Um, there's the Latin VFR, but that one also is kind of rocky. So I just have the uh, the freeware uh, Headwind. Uh, GSX is a monthly payment too? No, it's free. It's free. Uh, Captain, Captain Sim can go F themselves in the triple seven. <laughs> What's that? Oh, my mama. <laughs> uh, that approach going to be hard without VNAV? Not really. Um, honestly, without VNAV, it's probably going to be pretty simple to do. You just come on in. 
obviously for the river visual i'm just gonna basically we're gonna hold 250 once we're about to join the transition to join the river visual i'm gonna slow the speed down about 210 knots and i'm just gonna fly it by my hand i have the approach plate pulled up beside me so we'll just monitor this approach plate the whole time so we'll be fine oh my mama we finna whip you <laughs> We on that river visual, man. We finna land this thing on my mama. Word to my mama. <laughs> Word to my mother. No, there's a GA event, but also Spring Break Madness. Oh, yeah. Spring Break Madness is tomorrow, though. That's what we're going to be flying in. I'm planning to do MCO to Indianapolis and then Indianapolis back to MCO to hop back into it. I'll never trust Captain Sim again. Trust me, dude. Look at any one of my past YouTube videos that I made. I hate Captain Skin. Sorry for all the caps. You're good, man. I got early release tomorrow and two field trips in the row next week. Oh, Fires is living life, man. Of course, Eddie. You got it, man. Alex, when I'm gonna get back on Vatsim, uh, check how much, check how much my, what? Your phase got higher? What do you mean phase got higher? Also, I just heard a beep. What happened? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, so we don't have any approaches on. I don't think Potomac, uh, Potomac is online, so that's good. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this down just a little bit more. It's looking a little, a little rough. Let's go ahead and say 1500, and we're gonna slow speed down to 200 and say 270 that'll slowly get us down 275 for now honestly this plane's a little rocket ship so we can do whatever we want let's go ahead and adjust the heading mode here make sure we're good yeah, let's get it like 17 under 18 under works there you go cool um bro pilot blob retired for flying the 73 i heard dude i heard about that i was watching this titus is in the house how's it going titus really appreciate you helping us with that giveaway the other day man uh no not yet obviously they didn't do that they never do that um but they did basically make the plane what it is before now completely stable so any systems that were in this plane work phenomenally now there's not really many bugs in it anymore um other than the engine start i feel like it might just me might just me be doing something wrong but the engines never want to start up but it's only when i file a flight plan though like when i put the flight plan in the tablet and do all what i did it always never starts but when i don't it starts i don't know we'll figure it out but yeah, everything they basically have in the plane now is stable. That's all the update really was. Uh, thanks for the advice. I will most definitely uh, be spending my money on the Captain Sam 767 just to make you and CC happy. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, you'll get so many views for flying that plane too. Uh, joking, right, Mike? <laughs> I need Phoenix to cover uh, to Boeing real quick. I just want to see what they could do. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's see. They might be doing something. Uh, how do you fly such... Bro, with the roots I give you, yo ham. I don't want to fly to freaking Conkalinka, Spain every three minutes, bro. I fly to the U.S. and then I do some fun special flights. That's why. Chill. <laughs> uh, MCO to Indianapolis. A U.S. flight. <laughs> it's a U.S. flight. That's why it's bad, isn't it? Uh, I fly St. Thomas from JFK back. Community flight? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm always be hating on USA. I'm telling you, it's literally just because it's in the U.S., bro. It's a Dodge route. I, I suggested a route that I bet no one has ever streamed before on God. Exactly. And that means nobody's going to watch it. <laughs> I'm kidding. You have good routes, yeah, but I, I like flying in the U.S. a lot more. That's why. All right. So Blitz and 50 nautical miles. We're descending pretty fast. Realistically, we could chill out on this descent. We could go about 15. No, 13 under. That works for me. Cool. Looking good. Uh, sceneries, deliveries, realistic. Oh, my gosh. I was, uh, there's uh, there's a video on the P on the channel on the PMD triple seven river. Yep, it starts at eight, so uh, probably we'll be up in the air um, at that time. So we'll be watching it on stream. Obviously, you guys could go watch it for yourselves, but just know I'm gonna be having like a watch party of some sort. Indianapolis is actually WMP. Exactly, I literally picked it up just for that flight, and I'm also gonna do a lot of Southwest out of there. So I like Indianapolis. Uh, by the way, I'm joking about the 767, but I uh, bet you I'll never convince me the 777 is a non-flyable aircraft. But at the end of the day, it's everyone have a good... Yeah, nah, 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 nah. 777 sucks. I, I, I'm, a, I'm happy that you like it, but that plane, I hate it, dude. It's, it's terrible. I don't know what you did to yours to make it decent, but mine is nowhere near decent. <laughs> but, hey. Indianapolis Motorway. Oh, yeah, there you go. Fours is in the house. How's it going, Fours? I caught your stream the other day. Hopefully, you had a good one. Other than the landing, I saw that you had to end stream. But how's it going, man? What's good, Alice? I'm still a little salty about that landing last night. I just had to... Oh, yeah. There you go. I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, the whole stream was good. I wasn't there the whole time. I was ripping and running. But hopefully, you had a good stream. Appreciate you stopping in. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. I'm trying to hit that like of 80 likes. I already had 45. Let's see if we can hit... Let's see if we get 50. 55 before we hit the ground. Uh, Casey's in the house. How's it going? Uh, 8 p.m. Which time zone? Uh, EST. 
Um, 8 p.m. EST. So that's what it is for us. I don't know where you are, though, man. Uh, bumpy in a DC. Is it classy? All right. Nice for the uh, pirate. Not going to say anything to that exactly. Uh, does that mean it's coming out like somewhere in March? The 777? Absolutely not. I'm probably thinking like mid April, end of April is probably a decent release date if they're making a preview vid, but it's definitely not coming out this month. I highly doubt that. And if they do, it's probably coming out like tonight or something. Like when it when the video goes live, the plane goes live. I don't know. I was been at 6.6k a while. Well, it's because of these damn US flights, bro. <laughs> um, JK, uh, that plane gave me gray hair. I was about to say. He was most definitely fine. I broke the game into Denver. Yeah, it's all good, man. That happens. Uh, no, no, I'm just joking with the community. <laughs> uh, how do you have time to stream with homework? I barely have homework. That's what it is, Aviation Creator. Um, my old school never really gave me homework because I usually completed it in class. And also, this school now doesn't even give out homework. So, I just, I either get it done or I just don't have any. That's what it is. Uh, I'm also on break this week, too. This is a, like, I'm on break. That's why I'm able to stream for so long on the, on these days. Because uh, I can say some nasty shit about Captain Sim. Um, I'm going to keep my mouth, bro. Anyone can. I was about to say, what's the next community flight? The next community flight is probably going to be um, when we have like a GA community um, flight with all these other streamers that we have planned. But until then, I'm not doing one. I used to love doing like a monthly community flight. I know you used to be doing those, but it's just I can't sit here and fly on the Xbox servers. There's people flying in 360s, planes flying into each other. Ain't nobody space. It's just, community flying is just Xbox playtime, bro. That's I don't diss on Xbox players, but I just, I hate, I don't like the, the normal Microsoft servers. They're too chaotic, dude. So sadly, we won't be doing those community flights like that anymore, but definitely for this GA thing we'll have is probably our next community flight. Uh, can you send the preview video via DMs when you get the chance? But I'll most likely be watching with you on stream. Yeah, I got you, Micah. Actually, I can pull it up right now. I had it open. Uh, let me send this link to you. Yeah, this uh, should be pretty, it should be pretty cool. I don't, I don't think it's going to be like a live stream. I'm pretty sure it's just a video. Um, I don't have the link anymore. It's my Discord. I got to pull it up. I'll give it to you when we land. I thought I had the thing pulled up. I had a different one open. Uh, not GA again, bro. <laughs> aviation always complaining. Yoham and Aviation are the same person, but just complaining. Uh, you said what? Your school doesn't give out homework? Not really. And if they do, it's like they give it out, but they, they give you a lot of time to complete it in class. So you never really have to, you know do it as homework at for real uh uh and you should do a shared cockpit we definitely will we have one planned uh with multiple people it's gonna be like a four person shared cockpit i don't know when that's probably gonna be out though probably not anytime soon but we'll definitely have one man private community flight you could add whoever you want yeah that's what we're doing uh that's what we're doing yo ham that's what i said our community flight is gonna be on the online servers but on the private server oops uh, i'm just gonna watch the fortnite i'll be back to bother you in maybe 39 minutes oh my gosh I don't understand how people consistently play Fortnite anymore, dude. I got on that game, like, Monday. Oh, my gosh, dude. That game is horrible, bro. I got, like, laser tagged. I, I got, like, some freaking, like, this random new weapon that just, like, spawned into my box and blew up. I was like, what is this crap, dude? It's terrible. Microsoft multiplayer is for people who unironically watch Swiss. Yeah, literally. Aviation is different. He talks about liking the Zobo 320. Nah. By realistic, I mean watching people act, or uh, watch pe oh my gosh. I mean, people acting like they got sense, don't think I'm just saying if it flies realistic. Oh no. Private servers are grouped with the max of four to five. Oh, is it actually only four to five? All right, never mind then. <laughs> Guess we gotta do it public. Yeah, Fortnite is hor hor about. <laughs> Stay tuned, have something planned? Oh yeah. Bro, Fortnite is doing too much. Literally, this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not a person to hate Fortnite. I used to be a Fortnite ride or die, dude. I used to say, oh, this game is getting good. They're just adding stuff. Dude, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, my gosh. They they add laser blasters, freaking pair up themselves with, like, every single music creator you can possibly think of. It's just like, dude, I don't understand how a game can be such a money grab. Like, it's insane. Let me pair it with Lady Gaga, The Weeknd, Ariana Grande, like Drake. Did they do a Drake skin? No, they didn't do a Drake skin. I think they did a Drake emo. But like, dude, it's, it's mm -mm. Fortnite is out of pocket at this time, dude. Nah. Fortnite is donkey ain't funny anymore. Stop playing. Like, literally, Dominic. I recently stopped playing. I would say I stopped playing like eight months ago. Maybe like the beginning of this year is when I stopped playing. Or not this year. Uh, beginning of like 2023 is probably when I stopped playing. 
besides then i i've got on the game like six times the most recent was like two days ago when i tried out the new season and i hated it so <laughs> no nah. fortnite is for 14 days fortnite is a game oh did somebody spell fortnite wrong fortnite won't see me until they bring back the chapter two that like literally i took for granted the chapter two map bro that game was actually still decent around then adding stuff in terms means ruining game exactly literally yeah what tech said they're running out of ideas like let me go ahead and add a lady gaga skin i got on the game and said lady gaga is in the item shop right now bro <laughs> like what what's going on mr uh information alpha how are you doing man appreciate you stopping in how are you doing you guys haven't already hit that like button already at 50 likes so much we're trying to hit that like goal of 80 and 55 before we hop on this river visual hit that like button i really do appreciate it i don't care about the skins give me back to the og fortnite that season was uh og literally did they not check the numbers when they put og fortnite and everybody got back on i swear they i don't know who's running fortnite but they have to be like the pre pea brain sized people to not know what's good for them bro yeah let me bring back the og season that people have been begging me to bring back what do you know people actually like it let me take it away <laughs> like what i like dude that, that, that just amazes me bro like dude what all right looking like we're coming in close to blit uh we do have 12 miles here we're at 13,000. this descent honestly is fine we'll get it a little bit more and what do we got to be after this so we're going to join on this one going to megs for the river visual so we got to cross that at 6,000. so i'm going to go ahead and set 6,000 here in the altitude set 6k looks good and on this chart real quick let's actually pull up the uh approach for the isle or arnav river visual we're, we're taking the rmp though so we'll do this uh missed approach uh we need to climb to 3,000 on the final approach track and then uh direct to babin so it's I think runway heading, that's a right hand turn, I want to say. Um, so, runway heading, right turn up to 3000. Pretty simple. Uh, RMP minimums are going to be 1.1, which is going to be a 491 minimum. So, I don't think we could get that, that exact on this plan. So, we're just going to say 490. Yeah, I don't think you're able to do it like exact numbers like that. So, we'll just say 490. 490 set looks good. Let's pull up the taxi charts airport info and let's pull this up here so taxi we're gonna land one nine seven thousand foot runway usually i can vacate off of juliet latest will vacate alpha we'll take alpha charlie kilo and we're gonna be taking stan charlie 30 today so i think that's out of this first gate right here so that's cool um cool yeah we're just sitting on this arrival looks good we're good meg's at six thousand and that's where we're gonna join the river visual passing eleven thousand now which is what we need to be at we're gonna go in slow speed two five zero knots two five oh on the speeds beautiful Let's zoom this out now we don't need to be so exact and we are currently about 50 nautical miles to the south what are we south uh southeast i think we're on 22 eights we can't be on 22 eight though can we do i do the ctaf when i'm doing a call out when there's a tower online do you think we do that i'm just gonna say it on unicom and ring of traffic it's a jetpoo 2255 is anybody on this frequency yeah, nobody's on this frequency. We're going to go to CTAF. Uh, dot CTAF KDCA. Oh, well, CTAF is literally the tower frequency. I forgot that. So we'll just stay on Unicom. Passing 10,000, we'll get to stare online. Seatbelts come on. Landing lights can come on as well. Wings, and we'll get the nose and all that on once we come up a little bit closer. We're going to be using auto brakes medium today. We'll set auto brakes medium. Meet set. Cool. Slowing 250 on the speeds down to 6,000. That descent again can get arrested. We're gonna go about a thousand feet per minute there. Cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, no, nah, I played OG Fortnite because I had to, but otherwise not really. 46 minutes until the triple seven previews. There we go, Julians. Doing good. Just got back from the pub. Nice, Alpha. Hope you had fun. They ain't epic. That's for sure. Exactly. Epic Games adds OG Fortnite. Numbers skyrocket. Removes it. exactly. Like it makes no sense. No, after Fortnite was good between uh, season one to four, maybe five. After that, it went downhill with like the cars, planes, and more. Like literally, dude. CST is in the house. He's gonna start screaming at us. How's it going, CST? <laughs> Fortnite had most of their players the season after the OG comeback. Did they actually? It's probably because they got back into it. If that. Um, agreed. Never actually had an interest in the game, but they uh, added Star Wars, and I was like, Star Wars really? And of course, the kids are gonna believe Star Wars came from Fortnite. Yeah. 
Uh, exactly. The players base jumped so much when they brought back the OG Fortnite, but nah, they uh, instead of saying they went and changed the game again, yeah. Use only CTAF within a 10 to 20 nautical miles. Oh, really, Lexus? Okay. CST's in the house, though. How's it going, CST? What triple seven previews? If you go on the uh, PMDG YouTube channel, uh, at 8 p.m. my time. I don't know what it would be for your time. They're gonna be, I think, in 46 minutes, like 45 minutes from now, they're gonna be doing a triple seven. Uh, preview video. This is basically just going to show, I guess, like basically what INI builds did with the A300. Just show you some systems, the modeling, tell them their plans for it, and then hopefully a release date. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to be here. I just won't be chatting as getting dinner. Take coin during landing. We'll see you, Micah. Hopefully, you enjoy your landing, man. Uh, bro, I was at the pub just seeing it. Yeah, you're all good, Alpha. Yeah, hopefully, we'll check that out. We'll see if they got anything good for us. I'm guessing they will. If you haven't already, though, guys, hit that like button at 49 likes, running at 80 this evening. Appreciate you guys stopping him. <laughs> CSD comes in saying unsubbing. We've been waiting for you, CSD. You finally joined in, man. Now, I don't think we have Potomac on, though. We'll check again. I don't want to. Yeah, we just have DCA Tau. DCA uh, C Tau is 19 1, so we'll just tune into him here in a second. Joining the River Visual, though, I'm just going to hand fly the whole thing down. I think that's our plan. Uh, like, so you take Spanish? <laughs> Hola, mi hermano. <laughs> Cool. So I'm going to get rid of these now. Let's go to the approach and we'll get the RNAV RMP19. So from here, we join Fergie and Fergie's at 3000 feet. So we're going to go ahead and we'll set 3000. Uh, we'll set 6000 for now because I'm pretty sure we have Fergie planned in here, right? No, we're on the uh, we're on the RMP, I think. So what are the uh, Lytle? Let's go flight plan again. We'll go down. Do 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 we'll go landing landing here so cool landing we have a vrf of 140 with flaps 5 today so flaps 5 is not full but it's the one before full i think we should go flaps full though today so we're gonna i don't know how you would say flaps full in this plane though we're just gonna land flaps full that's fine uh cool so we're just gonna cross it at three thousand oh my gosh we're coming in fast yeah arrest that descent jeez cool looking good uh, I was going to tune in and watch this uh, flight simulation disgrace take. I wasn't going to do <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, glad you made it though, CST. Hopefully you enjoyed this amazing play. <laughs> uh, Anon's in the house as well. Here we go. Flight simulation hot goomin CST. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. About, uh, what was that? 30, 40 nautical miles to the southeast. He's classy said there's a little bit of winds coming in us, so we'll uh, we'll check that out here. I just hit Fergie, so I'll extend and maybe in a hold. Oh, you want you want to land uh, after me? Sounds good. We can't go any faster than 250 for now, so we'll probably you'll probably have to be in that hold for a little bit because we're now just joining the river ridge. I think the river is actually right over there, not this water right here, but over there. There's like one in the back. I see. Sounds good to me though. <clears throat> Let me see here though. I'm pretty sure I planned the right arrival. Uh, let's go back down here And where is that? I think it's roots and arrival here Yeah, one nine CTAC RNAV. Let's see. Let's go back in here one nine And we're gonna be on the RNAV one nine. Oh, we didn't put Fergie. Let me let me do transition as Fergie here uh, Fergie tra Fergie transition descent on the daily three Laughlin transition here. We're going to imply it's going to give us a random thing here, so we got to quickly go down. And oh wait, no, we don't. They fixed it. Cool. So next is Eddie Thanes. Oh, cool. See, they actually didn't make it decently better. Cool. All right. So we got the Fergie transition. We got to pass Fergie at 3,000 feet here. So we're just going to hold 6k for now, and then we'll hop into Fergie. Let's go ahead and get Lanterate monitor on. LRM's hopping on. Beautiful. Uh, you're flying these types of garbage. All you need now is a PS4 controller. You're all set, bro. This plane is not that bad. I'm saying for the price, it is a little crazy, but this plane really is not that bad. It is, I don't know, for me, it ain't that bad. I'm at 10K. Holy crap, bro. You got to meet Fergie at 3,000. <laughs> um, Texas coming into approach for uh, Toronto. No visibility with this weather. Oh, gosh. Yeah, last time I went in Toronto, it was a little bit of rough weather there, too. Uh, doing a flight back to Boston? Yes, sir, Forza. We're gonna head back to Boston, and then I did have planned to head over to JFK after, but realistically, I don't think we're gonna head back over to JFK. We'll probably just end it in Boston, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling once we get there. It's about another hour and 15 back, maybe a little quicker because of the, the westerlies, but our westerlies. We'll see them. 
Yeah, we're coming in low. We gotta meet uh, Thane at 6,000. <laughs> we're way ahead. That's fine. Uh, how have FSS duped all these clowns so easily for the price is total cheap, bro? Uh, do I call tower when I hit direct Fergie? I'm kind of confused with this. Um, go direct Fergie and then, yeah, just contact him. Because the river visual, the entire thing isn't really with him. But just, you know, for planning sakes, just so we're not all, you know, coming in at the same time. And he's not going to clear a land every time. Just call him at Fergie. Because Fergie's like, I think six or seven miles out from the field so yeah you should probably call him by there <clears throat> i think we have like four people coming in on this arrival list so we should be fine i know the jet blues behind me are pretty properly spaced and you said you're already all the way up there i know we have zephro in front of me that's the only person that we got to worry about so uh, yeah you got to worry about zephro though fires are you in i think no you're behind me aren't you i don't know if are you behind me or are you in front of me i'm so confused it's daddy's money's anyways. It's YouTube's money, CSD. Oh my gosh. I told you, every time I fly this plane, I get bullied. I also, I told Micah, CST, um, he likes flying the 777. He said he's trying to get the 767. I said he should buy it so you could give him some, some love and tell him how much you like the, the captain sim as well. Yeah, we got to cross Fergie at three. Oh, we got to meet Fergie at 3,000. We descend into 2,600 and then follow the river all the way in for one nine. And uh, we make a 187 runway heading to 3000 with a right turn direct to Bo Botig, whatever the freak it's called. So we should be fine on this arrival here. Looking fantastic. There's Dulles right there. Dulles. Oh, wait, that's not Dulles. Never mind. I lied. That is not Dulles. What is that actually? That is going to be K A D W. Oh, that's that military base over there. There's a, there's a C 130 that flew over my house the other day from that airport cool hour and six minute flight time we're actually gonna meet this thing perfectly it says an hour 15 let's see if we can make it in an hour 15 you're in front of me okay i'll just worry about zephro because i know zephro is also in front of me uh you're better than this oh my gosh Every they all come in bro i don't care i like this plane hate it or not i don't care this plane's flyable for me the price is absurd but i like it dude i don't care at least I think it's at least nowhere near the captain sim. Y'all y'all are probably gonna say it is, but no no shot this is around the captain sim. I don't think so. Uh, CC woke up and chose violence. No, I already knew this was gonna happen. Every time I fly this plane, I get yelled at. Horizon Sim 8321 Neo? I don't know. That one's it's a good one. I don't know. I was why do you uh why do you have almost everyone from CSC stream talking about the E190? Because they all hate it. <laughs> They're mad at me for streaming it. It's flight simulation, my man. Not everybody has enough money to get a proper setup. I know where you're coming from, but this plane is not that bad. I mean, not no need to say. Yeah. Uh, we miss you. Come back to the life. <laughs> uh, not Mamba too. Oh my gosh. Violence, nothing but love here, dude. <laughs> What's going on, Life Speed? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing? It's showcase to the idiots who fund these idiot devs. I said long. Uh, I have no words. All right, we're going to set 3,000 now. We're coming in about 12. Let's go ahead and set 3K. Let's go ahead and slowly get her down to 3K here. We don't need to aggressively get down to what we just did. I'm also going to get speed. We'll get 240 for now. We'll drop that to 230 here in a second. And we can get, two, get 230. Go normal heading. And let's set speed. I'm over here all over the place. 230 on the speeds. Cool. There we go. Uh, Flyboy is in the house. How's it going, man? Uh, I live south of Denver. We got an, uh, 25 inches of snow last night. I was supposed to have school today and tomorrow, but they canceled. Obviously, they canceled. 25? Jeez, bro. Seriously? That's insane, though, Flyboy. I guess you're having a good day. Oh, stay safe. Don't get too cold, man. I know hypothermia is probably killing you right now. There's the airport, though. We got DC in sight. Got the monument, the Pentagon. We're going to be joining the River Visual here shortly. And ring and traffic. It's uh, JetBlue 2255. Currently, I guess you would say the down one for the River Visual Runway 19. We're going to be making a, a direct to Fergie and it'll be on about a seven mile final on the River Visual 19. Um, ring and traffic. FS Man says, Yeah, I just ended nice, man. Hope you had a good stream, man. Uh, I'm just messing around. <laughs> what flight should I do now? Do JFK to Heathrow. <laughs> uh, better than the jar design and Peter Hanger? I guess. If you think it's hate, yeah, you know, I'm, I was about to say, CSC and them are not hating. For any mods that don't know them, they're just mad at me for flying it. Don't ban them. <laughs> I feel like somebody, one mod could come here and be like, oh my gosh. 
Also, let's turn off these songs here. I don't need the happy songs. We need to focus. I'm not trying to, not trying to, you know, mess up. Here we go. Fergie is at three thousand, so we'll be fine here. Actually, we could arrest this ascent even more. Um, we're kind of coming in early, anyways. I'm about to do a uh, run a flight seven thirty seven United O livery Indianapolis to Austin. Nice, there you go, man. Does everybody want to do that flight? Oh wait, no, Fours was already doing that flight. Never mind, I lied. Uh, first long on Amar, any tips so my game doesn't crash? I mean, honestly, there is no tips you could give yourself or I could give you to not have your game crash. Just make sure you're not running crazy high settings. Look at your temps. Make sure your temps are low. And if you got all that, I mean, just run it. There's really nothing to avoid a, a long flight crashing. I mean, that's really just like VRAM and all that usage. I mean, unless you get bigger RAM, like a lot more RAM in your computer, like 32 gigs or have like a 12 gigabyte card. I mean, over time, the sim's going to start slowing down on a long haul. So there's nothing you really can do. I've been on Microsoft today and I flew to Denver. I took the ILS down to 200 feet. I bet you did, bro. I'm going to have to spawn into Denver just to see what the weather looks like. Even if the best is uh, you haven't flown out of Atlanta in a long time, I haven't. Because every time I do, I get screamed at again. Because people say I fly out of Atlanta too much. But we are doing a flight to Atlanta next week. We're doing Charleston, Atlanta to Miami. Uh, now I know they're messing around. I know. I uh, keep thinking about getting this plan. It really doesn't look too bad. Pretty similar to Sears. That's what I'm saying, Mikey. CST doesn't think so. But I, I personally think it's around the same as the, C as the CRJ, in my opinion. Uh, I don't need happy songs. <laughs> No, for real, make it to uh, JFK seems fun. An hour and a half flight. Um, hour, two hour flight. Do JFK to Miami. JFK to Charleston. That's a good one. JFK to Charleston. 30 minutes to the uh, 777 previews. Bet, Julians. Now I'm thinking about it. We might not be able to watch it live, so we might get a delayed response. I'm not going to watch it until, you know, I watch it. So, I mean, if you guys want to head out when it happens, don't worry about it. Uh, bought the AN225 today. What a word. That's a rough purchase there. Hopefully you enjoy it, though, man. Just parked up at the gate. Had a great landing. Nice, classy. We're coming in right now, man. Join the river vision. I'm going to go ahead and tune over to tower. And a jet blue, or not jet blue, uh, ring and traffic, jet blue 2255, making that left turn direct to the Fergie waypoint, joining the uh, runway 19er river visual for about a seven mile final, switching over to tower. Um, Reagan. All right, 19 point one is what we got set. We're going to go ahead and slow to speed all the way down. Let's go ahead and say 200 on the speeds. Let's go ahead and make that direct Fergie. Actually, we'll go direct to dark. There we go. And we're going to descend aggressive down 3,000 now. Cool. 199s on the speeds. We're actually going to take it 180. I don't like coming in super fast for the river vision. Let's get 180. Oops. 180 on the speeds here. Cool. Altitude alert. One to go. What's up? What's going on, Chase? Appreciate you stopping in, man. Currently hopping into the River Visual for Runway 19, so we're probably not going to be able to chat right now, but appreciate you tuning in, man. And this is where we're going to be entering the river from right here. So we do have visuals on the river, so I guess we could follow it in from now. I just don't want to take over the plane just yet. Get a little bit higher here. There we go. Cool. Uh, still no VDAP? Nah, Chase. Not yet, man. Go for it, my dude. Keep in this pocket. <laughs> Still no VNAV? Come on. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's only $10. This on sale. Hey, if you want, if you like it, man, go ahead. All right, we're going to get, say, my aircraft. We're going to fly it in by hand now. Let's go ahead. We'll set speeds to our VRF of 140. So we're also going to disable the auto throttle here as well. We're going to make this completely my plane. I'm going to fly the whole river viz. 144. Auto throttle is disabled. There we go. Did not mean to throw it up that much. Cool. Everybody lock in your lane rates. I want to stop reading chat here because we're going to properly fly this viz. I'll see you guys on the ground. Let's go ahead and get flaps one. Flaps two. Flaps three there. And uh, ring and tire ship blue 2255 on the river visual for uh, the runway 19 about a three mile final. That's about a five. Is he dead? Never mind. One nine quarter land, jet for twenty two fifty five. Turn up VPI, he's quiet. Alright, Mr. Proach out to do the set is three thousand feet. Go ahead and drop the gear here as quickly. ATC about two to five. I know. I was about to say he was super low. I turned him up. I had I. It was because uh, I think of Zephyr on the ground. 
<laughs> Zephyr on the ground at a uh, Boston. I was like, he was screaming in my ear, so I turned it down to 20. I put it back up to like 63 though. Uh, Zephyr says I'm Charlie 30, by the way. It sounds good. Oh, you're at Charlie 30? What's the gate next to you? Because that's where Jet Blue parks. What's the gate to your right or your left? Let's go ahead and get gear down now. And we're going idle on the speeds now. There goes flaps three. You can also go ahead and alert the cabin. That nose light can come on as well. That's a strobe. Oops. There's a nose. There's flaps four. And we'll go ahead and get flaps full out now. Clock back in some speeds and 140s on the VRF. Ooh, we are getting some nasty winds just pushing us over here. Jeez. Thousand feet check. Let's continue the approach. It's bobbled it there. That's why we got a double call out. Looks like we're under speeding there a little bit. Get it a little bit, a little bit more. Got it back up to 140. Oh my gosh, it is windy. I'm getting pushed. This little baby plane. All right, we got, uh, I'm seeing two reds. I'm thinking I'm seeing three whites though. I cannot read Pappies in Microsoft, dude. They're so, I need better bright lights. Yeah, there's, I see two, three reds, one white. I cannot read that, dude. That's definitely all white. Okay, that's definitely all white. Let's go ahead and get her down just a little bit. Landing. Really can't overcorrect the plane because the plane is just getting gusted over to the right side or the left side. Float, get her down. Nice. Versus out. Nose down gently. That was not gently. Negative 128. We'll take that. Oh my gosh. All right, we're next to the right one, able for a 2215. 55. What? <laughs> okay, never mind. We needed auto brakes low. I forgot this plane slams on brakes if you give it medium. I didn't even give any manual braking. We were at. We were at 40 knots, literally off of reversers. Um, I've never, I've never vacated this fast in my life out of this airport. What is this? We're vacating on Foxtrot, I'm pretty sure. Washington Tower, American 310 is... This is Foxtrot. All right, so uh, Lena has to go ahead and come on off. Why is the plane still keep stopping? Oh my gosh. I keep hitting the brakes too hard. Hold short, one nine or American tree ten. Dragon Tower, good evening, jump up fifteen twenty four, direct gray, so far now. River visual one nine. Alright, we're gonna stop here for a second. Uh jet blue fifteen twenty four, Washington Tower, good afternoon. The wind is one eight zero correction one nine or zero of eight. Alright, so let's park brakes real quick. Uh, Strobe's coming off. Uh, we'll get wings off for now. Nose can stay off. Uh, we'll get AP on start. Or on real quick. Thank you, sir. 
Nibber clear, I was just about to call you. We're clear of a uh, Fox shot trying to head to a Charlie 30. It looks like there's a gate there, so we can take uh, any to the left or the right of that. That'll be great. Sure, contact Rob on 121.7. We'll see you. Right, oh, there's ground on line? Cool. Alright, so ground actually just hopped on 121.7. So let's go 1 to. 121.7. They're running, people. Alright, let's go ahead and leave those parking brakes. Let's head back into the gate. And ring and ground, good evening to JetBlue 2255. Just vacate off of 19 at Fox, right heading to Charlie 30, please. JetBlue 2255, ring and ground, good evening. Welcome to Washington. Back to the rent via Fox Kilo, good night. Our rent via Fox Kilo for a 2255, we'll see. You. All right, Fox Kilo, Kilo's in a ramp to Charlie 30. So I'm going to play in Charlie 30. I think Zephyr said he's there, but he might have disconnected by now, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and let's set Charlie. That's D. Uh, Charlie. Uh, American 10, 10, 30. I'm gonna get you. Hold, no. So hold short one five. Does Jet Blue not have service? We'll just take this thing. We, we got one arrival coming in, so it's gonna be a couple minutes delay on one five Juliet. But hold short right, one cool. five Juliet for now. Powers approved. You're crossing. They just gotta wait. I think I'm going the wrong way to be honest with you. Company to move in front to the desert. Roger that. Uh, one five. Hold short Juliet. We'll uh, Figure it out. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get the plane cleaned up. Flaps come clean. Pops coming up. Beautiful. Welcome to Washington, everybody. Welcome to Washington. <clears throat> IRL, they parked Charlie 28. Yeah, I saw a video where the guy was parked at Charlie 30. So they, I think they do any of those. I don't know if I'm going the right way, though, because I don't have a moving map. I think this is it. 20 minutes until triple seven preview is nice. There we go. Yeah, that nose will slam was crazy. But said nose slam. Next to me is Charlie 28. Okay. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. It's 12. It's getting higher. So, yeah, I think it's over here. Okay. Hype is getting real. We'll see. What's going on, Aaron? When's the VNAV? I have no clue, bro. I can't even tell you. I They desperately need VNAV in this plane, though. 31. We'll go ahead and start up the AP. That just turned it off. Oops. <laughs> Get that thing cycled back up. Uh, Dubai, it's a youth that's going to go hard. Exactly. An American 10 10 year can cross from the one. Any piece pulling up? Yes. Wind crossing contact, Washington Tower, 19 1. Cool. Alright, clear across runway 1. Should I get the DC scenery? Ground tax you seem to be uh, lacking. I mean, uh, I'd recommend it. It's a pretty nice scenery. Of course, it's Jurek's design, so I mean, it's going to be a little bit laggier than most sceneries, but it's a really good scenery. <clears throat> Your tail's over the runway. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna tune in later. Bye now. We'll see you, Asian. Appreciate you stopping in, man. If you guys haven't already hit that like button. We're at 54 likes, trying at 80 this evening. Those sounds are crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, the sounds suck in this plane. That's one thing I hate. It takes maybe a week of coding. They've spent time on VNAV rather than updating rant. That's what I'm saying, dude. A lot of things in this plane they could probably do in like a day. It's Charlie 30 over there. Yeah, Charlie 30 is over there. Okay, we are going to the right place. All right. So I'll take Charlie 28. I think that's 28. It'll take Charlie 28. All right, Charlie 28. We'll reposition here. Change. Charlie 28. Charlie 28. No. Boom. Cool. All right, scroll down, Charlie 28. Get the taxi light turned off now. Here we go. Look at the METAR in Denver. I got you. Pull it up. What's going on, Jerome? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? Don't worry, CST, FSS are working hard on the uh, tech. Dude, they really are. I swear. I find it crazy that they're working more on that than this plane. It make, It's like actually insane. Just the sound yep, sucks, sure. I mean, honestly, with my opinion, the sounds are the worst thing about this plane. Everything else to me, I mean, we just did a whole flight pretty, pretty normal. I mean, other than the, some of the systems, but I feel like this plane is perfect. It's around the CRJ for me. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Jeplo 1524. I meant Bravo Kilo. I'm sorry, Bravo Kilo. Tonight. There's no That's way this Marshall is being correct. Oh yeah, he is. Sorry. Bravo Kilo to the right. Good night, sir. Bravo Kilo. That's okay. Keep skewing on up. Let's see if we keep zero zero here. And stop. All right, we got zero one zero or point one point one. That's fine. Parking brakes are set. APU is avail. Let's go ahead and kill the engines. 
Welcome to Boston. There goes those engines powering back, maybe? Are they not idle? There we go. No, what is this thing doing? <laughs> no How are they even on? Okay, there we go. We got one pulling off. I don't know why the other one's not pulling off. There we go. <laughs> My throttle's gonna get recalibrated. This thing's off. Very good parking. Are they gonna dance? Please tell me they dance. Dance. Come on. Please. Please. Okay, no dance. That's fine. Cool. Welcome to DCA. Parking brakes are set. Engines are spooled off now. We'll go ahead and get the seatbelt signs off. Get stereo off for now. We'll get the beacon lights off. And uh, we'll connect the ground power so we don't have to hear the APU for so long here. Let's go ahead and hop over to ground. GPU. Uh, we'll get the wheel chocks on. And let's go ahead and request deboarding here. Deboarding. Deboarding is requested. Beautiful. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the GPU. Wait for that to say in use. And then we'll turn off the APU here. They really they uh, realize how easy it is to make money from babies. They're probably up streams plan as we speak, bro. <laughs> All right, we'll open the car to here. I'm about to depart Boston on the Southwest Southwest 800. Nice, fly by. All right, cool. Did I cook it? Oh, it's because the APU's on. All right, we're gonna turn the APU off. This will get switched on. Wait for that to pop up in use. Let me see where I'm at for you, so I know where to park fires. I got you. Give me a second here. Uh, did you not get the dance? I did it with zero. Dude, I never get the dance. They never dance for me, dude. It makes no sense. Cool. We'll go ahead and open up some doors for them. That's the wrong door. There we go. And cool. We'll go ahead. Hop outside. This is where we are. Oh my gosh. There's a catering truck inside of our plane. That is insane. We're over here though. It's like the, uh, the third ramp, I want to say. Uh... Oops, I just jacked up the camera. There you go. But uh, you're coming into us. Just hit the, go to Charlie 26. Charlie 26 should be fine. There goes that stupid guy moving. Cool. Welcome to DCA, everybody. We'll go ahead and get this plane set on, ready to rock over to, back to Boston. Let's go ahead and get these songs turned up. There we go. Nice flight over here to Boston. I'll take our DCA. I got a 128 on that. We'll take that. A little bit of a float, though. I won't lie. Uh, let bro do. Uh, let bro do his job. Of course, he's right. I'll, I was like, okay, okay. Uh, peak FS. Dude, I don't even know what that is. I feel like it's my throttles because when you turn the engines off, you got to make sure they're dead idle. And I had to. I pushed them back, and I guess they weren't idle because when I dragged them, they were. So I guess that's fine. I don't know how I didn't get a dance. Uh, game rooms in the house. Hey, how's it going yesterday? Um. At Burbank, my local airport, there were reverse ops. It was actually UPS 757-200 arriving, which was very rare. I only got to see it because it was doing reverse ops. Nice, Cameron. That's sick, dude. Congratulations, dude. The model was uh, brought from x I believe. Was it actually? It's a good model, though. I won't lie. But it's kind of... It makes it seem like Captain Sim when you say it's a good model. Let's go ahead and refile the flight plan here, though. We're going to set this thing back up and head it over to um, Boston, man. I think we should... I'm Probably by the time we get out of here, the PMDG video will release. So we're going to watch it on the ground, probably. Uh, let's go ahead and, and make a new flight plan here, though. So, we're going to be... Let's find the call sign they actually use for this trip. <clears throat> what's going on, though, Jerome? I don't know if I said hi to you already. How's it going, though, man? All right, let's do DCA to Boston. Boston Logan, there we go. We're going to be JetBlue 2754. So, let's go JBU 2754. We're departing out of KDCA. Going to KBOS. Aircraft type, we're an E-190. Uh, oops, just skip right past it. E-190. We are not in kilos, we're in pounds. And generate. Cool. Getting the flight plan set up. Also, today still reverse ops. Uh, earlier, multiple planes, including Southwest, uh, Alaska, and American. Diverted to LAX was the crazy winds. I think it was 30 plus knots or something like that. Jeez, bro. That's rough. We'll take that, though. We got a nice 128. I destroyed the nose gear, though. <laughs> that... I don't know why the nose gear feels like the uh, the horizon sim. It kind of just falls on the ground. I don't know. I guarantee that's a flight model issue, but it feels like the nose is weighing heavier than the back of the plane, which makes no sense. All right, cool. We're gonna uh, file flight plan. Current flight time today we're at thirty-five thousand feet with a fifty-six minute flight time. So cool. 
Oh, somebody's already using this call sign. Are you freaking kidding me? All right. We'll be, uh, we won't be 2754. We'll make something up. Nah, we're not going to make something up. I want to use the real call sign. Where are we going to be? Uh, we'll be 6550. Nah, I use that. We'll be JetBlue 254. Oops, I just closed this thing. All right, we'll be JetBlue 254. How about that? Just because somebody wants to take our call sign. 254. It's probably because it's flying right now. All right, we're going file flight plan. There we go. That one worked. Cool. All right, let's hop back into the stream here. We'll pop up the new overlay. Get that set up here. Did you see my chat? No, what'd you say you like? Uh, how did you know? Oh, the dance thing? Yeah, I don't know. It, I think it's random because I'm going to be honest with you. I get it sometimes and then other times I don't. Like, I've had parking jobs like this before and I didn't get a dance. I don't know what it is. All right, cool. Overlay should be updated. That looks good. We uh, reconnect on Vatsim here. It's 254. JetBlue 254. E190. Cool. Uh, wait, anyone in the U.S. is taking physics class? Use kilograms, right? We use pounds. I mean, I'm not in physics, so I wouldn't know. It's weird. Check screenshots. I got you, man. We'll pull it up in a second here. But thinks he got priority call sign. I don't know. I guarantee it's probably because of uh, it's it's definitely probably because that flight is flying right now, so that would make sense. But I'm still mad about that. I love uh, using stairs because no GSX profile. Oh nah. All right, cool. Top back into the plane though. We'll get these systems set on up and ready to rock and roll. I don't think we actually... Why did my screen just turn off? Oh, the, what you call it? Non-use? Okay, there you go. Um, Let's see here. Let's go ahead and we shall look on here. We have ground and we have tower and ATIS. So let me turn this song down. We're going to grab the ATIS real quick. Let's turn the song. It's so loud. All right, let's go grab the ATIS real quick. 10 minutes. Yes, sir, Jones. We're going to be checking it out. All right, uh, ATIS, let's go to DCA and we'll uh, pick up the ATIS. What we got here? Dude, there's so many, there's so many planes flying into Boston right now. This is going to be fun. We might catch like the tail end of the event, but it's all good. Appreciate you flying with us though, Classy. I don't know if you, uh, if you already got out of here, but I appreciate you flying with us, man. All right, we got an information kilo. We're departing one nine. That's all I got to know. So information kilo is current. And we want IFR to Boston as fog. I feel like we might have a hold for release here just because... I don't know. There, that that event along with the conga line that might not go well. Cool. Eddie's in the house. How's it going, Eddie? The jet blue looks good. Oh yeah, I like this delivery. I I was having an issue. I was like, do I like it? Do I not like it? I can't really tell. But I I think it's a different livery, which is why I kind of I didn't understand what it was at first. But it's supposed to be like a blueprint of the model of like the inside of the plane, like what it is on the inside, which is kind of sick. I don't know. Cool. We're going to go ahead and uh, ask for some IFR clearance. If you guys haven't already, we're at 55 likes. Trying to hit that like goal of 80 this evening. So hit that like button. It's very much appreciated. Let's go and get some clearance. And ring and ground. It's Jet Blue 254. We're over here at uh, Charlie 28 uh, with Kilo looking for IFR to Boston. This filed, please. Uh, Jet Blue 254, I don't have a flight plan in for you, sir. I had a Jet Blue 264 for a flight plan at the Boston. Ah, that's what it is. We'll go ahead and refile for you. You spot us 264. Are you serious? <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. Hold on. laughs> no DC shot. Brown, good evening, Gateway 1341. 254. Is that Titus? That sounds like Gateway Titus kind of. 1341, Washington Ground. Good evening. Cool. Push on the kilo All right, let's pull up the departure report here so we can see our wins. We have altimeters 2, 9, or 9, or 5. All right, push on the Uh, push So let's set 2, 9, or 9, or 5 as those altimeters. We did not go out of standard yep, either. That's crazy. 254. Thank you. I have your clearance advised. Ready to copy. All right, cool. Let's pull this up. All right, ready to copy, JetBlue 254. JetBlue 254, cleared to Boston Logan as uh, clear to Boston. Snooky 5 departure. Swan transitions in as filed. Maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 35010 zero, zero minutes after departure. Departure offline squawk 2463. Alright, we're cleared to Boston via the Suki 5 departure of uh, Swan Transition. Uh, climb initially 5,000, uh, 350 and 10. Departures offline on Squawk 2403 for JetBlue 254. JetBlue 254, read back correct. Washington information, Kilo current. Expect runway 194 departure. Uh, push and start your discretion. Call me when ready. Alright, expect 19 for departure. Kilo's current. Uh, push my discretion. We'll call you for taxi for uh, JetBlue 254. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get our squat code in because I'm always going to forget that. We have a squat of 2403. So let's set 2403. 
Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Looks good. Standby can go back on. Uh, we'll go back to the root page and oh, not root. I actually have to go this way. Performance. Cool. Looks good. Let's go to where's the init? How do we get to init? This is me not knowing how to use this plane properly. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say K. Where are we? DCA. KDCA. Let's get that done. And actually, I need to upload the root here. So let me quickly go ahead and upload the root. Give me a fat second here for you guys. Mr. Brennan coming in with the 10 gifted members for the Owls Fan Club membership. I appreciate that, Mr. Brendan. Welcome, welcome. Everyone. We got Mr. Gamer and becoming a member. Welcome, Tyler, welcome. Big Blue, Pyro John, Spawning Salmon, Crystal, Flight Commander, Butterflies, and Sam Reynolds with Clover are also getting gifted member. Welcome, welcome, if you guys have those membership emojis, go ahead and spam welcome, that welcome, welcome emojis and also hit them with a solid gifted emoji as well. I appreciate that, Brendan, with the 10 gifted members. Welcome, Holy crap. Welcome, uh, I was press the white clip side on the EFB. Uh, okay, give me a second. The white clip. Are you talking about to like pull it at, like a forward like this? I know you can do that. I just don't like the angle it puts it in. It makes it so weird. Are you watching the triple seven live? We are, Wazies. We are going to be watching that live, my guy. Uh, what's going on, flight battles? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? Uh, yes, sir, Brennan. There you go, game room. Congratulations, pilot Rolly's in the house. How's it going, Rolly? Appreciate you stopping in. Give me a quick second, everybody. I'm just getting the uh, the flight plan thrown in so I can look at it real fast. Right, we'll copy this. We're taking one nine. Let's copy this. We're taking welcome, one nine welcome, four right. Everyone. So one welcome, nine. Welcome. Okay. DCA slash one nine. Welcome, Throwing welcome, our flight plan. Everyone. And K B O S slash four right. Cool. There we go. Welcome, welcome, Five minutes. Yes, sir. We're gonna be watching welcome, it. We'll watch it on the ground here. All right. Let's go ahead and replace pin message. There we go. That looks good. If you guys haven't already hit that like button. We're at 55 welcome, welcome, likes. Trying to hit that like goal of 80. Welcome, appreciate welcome. that. Really do appreciate that, Brennan, for the 10 gifted members. Come on, dude. You're freaking a goat. Uh, I'm going to head out and find something there to see. We'll see you, Chase. Appreciate you stopping in, man. Right, let's go ahead and clear off this flight plan. We'll exit and we'll add a new one. Import from Simbrief. Uh, DCA to Boston as uh, JetBlue 2754. We're going to just say this is two, uh, 254, though, for now. That's actually funny. 254 is also the other call sign for this route. Just saying. Uh, Lightspeed says W stream. See it. We'll see you, Lightspeed. I we're not ending stream, Lightspeed, but hey, I appreciate it, man. All right, cool. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and we'll go departure here, and we'll get all that set up. We're gonna use runway one nine today. We're gonna use a flaps. We we'll use flaps two for departure today. We'll go ahead and sink the wind, and let's go ahead and condition dry. We'll calculate that, and we'll instant load here. We're gonna have a total of ten thousand two hundred pounds of fuel, which we do. And we'll go ahead and try to refix this page. So we'll go back to root. K D C A. Kind of got to mess with this page. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's very weird. Uh, let's change the call sign. Juliet Bravo. Uniform. Where's uniform? Uniform. And we're going to be 254. It might not come up as 254, but we'll see. We'll send a flight plan request. And let's see if it actually finds it. Cool. Cool. Check origin. Okay, there we go. So now it's K D C A. This is always the weirdest thing because it never works. So we can say K B O S on this side. I think we have to change this. K B O S. Where's the S? If I could find the S, that'd be great. There we go. K B O S. There we go. So now we can change it. K D C A. I think this is user error again. There we go. K D C A. We get thrown in. Beautiful. We're going to K B O S. Where's S? Boston. JetBlue Flight 254. Let's go ahead and send and see if it gets it. Thank you, Brennan, for the freaking 10 members, though. Three minutes. Yes, sir, Wazies. Check flight ID. Okay, yeah, so it is going to be 220. Okay, yeah, that's fine. JBU 2754. Four. There you go. Yeah, so it is going to use the old call sign. I thought editing it would fix it. It doesn't do it. Cool. Let's go ahead and request it. Flight plan receive. We'll go ahead and apply the active. Looks fantastic. I'm not going to start catering or anything until the uh, PMDG video goes live. So we're probably going to look at some pictures real quick and then we'll start watching the, the video. Our flight plan received. We got it thrown in here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just finish up the uh, the flight plan for now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do departure out of here. Uh, actually, no. Let's get our let's get our weights and all that thrown in first. So we'll go next page. Looks good. So departure. I will do my uh, first long haul on the ship. So nice. There you go, man. All right. So departure. Go root departure. 
Runway, we're going to be departing on a runway at 1 9 today. I'm going to go ahead and mute this, dude. It's loud. Cool. So we're taking runway 1 9. We're going to be climbing via the Suki 5 departure. Let's, so let's set Suki 5. We're going to be on the Swan transition. Apply. Arrival into Boston today. Runway 0 4 right. We're going to go on the ILS 0 4 right. We're going to do Transgashi. We're not, no, we're not going to do any of that. So we do it vectors. And we're going to do the Roebuck 3 arrival with the JFK transition. Go ahead and insert that. Flight plan looks good. And I think, honestly, I'm going to go watch that video. Zephyr says, Yo, Alex, can you review my landing and landing actions? I got you, Zephyr. We'll pull it up. That's it. I think we're going to go watch the PMDG video here until we set up the stuff. Are you going to fly Boston to New York tonight? We'll see, Aviation Creator. Honestly, I think I'm probably just going to end it in Boston because I do have a long stream plan tomorrow. So we might just end it in Boston, but we'll see. We're going to pull up these pictures, though, for you guys. Or the Discord. Let's check out the landing. Creator alerts. Who's live? Got Lone Star live. We'll check him out. The Dummit. Uh, maybe 727 just because the unique. Why is it called an Xbox 360? Because we could see it. It can do his 360 and walk. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Got Mr. Waves with his beautiful shot here. Look at that, man. Lovely. Then we got Mr. Eli with these terrible weather conditions. What's going on, Isaac? Appreciate you stopping back in, man. 60 seconds. I know. We're about to go check it out. What is uh, Microsoft telling us? Cool. Lovely shots, dude. How's it going, Isaac? We're about to check out the uh, 777 video here and see what they got. Yeah, that's so stupid. Then uh, Fire is saying, I love GSX profile. He's flying the New York Jets. One minute? Yeah, let's, let's see it happen, man. That's a nice shot right there with the uh, monument. <laughs> <Those using it. laughs> oh, that's actually here. hilarious, dude. Cool. All right. I'm going to look at your landing here quickly, Zephro. I just really want... I'm hyped as well to see this video. So we're going to go ahead and pop up the video uh, of the 777. We'll start looking at that here. Uh, I think there was a YouTube link that somebody put. Let's just go look at that. Um, there you go. 777 link. Cool. All right. Video begins shortly. Here we go. Let's check it out. Let's pop it up. Let's see what we get. That's the wrong thing. I just pulled up the wrong thing twice. There we go. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. Oh, they released a new video? They did. It's coming out in one minute. So let's see this PMDG777 reveal. Al's, uh, how are you going to do Boston to JFK? It's like a 10-minute flight. Boston to JFK was like a 40-something minute flight, but we, I just I just said, nah. We probably won't do it. Let's go. Let's go, Wazy. Let's check it out. Let's see what we get. Bro's asking, why is it not starting yet? It starts at 8 p.m. I'm also subscribing to them. They're cool. I want to chat. I have to be a subscriber for four hours to send messages? That's crazy. <laughs> not subscribed to PMG as well. Dude, I don't, I'm not subscribed to like any official YouTube channels. All right, let's see this. Let's, let's turn down our songs. Let's see what we get here. I was just saying it has four minutes. And oh, that's crazy. We have, we have to sit here for four minutes. So they're going to start it at eight and then say we have four minutes to wait. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. That's out of pocket. Bro said, are you kidding? Everybody's mad. <laughs> Bruh. Four minutes. Dude, that's crazy, bro. I, well, not really four minutes. It's five minutes, but still. All right. We're going to... I'm Keeps the hype up. I know it does. I know what they're doing. That's why I'm not mad. They got 2,000 people watching them. Honestly, I'm sitting here watching the whole thing. I got I to gotta stay here. Four minutes is nothing. I'm now. Isaac says, are they releasing the plane? They're... Okay, this is loud. They're not releasing the plane, but they're going to be giving, maybe they'll be releasing it. They might act, they might, you know, this might be like a hype video. And then after the video is done, they release the plane. They might just do that. But for now, it's just a preview to show like, you know, kind of what I and I build with the A300. Here's the, uh, the 777. Here's the systems. Here's the little exterior walk around. Here's the details. We paid attention to this. We got flight models from this guy. Uh, we're planning to release on this date. That's kind of what it's supposed to be. But we'll see. Chemo's in the house. How's it going, Chemo? Appreciate you stopping in. Currently not flying the E-190 as of right now. We're watching the uh, the video for the PMDG 777. So we're going to be watching this real quick. That four minute will feel like forever. It does, dude. Uh, they did preview the 737 videos back then. Yeah. So hopefully when they do this, I'm guessing it's not going to release tonight. But we'll see. We'll see if it releases somewhere some sometime. We'll see. When the videos start, can you make it full screen? I got you, Isaac. We are. I'm just looking at the chat right now. I'll make it full screen. What is all this music? I don't know. Don't ask. We know normally the countdown starts like T sort of thing. It doesn't start at the scheduled time. Sheesh, YouTube. Oh. <laughs> I see. Okay. 
PNG didn't mean to do this. Early, coming early 2025, bro. Uh, Fred says, I'll be shocked if it came out tonight. Honestly, dude, if it did, my, well, my dude, my birthday is on Tuesday, bro. <laughs> I'm getting that plane. I don't care. So come on now. Uh, oh, Al's will. Uh, did you press the white clips on the side of the EFB? I was AFK. Yeah, I did, Zephyr. I know they. I know it pulls up the thing, but the only thing about pulling it up is it it pulls it up and holds it at an angle like this. So you have to like look back at it. It's so stupid. But that's the only reason I don't do it. Be really excited if it does or sometime soon. I'm thinking early April, maybe late April at the latest. To be honest with you, imagine they it released out the. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they either release it after the video or it comes out in April. Two more minutes though. Full screen. I got you, Mikey. I'm just reading the comments right now. That's why. I'm just seeing what people are saying. And then when the video actually starts, I'll full screen. I got you. If it comes out today, Mikey's long haul plans will probably change. Dude, I'm joining him on those. I don't care. I'll fly it. I'll fly it tonight, bro. We'll end stream right here and I'm flying the plane. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, dude, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that, but still. I know what you call it. Um, London controller when the... Uh, <laughs> London controller when the IEE update came out, he landed the plane and taxied all in the grass just to get to the gate, and then he ended stream just to fly the plane. <laughs> that was hilarious. Two thousand people are wearing this. Hell yeah, dude! Long odds are gonna go crazy. I'm telling you, bro. I'm wanting this triple seven so badly, dude. Like so badly. I've wanted a triple seven in the sim for so long, and we're finally just now getting one. What is this? Oh, it wants me to open rear left. Why? Uh, let's just go ground and no, we don't got to do all that. Cool. I love there's just a bunch of planes sitting at the gate watching this right now. This is fun. <laughs> howdy, howdy. What's going on, Micah? We're checking out the triple seven release, man. We got one more minute. We're going to stop reading the comments. So full screen did bad boy. Let's see what we got. PMG 737 max eight before GTA. <laughs> exactly. Uh, bro. Why am I so excited? I'm excited, dude. I've, I've wanted one so bad, man. 51, 50 seconds. 30, 20, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ron's in the house. How's it going? I want the 737 Max. I do too, but I want the 777 a lot more, man. I said, I've I've really wanted a quality 777 in the sim for so long, dude. So we'll see what we got. If you guys haven't already and you're hyped for the 777, hit that like button. We're at 57 likes. Trying to hit that like over 80 this evening. Let's see what we get, man. Let's see what we got. 28 seconds. Basically 30. Let's see what we got. 25. I swear if this is some bull crap, I'm gonna get so mad. Y'all gonna see my live reaction too. I'm not faking this. Let's see. I'm not gonna talk by the way. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay quiet so you guys can hear the video. I'm not gonna say anything. So triple seven hype in the chat, exactly. Alright, 10 seconds. I'm I'm going full volume. I'm saying nothing. Here we go. It's a pleasure seeing this masterpiece all with you. W's in the chat. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, PMDG. G777 300ER from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Coming soon to an airport near you. So is it the 300ER first? 
It's the 300 ER first? Uh-oh. Is that the whole video? I think that was the entire video. Bro said those textures are pretty... I'm not going to lie. That's what I was thinking. The textures look... Uh, oh, that was literally the whole video. Any... Hmm. What are we thinking about that? What are... Um... Huh. The textures are so bad. I was about, I was about to say, I think... I I love it. some of the textures on that flame were not the best. Hold on, we we gotta do a little debrief for that. Hold on. Okay. I liked I liked the gear. I liked the, the exterior models, but some of those textures, bruh, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? <laughs> I hope I hope that's not the main thing. That was a terrible video though. I thought it was gonna be something else. But hey, it's all good. Thoughts? It's about a six out of ten right now, to be honest with you. So that was it, huh? Let down terrible from PMDG. Phoenix clear. <laughs> I was about to say Phoenix is clearing. They should have called that, called me for that video, like literally. Um, the EFP look good. Yeah, the EFP looks good, but they're like, dude, terrible. Te dude, the textures look terrible. Then saying coming soon. Let's get back to the flying. That was a waste of time. Come on now, that's what we got. Nah, that was that was some bull crap. That was some some bull crap, bro. What was that? Anyways, we got the flight plan. Let's go ahead and we'll go to performance and we'll get the uh, perf in it here. 400 still in there. We'll use that. OR looks good. We'll return. Next page. Dude, what was that? Bro. The EFB looked good. The gear looked good. Some angles of the plane looked amazing. But, dude, I heard the sounds on takeoff. That sound really good. But what was that, dude? Some of that stuff looked a little a little ratchet I'm not gonna lie to you captain sim combat i don't know those textures low-key looked a little bit worse than captain sim that's what i was like whoa i don't know if y'all saw my first the first time or saw my face the first time they like pan towards the plane but i was like dude i thought that looked that looked a little a little rough that i mean obviously this is like still being like you know their first development of it so i don't honestly seeing it now i don't think it's coming out until like the end of april early may or something but we'll see we'll figure it out the uft yeah that thing i think they would do something like the phoenix and have a close battle but this is just like there's some i was about to say it's like seven seven thirty seven is literally the same thing if he was ripped for the seventh thing, exactly they should think uh, they should have played it in y'all's face and showed the captain sim it's the same thing but different day yeah literally the same thing different background or some crap new pc just arrived nice pipe out you're gonna enjoy it man uh, song playing in the background. Currently, we have uh, River Below by Flying. I'll type it in the chat. River Below um, by Flying. There you go, man. Uh, the background song of the video was too loud for me. I couldn't even listen to the engine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They had the, the audio. I had to turn it down. I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. Um, they have a long way to go to catch up with Phoenix. Just like V1 said, if the Phoenix is net fixed, PMDG is just blockbuster at this point. Yeah, that's a good, that's such a great analogy. You saw the wing view disgusting, but I want to see that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, the video made it look terrible. I'm going to be real with you. That video is making that plane look like trash. But like, like he said, let's see it after the release. Let's see what they do. I'm not that impressed, to be honest with you right now. Uh, Q&A is live right now. It's a QA. and I'm not watching that, to be honest with you. I don't care about the q and I'll get messages from it. Uh, I literally just went and messaged him, disappointed with that video. Like, dude, what was that? It was 16 seconds of loud music and not really a preview. That was just showing... It was a... They took previews too seriously. A preview, yeah, is just showing off the aircraft. But, dude, that was like a glimpse. Like a quick little... Look at the wing. Look at the engine. All right, bye. Basically the same thing we saw in the pictures already. Like, bro... Uh, you enjoying them tunes? I am, Micah. I use your tunes. I have like I think this is on your channel, um, but yeah, I use your tunes, and then I also use like the uh, the genres from your tunes and added on to this playlist. So yeah, I'm loving them. I appreciate it, Micah. Something about the PMDG 777. Yes, sir. This game, a grab of the Captain 777. Make another model, dude. Bro, Lotto's Insta videos are better. Than, like literally, bro. I made a video called Yo Ham and get 5k likes. Oh no, nah. all those things we could have seen before. Terrible by PMDG. I'm saying. They aren't looking good right now. I mean, I like PMDG because they have the best performing plane in the sim, hands down, but nah. Nightbot, what did you say? Uh, did you like say a link? It's probably because it's stock liveries. Liveries on Fight Some TO will be way better. 
it's still the textures of the plane though the default textures of the plane have to be good the liveries are just an overlap of the textures that add like dirt maps and stuff it shouldn't be that bad it's still a what yeah it is it's a work in progress i know please show it again you guys want to watch it again right here we'll watch it one more time and then we're gonna we're gonna set up our plane i think we do need to do a whole walkthrough and i'll talk myself through it and we'll, we'll pause through it yeah they are having a live q a of this that's the guy that's making this plane interesting all right here let me mute the audio uh we'll turn down our songs here and uh we'll we'll rewatch the video one more time and we'll, we'll like we'll walk through it here coming soon that literally what was that let's see let's see so obviously this is the nighttime lighting they're showing off to be honest with you i don't i'm not one to say anything about nighttime lighting but the one plane I know that has the best nighttime lighting is the is the Horizon Sim. That plane has actual good night lighting. This kind of does look like it's gonna be pretty nice though. So okay, within two months, I'm so excited that I don't remember it. Now this right here makes it look terrible. Look at that engine, bro. That engine is, that engine, is, horrendous. <laughs> no worries, go for it. I'm happy you enjoy the place. That's what we're here for as a country. Hey, I appreciate that, Micah. Watch it again. I don't know who's saying it was terrible with Captain T. <laughs> I mean, this part looks pretty cool. You know, you got the default catering stuff, you know, that it already had. That's cool to see it transferred over. Cockpit. I mean, this looks really good right here. I mean, this don't look like something advanced, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, that looks pretty decent. The EFB, this is a lot better, I would say. I mean, you could you could call the ground vehicles, but this is like for the built-in. This isn't GSX, so. I'll be happy if the uh, if they nail the feet for the state. Oh, yeah. Oh, the F in the state. Graphics look insane. I can't lie. Yeah, I mean, the cockpit looks really good. There's no complaints of the cockpit. I'm just complaining about the exterior model. Like, see, this is one of the things I was saying. This, this, like, this angle makes it look good. This looks good, okay? This doesn't look bad. It looks a little, a little wonky. This looks like the PMDG. I mean, these textures look like the PMDG. Now, this right here is where I was thrown off because the cockpit looks so much better in the other angle. But then look how it's like a... It, it looks like it's unfinished, so I don't want to say it's it's because it's this is like the final product. This looks this this brown doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie. Patty Allen's in the house. How's it going, Patty? Appreciate you stopping in. All the ground crew calls come straight from the 737. Wish I could have uh, uh, took a bit more time to make sure. Yeah, like make a custom one. It's like the same thing. Sorry to ask, but can you check the lane reactions? I got you, Zephyr. We're just gonna review this real quick. Now this that was a two minute long video. There was no way that was two minutes. Anyways, eh, this looks all right the brown looks so light like if you look at the triple seven or like the 757 the brown is not this light the brown is kind of around this color cabin i mean i could care less this pmdg cabin this makes it look good besides the yoke and the efb and uh, the looks captain sim quality yeah now see this right here is what i was expecting to see the entire plane which is why i feel like it's the angles the lighting and all that crap this looks good this looks amazing actually come on like this looks amazing uh, the cockpit looks like it smells like a BMW. Oh, gosh. Check DMs. I got you. Kills my skills. I was, uh, how do you feel in the PMG triple? I'm telling you right now, Patty. Eh. I don't know right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, this looks really good right here, though. The engines, beautiful. The nose, beautiful. Dirt coming out. I, this is this is good right here. The wings, I mean, whatever this crap is. This little dirty texture is terrible, but the, the rest of it looks all right. Full external model. It's a triple seven. It's a good one. I'm going to go with the solid eight out of 10 right here. I mean, I think it's just the, the colors they added into it, though. They kind of did this when it was cloudy. I if I was them, I would have made it like a lot brighter in the daytime, like, you know, 12 a.m. with uh, like clear, clear sky. So it wasn't dark. But I mean, you can't really say anything about this right now. This looks OK, Kevin. Like I said, person excited for the 830. Hey, there you go, man. PMG colors just don't look good, but the uh, New Zealand black and light in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's just like the colors, the livery, the angles they're doing at it, the daytime. That looks pretty cool. Looks like that's fully custom. Fully modeled brakes. I can only wonder how long it took in turn to make this video. It really looks like nothing else in the showcase. Yeah, I mean, this this looks pretty basic to me, to be honest with you. But, uh, the clouds in the background, like, takes away from the plane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's... Oh, yeah, this is also another part I meant to point out. So I think this right here wasn't to show, like, just the plane. Notice how, you know how the real 777, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the 777s in real life, as well as, like, A380, 747s, these three-geared planes, since they're so big to help turn, the, the front wheel up here actually does turn away 
from the plane. It, it turns into it when you're making a left turn. It turns out when you're making a right. And the same thing does in this back wheel. So they're, they actually modeled how the back wheels actually move, which is pretty good. Uh, like, do you give me, Brandon, if i uh, ever been to... A, yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's the, it's the leather, I think. The, that, that leather smell. I know what you mean. PMG is a live q and I know they do. I'm, I'm just not interested in looking at it. That's basically... Eh. Uh, Arsa just saying, uh, did the video. He's not good at it. Is he? Price is going to be similar. I was about to say, now looking at it, this is going to be the same price. 70 bucks. Yeah, the canvas sim does that too. Does it actually? Captain Sims plane does that? I've never noticed that. Engine view. If I'm being real with you, this looks identical to the Captain Sim, which is not a good thing. <laughs> this, this literally looks like it was recorded on the Captain Sim. That's rough. That's real rough. Looks like uh, to me, PMG forgot to make the video. I had to put it together real quick. Exactly. Yo, Tailwinds is in the house. Uh, it's been a minute. What's up, my man? Appreciate you stopping in. Tailwinds currently catching us reviewing the... Uh, Reviewing the triple seven that just uh, got a preview out for it, man. Uh, yes, big S. They just they did just reveal the Captain Sim or not, <laughs> not the Captain Sim, the PMDG triple seven. This engine looks identical to the right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This this looks this looks rough. Now this looks okay. I'm liking the model of it. They got the wires going up into it, which is pretty realistic. That Captain Sim missed out on, I think. Surprised the triple seven will have 60 FPS animate. Like literally. Did, did you not see the gear? I was literally just about to talk about that. Look at the gear. That ain't no 60 FPS. That is 15. Now this looks good. See, this is what I'm saying. I feel like it's just the angles they're showing it at with the lighting on the plane. Like, see how this angle actually makes it look pretty good? It, I don't know. I don't... I think... I I don't know what to expect, dude. The, the lighting is throwing me off. Like, shots like this, it looks fantastic. Like, this is the type of shot that Lotto would be recording. This looks good i mean i can't say anything about this the PMDG oh yeah freak that yeah, pmg coming soon okay cool yeah ne next year early 2028 anyways that's fine oh well uh start by making a video uh, i don't feel like this video is doing the airplane any justice it seems like yeah that's what i'm saying this i don't think it's that's why i'm not really basing my my thought process off of what i'm seeing because like I just said, it looks good in certain angles and then looks bad in others, but it's the same plane. You know what I mean? So I feel like you can't really do that. Yeah, that is true. Anyways, let's go ahead and do some plane stuff here. We can, we can keep talking about it. Let me just go ahead and request boring and all that. Are ground and all that still on? I'm pretty sure they're all watching the video. Yeah, ground still on. Uh, anyways, so zero fuel weight is one, uh, 81681. So 81681. Go ahead and throw that in. Looks good. We'll go next page. Take off data set. We're going to do a... We're not going to do the celery. We got to get out of here. Uh, flaps 1 departure today. Did I say flaps 1 or flaps 2 for departure? I'm using flaps 2. I don't think you could change it. So we do We do kind of have to do flaps 1. Do flaps 1 departure today. We'll calculate that. Did uh, that change anything? 18681. Nope. Uh, cool. So flaps 1 departure today. Looks good. We're going to go take off. V speeds are going to get changed here. We got a V speed of 129. Let's also request some catering here. Let's request catering while we're doing this Press catering service. I guess we gotta get southwest. Uh, one two nine one three three. So let's go one two nine one three three. Looks good. Uh, one four three. Let me turn up the sim volume because it actually the plane on the ground isn't that bad. But here we go. All right, cool. So VR is going to be one three three. So one three three is set. V two is gonna be at one forty three. So set 143, which already is, and VFS is 188. So we'll set 188. 188 looks good. We'll go ahead and set that in the speeds as well. That's what we're going to be targeting until we get the flaps up. Get 188. Oop, can't see. 188. Cool. And we'll just go ahead and get the catering services on the plane. It looks like they're already here, so we'll go ahead and open up the doors for them here. Yeah, I don't know, guy. I don't, I don't know. That was, I don't know what to think. Of course, yeah, it, it, it did that. What Mikey made up a, a really good point. It doesn't seem like that's like recent video footage. Cause I mean, it, it kind of looks like the pictures that we got. It looks like the same as the pictures as we got like a month ago. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's fully done, but I don't know. Let me get a good view of this catering service. We'll keep talking about it, man. I don't know, dude. I, oof. I don't know, dude. Um, uh, they're sandbagging. Yeah, I don't even know. Bro said mid. Yeah, Patty. That's exactly my process. My thought process. Just mid. That's all. I just mid. 
not that crazy to be honest with you looks to me like pmdg for oh, i already read that um wait is phoenix or i9 builds making the 21 uh phoenix is going to be making the 21 i really expected phoenix level textures of detail but i don't think that that's what i'm saying i expected i mean maybe it's just because they hyped us up too much you think that's what it is or maybe that was just early development stuff i don't know it's either we they hyped us up too much you we were expecting something else or it's just that's just what it is I'm not gonna say it looks bad. Just expect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I that that's that's another good point. It it that's true. I don't think it looks bad, but I, I was expecting it to be like, oh my gosh, wow, look at whoa, what ha whoa, I was, I was expecting some good stuff there. I mean, it wasn't bad at all, but it's just mid, just because I was expecting that stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, cannot beat the fans. Really can't. I was a purpose purchase a membership. It said purchase failed, and it still took my money um not to be like that patty but i don't oh well now yeah i was about to say yeah i was about to say if, if you did have issues with it i wouldn't be the one to to ask that i don't manage the youtube thing like that that would be youtube's issue but yeah i'm glad it works for you there you go patty uh yeah just give it a minute there you go uh within uh i appreciate that though patty welcome to the house fan club man uh bro i think flying is book uh, nice really bad idea it is that's rough uh within two months is estimated release oh that's what he said Two months, man. <laughs> yeah, triple seven is coming soon, which means it'll be sometime in the next ten years. Exactly. I hate coming soon from developers, dude. That's just like the worst thing you could say. Um, and to say for Phoenix, though, its own lane, PMDG is their own lane. It's kind of within what they do. Yeah, that is true. It's it's within their their ways of doing stuff. Obviously, Phoenix has the upper hand now. They've had it for a while, but I don't know. We'll see. To your point, I was shocked with the Phoenix V2 video with the PNG video. I was not mad. Yeah, you know, I was like, we're with the V2. I was like, oh, oh. I was like, you know, I kept getting like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is bad. They did this. They did that too. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I, I was like, actually, it was like unexpected stuff. Well, this was like, oh, 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 oh. What the? Oh, oh. You know, it's, it's like, it, it was something good and then there was something really questionable. And that's what does, that's what didn't make sense for me, which is why I feel like it's going to be a lot better on release just the video didn't do the plane justice because it looked really good and then other angles it looked terrible pmdg is rockstar <laughs> yeah it'll be a gta uh um well what are we talking about oh yeah gta 6 oh yeah we forgot to start development on that another 10 years <laughs> like dude uh man i would buy the captain sim triple seven today <laughs> but i say yeah never mind i'm getting the triple seven the captain sim i'll still tell you this plane's gonna be way better than the triple seven or the cabin sim not don't tell me that this plane's gonna suck it's gonna be way better but i don't think it's it's looking right good right now we'll see team memberships today mike and you i appreciate that patty go ahead and send your well-deserved emojis dude it's actually crazy when i tab out of this game how how much my frames just drop that that truck driving across my screen looked like it was in like two fps i'm so used to getting like 90 frames those are your welcome emojis then man i appreciate you hopping into the alice fan club man uh do they say he said two months uh i guess uh dominic's listening to the dev thing they're having like a little q a i guess he said two months so we'll see sometime in the next two months all right cool let's go ahead and shut these doors and we'll request some boarding because like i said i got this plane really set up we just have to get the the stuff going and we'll go ahead and open up those catering doors here in a second cool uh we yeah, two months uh big s is when they are projecting they have it come out phoenix will have the best quality aircraft for airbus png will have the best quality for boeing their own yeah that is true Camera looks insanely good. We'd rather have a better external. T yeah, it looks like they, they really, really sat there on the cabin for a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Just having a real 777 cockpit. Yeah, literally a real functional 777 cockpit. PMG solo is that, obviously. But other than that right now, they ain't looking too special. I mean, it's just looking like another plane. I don't know. PMG is known, like even on their 737, I would say. The 737 looks good, but it, it does also kind of go with the, eh, it's, oh, it's okay type thing. PG was like, eh, it seems cool, but the Phoenix was like, wow, I'm super. Yeah, yeah literally. 737 Max is uh, long and is on the uh, main development. You say it's is for long is on the main? What do you mean is for long? What does that mean? Like, is it is it coming soon? What is, what is is for long? Man? I don't know. If I had to give that whole video, I said a 6 out of 10, but rewatching it, I'm going to give that a low key. Stop. I think a 6 stays. I'll stay with the 6. 6 out of 10 for that video. It wasn't bad but it also wasn't a blow me away type video so i don't know they said the 737 max is uh as far as the triple seven is it so next weekend we're expecting a triple seven video or seven uh 737 max video is that what we're saying 
Fred says, wait, what? I was really excited for the Max I mean, also, Yeah, I mean, I guess so. We'll see, though. If that's what the triple seven's looking like, I don't know about that Max, dude. But I know if they're in the same time frame, my wallet's going to be empty, but that's fine. What's going on, Cheesy? Appreciate stopping in, man. We're just uh, debriefing and boarding up the aircraft uh, from that 777 release video, man. Just checking it out. Uh, I didn't not request boarding. Here, let me go re-request here. I'll just open up this door, see what happens. I don't know where boarding is. Boarding, deboarding passengers now. Baggage unloading complete. Okay. Oh, I guess I had to finish up doing that. All right. Yeah, GSX is weird with this plane. Uh, five out of ten. That's generous. I'll give it a six. This gets a six. Yeah, they said they'll drop it when they feel like it. That's crazy. I would say the iFly will be... Yeah, I think it will come out before. I also think the iFly... The iFly is the max I'm looking at just because they're from P3 and I have better trust in P3D devs. That's that's my only thing. Why is this thing not... Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's restart the coup I'm going to go ahead and shut this door back here too. I'm trying to get on that get on out of this out, or airport. Is anybody flying the return leg with us to Boston though? Because I'm actually... Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot there's an event so it's not going to be all plain today. Morning requested, we'll get ASIC, whatever. They're gonna start moving? Yep, cool. Actually get catering. Uh, I forgot about the iFly. I might have to wait for that one to come out before I decide. That one looks really good for that. So, yeah, see, the iFly is from P3D, so that's why I think they're they're gonna have a better quality add-on. But we'll we'll figure it out. That's not always the case, you know. Beautiful deboarding base here though. Actually, me call ground. Yeah, your ground just hopped off too. I want a deboard board crew. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I don't know what always wants to open rear left. Let's go ahead and uh, tune at 19.1 though, because that's our CTF. And uh, Washington Reagan traffic, Chef Blue 254 radio chip. I don't think anybody's on here. Cool. Uh, Zebo's in the house. How's it going, Zebo? Appreciate you stopping in. What's up? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? We are. We just watched. We we would have been out of this airport by now, but we were just uh, watching the PMDG Triple Seven preview video, just checking everything out, seeing how it is. Given our thoughts on it, but uh, now we're setting up the plane still talking about it. Appreciate you stopping in, Ziva. I don't know if you saw the video. So we said with the other 777 variants, they were released the max somewhere in between the LR, 200F, and 200DR. That would be individually. You see, I was hoping that they would low-key release the F and 200 first. Because to be real with you, I, you know how I like being all the realistic routes? What are you going to do with the 300? I mean, a lot of airliners do short flights with the 300, but it's more so on the 200. Like United probably like Dulles to O'Hare, O'Hare to Denver. Dulles to Denver. I mean, like Dulles to LA maybe, but it's like, I don't know. I mean, uh, I could join if you're not about to push and go. Yeah, you can if you want to, Isaac. We, we're just getting, uh, we literally just started boarding. So, I mean, if you could set your plan up pretty fast, yeah. I think we still got that Boston event on. I don't know what it ends, but we have Boston. One, two, three. We have three Boston centers online and probably a bunch of ground and all that. So, it's going to be fun. Busy in the Boston then. Uh, but wish me luck about land in Innsbruck with a uh, 128 local time. Oh, gosh. Let's go for the PNG triple seven. We'll see. We'll see, man. I am, uh, I don't know if I'm happy or sad for it. I don't know. We're at 60 likes though, guys. We're at 20 likes away from in that like goal of 80. Hit that like button if you are just now stopping in or haven't already. It helps me provide more content for you guys. And it also makes, uh, makes me know that you guys actually like me. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Omega with the fire. How's it going, Omega? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I don't feel like opening up the cell, just chilling. Yeah, it's all good, Isaac. Like I said, it, it's not going to be one of those boring flights anyway. So, I mean, even if we were flying together, if a lot of people were, it's probably going to get a little congested. There's a whole bunch of people in Boston right now. PMG 777 price will be the uh, same price as the 7.3. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, see, Dominic's just earphone. That's why I said I wasn't going to sit here and watch it because, you know, Dominic or somebody in the Discord will help me. All right, cool. Let's check out Mr. Zephro's landings here. Um, he was the one that's been waiting this whole time. Uh, landing reactions, and we got Zephro. We'll check out his river visual here. Let's find the E-170 with us today. Let's check him out. Appreciate you flying Zephro again, man. Always hopping in. Uh, bro, I'm scared. I don't see nothing out there. Oh, gosh. Is there no, like, city lights coming up to him? I'm pretty sure there's a few. This is him flying the E-170, dude. Oh, gosh. Are you on the older version? You're on 0 0.925. You gotta be on a 0 0.926. That's the newest one. Qatar, Emirates, Turkish, on upon United Air France, Cathay, many more airlines. Well, I know they use it. I'm just saying for like not flying 12 hours, like a nice little hop. So where I could just test out the plane instead of flying for 16 hours across the freaking world. You know what I mean? Just part of DC. Sounds good, Zip? Sounds good, man. We're about to get out of here ourselves. 
Nice. There you go. We floated it a little bit, but we got a 128. We'll take that. Beautiful landing, man. Beautiful. Gets an owls approved. Flight line's key. Owls approved as well. That was a pretty nice landing himself. Flight some screenshots we got. Uh, Mr. Waves hopping in with... The, ooh. That looks real. Just the way that angle is. Americans' liveries look honestly the most realistic out of any, any livery in the sim. I don't know why. Nice, though. That is what he's flying in right now. What's going on, Just Evasion? Appreciate you stopping in. How are you doing? Yeah, basically, they're doing triple seven variants individually so people can pick and choose. All right, well, that's good. I probably won't be getting the 200 LR and all that. Nice. We're going to keep deboarding or boarding up the aircraft and then we'll get ready to rock on out of here, man. Just got out of the hospital. Uh oh, where were we in the hospital for, man? That sucks. Where were we in the hospital, dude? Um, cool. Uh, who created the flight progression that you have on top of the video? Oh, uh, I did. I did made it on Canva. Canva and use info. Info. Like the progress bar on Fly Live Studio. Okay, I'm gonna send this thing. Cool. I did made it on camera using uh you and using info like the progress bar on Fly Live Studio. Cool. Nice. There we go. Uh, I probably just get the uh, 300 and 200 LR. Really? Nah, I, I don't want the LR. I mean, if you get the 300, I don't know. I want the 200. I still want a lot of them, though. I want the 777-300, obviously. I want the 777-200. And then I want the 200F to do cargo. I might not do the cargo 200F, to be honest with you. I think we might just get the 300 and the 200. Those are $70 each, dude. Yeah, we'll probably just get the 300. I'll, I'll probably start with the 200, to be honest with you, and then get the 300, but we'll see. I was crossing the intersection. Uh, it was at my turn. I got hit. Oh, no. Just Asian. Hopefully, everybody's okay. How's the car? Is it total? That sucks, dude. Uh, might get out of the Q&A chat, but is he actually? Because <laughs> uh, Air Canada uses the 300 LR. Ah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, nah, that is true for you. Hopefully, you'll have your PC by the time it's out. Because if not, how long is it going to take to get updated or added on to, you know, <laughs> added into Xbox? Which airplane do you recommend for a long haul? Currently, I would recommend the Horizon Sim 787, the Kiro 787, uh, the Headwind A330 900, and that's about it, to be honest with you. Nice. Looking good on that boring, though. We're going to hop upstairs and make sure everything is good. Those throttles are idle. Um, we got everything in. Altimeter is 200, 905 is set. Uh, we're gonna climb initially to what do you give us our initial climb initial climb is 5,000 he's offline though so we're just gonna go unrestricted to 35. the 350 set cool 35 is set and everything else is ready to rock and roll got our v speeds in uh we'll open up the the, the cabin for now just so they could uh, get on in and out um yep yeah. literally once they're done we're gonna go ahead and get pushed on out of here man there's a plane just sitting out there who is it that's this guy. Is he like waiting for his ramp to open or some crap? I'll check out your screenshots. I got you sent. Pull him up, man. This plane really doesn't look that bad. That's what I'm saying. I CST hates this plane, but realistically, bro, I think this plane is okay. I don't think it's good, but I think it's okay. I mean, it flies pretty. It flies like nice ever since this update. The systems mostly work that are not true to life as a E190, but they still work. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, that stuff is terrible. On July 4th, I was driving around to see some uh, fireworks and the car ran in red while speeding then hit me and I end up uh, running and they never got... Oh, they ended up running? Really, dude? That sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, guys. Hopefully, you're okay, though. Um, just deviation, man. Hopefully, everything's okay with you, man. Uh, bro's been on the ground for hours. I know, I know. We were watching the video. We haven't been sitting here for an hour. All right, we got Zip flying DC to Boston. It's flying the A320 looking beautiful i'm telling you dude i don't know what you have going on with your simulator but your stuff always looks weird what kind of monitor are you playing on zip because why is your why does the the pfd look loop lopsided <laughs> and you, what the heck I, what kind of monitor do you have zip? i mean these are cool angles it's just like everything looks awkward nice shots though dude that's very awkward looking though i can't lie to you everything everything seems sp special 
It was going to prepare for pushback and departure. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and close the doors here. Remove the chocks. Cool, we got catering on the way. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get the music turned down. Let's go ahead and get pushed on out. Beautiful. Hit that like button if you haven't already, though. 20 likes away from 80. We're at 60 likes flat. Help us out. Appreciate the support this evening, man. All right, cool. Does it want us to open this and then close it? Pilot's boarding starting? Just because that, that, that it's open? Okay. Anyways. Uh, Acer, dude, I, not like, not the definition of, I was just saying like what kind of, like how big is this? Is a 1920 by 1080? Because your game seems like really smushed or something. I don't know. Uh, we're going to get the APU on. The APU starts up super fast. That's why I never worry about turning it on for a little bit. And we're going to prepare for pushback and push. There we go. Now we'll take Aegis. There's 31% or 31 degrees Celsius. We'll go ahead and start it up. Cool. Yeah, 1920 by 1080. Interesting. What, where did, how do you take your screenshots? Because everything you send is like really small and like cropped sideways. It looks, it's always awkward looking. They're coming up. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and pull up the charts. So, ground trust is over there. We'll go ahead and pull up our departure. We're going to climb on the Suki 5 departure. Scoot down. Cool. So we're going to climb out of here. This is what we got. Doji at 4,000. So we'll monitor that here. Nice. You, uh, you snipe. What? And ground power is a veil. So we can go ahead and get that gone now. Ground. Gone. There we go. We'll go charts. Pull that back up. Cool. Let's see if we can start the engine this time. I mean, maybe it's the throttles aren't idle. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see if that was what it was. Cool. We'll go ahead and get this fasten seatbelt signs on the, like I said, red beacon is coming online. Everything else looks good. Let's make it happen. Windows Shift S. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why your pictures come out looking awkward. That's weird. Nice shots though, man. Let's go ahead and restart the clock here. There you go. All right. We're going to go ahead and push into the ramp. I don't see any other aircraft with us today, so we should be fine to do that. Cool. Scooting up that nose. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we'll get nose right to the left. Alright, parking brakes getting released. Start that wheel. Alright, getting pushed. We're going to go ahead and get out of the ramp here until we can start those engines. Uh, Wait, checks new screenshots. I got you, Zen. We'll check them out once, once, uh, once we get in the air, man. This plane sounds super good, like just at the gate idle, but the second you start these engines up, it sounds confusing. All right, let's see what happens. Go start. Yeah, there's something wrong with this plane, dude. They're like, you literally, I don't know what it, oh, there we go. It is. Okay, never mind. It is it's literally me. It's, I told, I thought it was my error. It's because the engines aren't fully idle. It's okay. Anyways, yeah, I gotta I gotta recalibrate my throttles on this plane. It's because they're not actually idle. Like my system isn't idle. Uh, it was, uh anyways, aviation is the best. Is back. How's it going? I appreciate you stopping back in. How are you doing? This fantastic evening. Still, hopefully, doing good. Lightspeed says okay. I'm going to bed now. See you. We'll see you, Mr. Lightspeed. Appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Yep, aviation currently joining us back in as we were departing out of uh, DC. Should be a nice one. No, they just dropped their nose on the ground. Thank you for that. Zip says, how do I take the uh, Phonix A320 ALF hedging? What? Yo. How fast did you type that, bro? Alt 4 will fix it? Huh? Alt F4 will fix it? Like, dude, I'm so confused. It was a dog spell. I was like, dude, what? All right, wait for that to be around 26.7. There we go. Looks good. We'll go ahead and let me start up number two. I was about to say, it's probably going to tell me number two is not idle. There we go. Yeah, I got to I gotta fix my throttles. They're not actually idle. I got to recalibrate it. Maybe it was, that was part of, that's part of the new update. 
All right, charts. We're coming out of this ramp right here. We're going to taxi to 1-9-er via Kilo. We're going to cross 1-5 at Kilo, hold short Juliet of 1-9. So that's what we got planned. It's a joke. No, I know, man. I know you're joking. Cool. Those things started up. Let's go and do a flight control check. Um, I type in 0.3. Gotta, gotta go slower, man. That's flight control check. It's full right. Or full left. Neutral. Full right. Neutral. Okay, why is the FPS better on the yoke now? Full up. Neutral. Full down. Neutral. Wasn't this in like 3 FPS in the beginning of the stream? Anyways. We'll go full right rudder. Neutral. Full left rudder. Neutral. Cool. Flight controls looking feel good. They have the bypass pin. He's walking away now. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and get sterile on. And uh, once that spools up and gets nice and normal, looks good. Let's go ahead and get the nose lights on. Um, got two good engine gins. We'll go ahead and get the APU off. Parking brake gets removed, and we should have locked this door when we left the gate. That's fine. Cool. Let's go ahead and get it out of here, man. Auto brakes get set to RTM. Manual brakes released. Let's go. Dog, I need the Phoenix 8321, 8 through 19. I do too, bro. I really desperately do too. Alice, how do I take the Phoenix out of heading mode? Um, go direct somewhere or push in. I think it is. Push in. What spot is this? Spot one? No, we were here. And Reagan traffic. It's uh, JetBlue 254 coming up on spot one short of Kilo. We're going to be taxing running 1-9. Via Kilo, crossing 1-5 at Kilo, continue Kilo, and holding point Juliet of runway 1-9 for uh, rigging traffic. Okay, that helped. Thanks. Yeah, there you go, man. See you. We'll see you. Lightspeed. Appreciate you hanging out with us, man. All right. We don't got any traffic on the right-hand side. We're clear on the left-hand side as well. We'll continue taxiing here. Kilo is going to be our innerest loop, so we'll, uh, we'll keep it inside this little loop here. Juliet's the far out one. So this plane sounds super good on the inside when you taxi. It's just the outside when you go sounds terrible. And the uh, the takeoff sounds are terrible. Anything other than that is fine. We're going to set flaps one degree. Oh, they're already at one. Did I not fully put them up? I thought I didn't put them up because I was like, why does it already look like they're in one? I'm in love with the Phoenix. Yeah, the Phoenix is a great plane, dude. Phoenix is an amazing plane. Also, I don't know if this is just the plane breaking or if this is how it is but i'm going to the left and the, the 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 spoilers went up going to the left it should go up if i'm going on that side of the spoilers anyways that's fun love taxing in dc though it's always fun it's like a little small ramp area all right there's kilo and we're going to continue straight across here so we're just going to have kilo and just cross right on over so we'll go ahead and get the landing or not landing we get the wing lights on We'll get strobe on as well. We'll cross this runway here. It should be good to cross. I'm not seeing any traffic coming. Do they ever use this runway, like 1-5 one, one and 3-3? Three, three? Does anybody know? I feel like they don't ever use these runways. What's going on, Mr. Ashton? I was really busy. Hey, you're all good, Ashton. We were just coming in from uh, checking out that uh, 777 preview video. It uh, A lot of people weren't liking it, to be honest with you, and I wasn't either. So, like, Listen to that, dude. It sounds pretty good. And the second you go toga, though, sounds terrible. There you go. Yes, use one five and three three. I've landed in the part of both. Actually, dude, no way. Oops, we're off of this center line. What's going on, Zycron? How's it going, my guy? Uh, exclamation PC. If you want to check out my settings, you got to join my Discord. I posted all of my settings in the Discord. Uh, did you like it? I didn't. I didn't either. A lot of people don't, surprisingly. I thought people were going to meet right it, but yeah, I, I, it looked... I was... I'm mixed because I was... I liked it in certain angles. In other angles, it looked like crap. So, I don't know. It also looked like the initial pictures they showed us um, when they first released the pictures. So, I don't know. Maybe it was early. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, call it up. And watching international traffic, it's JetBlue uh, 254 at uh, Juliet. We're going to be lining up and departing runway 19. We're going to be climbing the Suki 5 departure to the north for ringing traffic. I'm trying to remember where we're going. All right, cool. We'll line up here. Stero's on. We'll go ahead and call out the cabin. We got nobody arriving. I was checking that. I didn't see anybody downfield when we were taxiing, so we should be fine. Let's go ahead and scoot it on up. Landing lights will go ahead and come on. We'll get the nose light on. 
Wing lights already on, uh, strobes and all that are good. We'll set the runway heading once we line up, con or actually, no, we're gonna come via the south. Suki 5 is a southern departure. Heading mode set. Let's go TAR right here. Let's get it rolling, guys. Let's get those toga, emoji toga emojis in the chat. We'll spool 50, 40. 40 toga engines, toga. All right, airspeed's alive. Indications are normal. Thrust to set, throttle hold. Back pressure's released, let's cross check. V1, rotate. Mm, now we rotate. Those call outs were off, but okay. And pause there to climb, gears coming up. Beautiful. Magic takeoff buttons initiated. We'll go ahead and get nav selected. L nav is checked. And 188 is coming up shortly. 188 flaps clean. Beautiful rocket ship out of here today. Says we're in ground proximity. I don't know what that is. That's some bull crap. <laughs> Once this has a 15 degree climb, we're not climbing that aggressive. We're gonna maintain this 10 degree climb. See, I actually do enjoy flying this plane, to be honest with you. It flies really nicely. It's just some systems are super buggy and other things don't work that are meant to work in the plane. So, oh, it's just personal preference. I don't feel like we're returning to the field, so we're gonna go ahead and get that nose landing light off because that is stowed. Start making that turn here. The Washington National Traffic Jet 254, clear of one way one nine, climb via the Suki five departure to the south for uh, Washington National Traffic. We're about two thirty on the speeds. Auto throttle needs to come back on. I don't know why she hopped off. Go ahead and get AP1 on for now. See why uh, auto throttle hopped off here. There we go. Holy crap. Just let FSS do its own thing. Just, just let it do its thing. Don't worry, we're good. Just, just let it do its thing. <laughs> Al's and his automation issues are back. <laughs> uh, just let it, just let, just let it do its thing. Just let it do its thing. We're good. We're good. We're not gonna die. Seatbelt signs are definitely not coming off yet, though. All right, let's go back to flight plan. Scoot on out here. Make sure we're looking fine here. We just gotta gain that speed back, bro. Jesus. Let's say two five oh. Oh, that's why. Right. Okay. Set two five zero on the speeds for now. That's what I did, dude. I'm telling you, half of the issues I have with this plane are me not knowing what I'm doing. All right, we'll set two five oh. There we go. We're gonna slowly gain our airspeed back here shortly. I'll keep monitoring it. Music comes online. Get that stomp back in. Beautiful. Heading over to Boston now. We got full staff of this. Should be nice. That nose will drop here shortly once we're not having a crazy climb. There we go. We'll get that airspeed back alive now. Cool. Let's go ahead and catch up on some chat. Uh, all it needs is a sound update. Nah, it needs a lot more than a sound update. I'm going to be honest with you. Um... Only with CRJs, though? Really interesting. Only on very windy days? Okay. Uh, just posted another short. Hopefully, I can go grind shorts and get monetized and then start streaming. I'm going to be honest with you, Ashton. If you post shorts, you're going to... You could probably... If you're going to get your monetization from shorts, you have to have, like... I think, like... like What is it? Like, 3 million views or something? And you also need, like, 100,000-something. It's, like, way more than YouTube videos. 
and if you do start streaming you're gonna have zero chatters because short users only watch shorts and they just subscribe to random people so if you start streaming and you gain all of your viewership or all of your content and everything is based on shorts you're getting no views i hate to be that direct with you but that's just the honest truth you're gonna have nothing triple seven looks mint i agree fishing guns uh check your dms when you can i got you waves uh we got zim with the toga uh lotto with the toga Johan with the toga uh southless pie with the toga classy with the toga uh fly with lotto with the v1 rotate southless pie with the v1 rotate Johan with the v1 rotate we got classy with the v1 rotate we got zim with the v1 rotate Johan with this classic runway contact gloss isaac with the v1 rotate appreciate that man uh you cannot uh you cannot tell me the triple seven was not rushed the wings look absolutely yeah i'm telling you ash and i agree with every single point dude well, I said it looks it's kind of suspicious to me because it kind of seems like the thing that we saw was okay we can go ahead and get 290 on the speeds the thing that I saw was the plane kind of looks it looks like it, it looks like the same thing like the textures and everything looks the same as the pictures we saw of it initially like three months ago so I feel like it might that video might have been taken three months ago and that's not what it looks like now but we'll see sterile can come off fast the seatbelts can come off as well going to ping out the cabin uh, strobes can stay off the wing lights can come off for now and we'll continue climbing up here looking good passing 11,000 fly level 350 coming up on 290 knots which is going to be our cruise speed today everything seems good man I said literally this plane works so much better than I'm making it look right now I just I'm saying literally we were stalling like that because I meet my VFS and I forgot at VFS then you have to start upping the speed to 250 knots and then put flight level change on I didn't do that so we start stalling <laughs> That's fine. Everyone is uh, begging for it to be released. Not bad. It is. Two, two, and four don't have instrument approaches. Ah, I see. It's uh, very, it's very rare. Okay. Uh, Holy boss is not busy. Yeah, there's an event over there. It's supposed to be a GA event, but realistically, I mean, not many GA planes are flying, as you can tell. So yeah. Uh, I'm back. I was sitting in the Q and A. You're all good, Mikey. Fire is uh, exposed. You. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm just hyped for the max. I am too. I don't know. I never really get that super excited over these planes anymore, dude. I just. I can't. I always say, oh yeah, I want the, I want this to come out. Oh yeah, I want I want that to come out, but I, I just can't. I can't do it. Beautiful sim looking though, man. I can't lie to you, man. Um King A says, I think Captain did, literally, that's what I was saying. I think the Captain Sim modeling is beating it, which is insane to me. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that might have been old footage, if I'm being real with you, because some angles look amazing which I think are the new footage, and then some angles look horrible, which I think is the old footage. But I don't see them, you know, taking before and like, like taking videos like like a month and a half ago, and then, you know, coming back into it and be like, oh, this angle looks off, let's remake the video. But, oh wait, the plane's updated now. All right, we'll just use this clip for that. You know, I don't I don't see that. Now look, you cannot tell the difference between the cabin set. I can, the cabin set looks a little better. <laughs> for the temperature in the Phoenix Perf, do I set it to uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, it's, hmm? Hold up. Ah, okay. And no cars on today's flight. <clears throat> but you put it in Celsius. Everything you do in a plane is in Celsius. It's never in Fahrenheit. Well, I got a 4070 uh, for my Saturday stream installed on Microsoft. Right? Nice pipe plot. Tell me how you like it, man. Hopefully it's fantastic. Also, there is an update that everybody was getting but me. I swear I got a I got an update a few days. Oh, actually, Loki, no, no. Actually, I got that update a few days ago. Never mind. I was about to say I don't think I ever got this update, but I got like an update a few days ago. So I just never mind. Scratch it. Scratch it. Is there a Boston event tomorrow? No, Southwest Park. There's a Boston event tonight. It's happening right now, which is what we're flying into. But tomorrow we're gonna be hopping into the Jacksonville, the Atlanta the charlotte the orlando literally so many people are having a joint event and and basically the the south um the southeast uh they're having a little event over there so we're going to be flying out of there first time finally being able to fly in an event without three fps i still have noticed when there's more traffic on the ground especially in the phoenix the plane doesn't run you know like 180 fps but it doesn't run bad at all uh oh i just did a glitch that i did the other day There you go. Cool. Yeah, there's... Oh, I'm so glad I remember because last time, remember, uh, I think uh, Mikey remembers this or somebody. 
Oh, I was scared there for a second. It's a it's a glitch that happens. I don't know what you do, but it, it locks your camera in place, so I couldn't move. Well, somebody told me just open the ATC panel if it fixes itself. Whew, that was about I was about to be like, dude, I just ruined the game. No way, Captain Sims being. <laughs> Isaac, unfortunately, a lot of important stuff was withheld. They uh, confirmed a lot of the systems and stuff and things that aren't possible in Microsoft data restrictions. Ah. You're going to uh, get disappointed one way or another, so get excited. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't get excited anymore, really, either. I'm like, oh, the, the A3, literally. I was like, oh, the A350 is coming out? Cool. Nice. I can't wait for it to come out. Yay. Like, if the new airplane has agreed uh, upon and not mentioned. Oh, a new plane has been agreed upon? It's a 767. Why are they trying to catch? It's either the 717 or the 767. Or realistically, maybe the 757, but I don't know. Uh, the works questions are getting me because the devs can't do nothing on WXR due to Microsoft not know, uh, not giving up their SDK for it, bruh. <laughs> what is that? The That's the weather map, right? Uh, Captain Sim external PNG cockpit. Good. Yeah, literally. I'll, I'll work with that. Uh, I, did I make the thumbnail for that stream? Let me see, Waze. I don't, you might not have. Let me check it out. i just now checking my DMs. Give me a second. Uh, what what thumbnail? Oh, for the and yeah, you already did. You already did. It was that spittle. It was that uh, the Skittle Spirit livery. Please stop making me take pictures for Midway. I don't have scenery there, <laughs> bro. I don't. They look fine though. These pictures look perfectly normal. It's all good. Like literally, these pictures are fine. I don't need. I don't need the scenery in the background when there's takeoff because it doesn't matter. There we go, Waves cooking again with the screenshots. Love it. Thank you, Waves. That works for me. That'll be used. Thank you. Uh, guys, this plane's still heavily in development, so just give them a chance before you start sitting all over the product. And did I mean, uh, did the video do justice? No, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I've kind of been like kind of optimistic. I've been like, yeah, it, it doesn't look good right now, but realistically, it didn't look done. So I'm just assuming that it's not. Therefore, I'm not going to be giving this thing instant like crap you know like, oh this is this isn't working that doesn't look right i i've been saying it but realistically i know that it's not done so i'm gonna give it some time before i start saying stuff but right now i'm not impressed that's all i can say right now i am very much not impressed but we'll see maybe it'll, maybe it'll look better soon you don't pay waves enough for these thumbnails i know i don't bro he doesn't want to be paid he just says i just want you to like shout me out and like put your like i just put his channel in the description that's all i care about i was like all right he does it for fun. That's why it's funny. But default scenery, I got you. I got you. We, I, I won't have you doing it anymore. He stated that they uh, can't do weather radar because Microsoft doesn't have three-dimensional weather down in Microsoft. Ah, my mouth dropped when I watched the video. Not gonna lie, uh, was great. Who would want to fly those? Uh, has to be the seven eighty-seven. What do you mean? I'm lost. Uh, I landed safely in Innsbruck, but only crashed into the mountain. But we landed. Oh gosh, bro, what? He could easily be paid. I was about to say, he literally could easily be paid. He's like, nah. Uh, I see what you're talking about, how bad the sounds are. Yeah, you see how terrible these are? I literally turned the volume down just so I can't hear them that loud. Because if I turn the volume up, it's just ear rate. It's, it's super loud. Like, it, you cannot hear anything. So, I turned the volume all the way down just so we could look outside the plane. But yeah, the, the sounds are terrible. PNG 767 400 yeah, would be fire. Oh, yeah. Kind of would be. Give me a quick second. I'm going to quickly close my blinds. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom and then we'll come back. We'll check out some discord pictures and then uh, we're probably going to be in Boston Center by then and getting busy. So I'll be right back with you guys. All 
right, we are back. All right, cool. I was just putting my headphones on. There we go. Looking good. Uh, owls for flight sim. What type of viz do you recommend? Variable stuff or like random flights with bat sim? Oh, flight like. I'm gonna be honest, dude. If you try to make variable type vids, it's not gonna work out for you because I, I told somebody else this before. Making variable type vids is extremely hard to do, just because they put so, like that's why they don't post that much. They don't post that much because they take like literal weeks to make one video. They they make all the shots, they get all the cinematics and all the good stuff, and then they go through after and just add a bunch of editing effects, a bunch of external sounds. Like they're not using default Microsoft sound packs. They're usually like video sounds and they just like overlay it in and all that. So I would say if you make if you make variable type vids, it's probably not gonna come out how you want them to. And they'll end up looking like crappy content just not literally like if you look at my old videos i thought i was variable and i'm looking back at them now i'm like dude these are nothing compared to like major tom variable pulse like none of that crap they they have their own genre of what they make and they're the best at it there's really no way that can like you know get close to them so that's why i would say that's gonna be hard you could do random vat some vids, but I'm not really a, a YouTuber that makes videos. I'm like a live streamer, so I don't really, I don't really know in detail how to do good videos. I just know how to do good live streams. But I would say maybe do vat some videos. I'll be a lot, a lot more easier in a bigger space to do than those kind of vids. Major Tom hasn't posted in so long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're either not posting because they're editing, or they just like taking some time because their videos they take a long time. Wait, it says video type is the thing the film. Yeah, I've heard. Like they that stuff is not easily come and go. Holy crap, Boston is fully staffed right now. How many planes are in Boston? Let's look at the VAT cement. We are coming into a very eventful airport. What gate did we depart out of? We're at Charlie something here. Let's uh let's look at the VAT map here. Because we gotta we gotta be prepared. We gotta know where the gay VAT map. Let's see. We gotta know where to go and all this stuff. Uh, Waves does really good variable type vids too. They probably take forever to edit. I mean, well, Waves does them like variable, but they're not like variable. If you know what I mean, like you can get close to it, but at the end of the day, variables type videos, you could tell that they're very holy crap. There's a lot of planes. You could tell that they're variable style videos. That's the thing. It's it's kind of hard to to replicate. Waves does a really good job at trying to, but he's not. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Uh, they're not fun to film and edit and that's one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying there and plus he's doing all that work and they it takes so long to edit So long to get the clips like I don't know Jack's in the house. How's it going? Hope you're well tonight showing a uh, hard or snowing hard in Denver 12 inches at my house, uh, dude IFR into Denver tonight uh, uh, Great to see you man. Great to see you as well Cam Jack. You're the second person in Denver that told us about the storm man I hope you guys stay safe. I mean that seems like fun because I don't ever get snow but I know that probably sucks for you guys. Appreciate you stopping in though, Jack. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. 18 departures, yeah. I mean, honestly, when we get here, it probably won't be that busy. I know every most of everybody is going to that event. I low-key want to fly in that event, to be honest with you. Um, to Burlington. But anyways, this is where we're going. We're going to be parking up here, um, right at this gate where this guy is. Uh, we're probably going to take the one next to him. I don't know where that airport is, but yeah, it looks heavenly, heavenly packed. It actually isn't that bad, honestly. Should be a lot of fun to come into. I'm just nervous. I'm flying the E-190. I don't know if they're going to give me some tricks and turns and crap that I can't do in this plane. Uh, I'll check my photos. Are better? I got you. Zent. We'll pull them up, man. Uh, yo, what's going on, Eli? Uh, I thought you were going to JFK. Not nah, Eli. Our first thing was um, we were originally doing Boston to DCA and then DCA back to uh, Boston. But um, all right, DCA back to Boston and then Boston over to JFK. Um, but I think tonight, just because of the sake of time and how long the stream's gonna be tomorrow, we're just gonna go to Boston and call it a night. I'll probably join the Discord or something after that. Dude, this plane is so I said it was better on performance. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm running like terrible frames with this plane right now. I mean this this plane is this plane is causing so many stutters. Like micro stutters. You can't see it, but there's so much there's so much screen tear when I move my camera around. Yeah, it looks super smooth for you guys. I don't know why it looks so good on 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 you guys, but my my screen right now is running like crap, dude. That looks terrible. Anyways, that's fine. 
This looks good. Event will be done by 10. Yeah, that's why that's why I kind of want to get in here. We'll see. I mean, we, we'll catch the edge of it. Uh, I had a fat uh, flight last night from Portland to San Francisco. The control guys at uh, ZT, Andrew Ross. Oh, I know Andrew. Um, he was one of our controllers doing something. I think he has a YouTube channel. I actually, I don't know. I don't think that's the same one I'm thinking about. Never mind. Uh, I'm so excited for the trip. Some I am too. I'm not that. The video didn't look that good though. I can't lie to you. It didn't look special. That's the only thing. Get that speed staying up. All right, I have a question. I want to get back into content creation. And I don't want to live stream. What's your niche? Is with, um, that are not cinematic and live streaming. The harder ones to get into, like information alpha, would be like you know the uh, the the news style channel. So you could like be like the first one to post out. Like, say Beyond ATC comes out, you review Beyond ATC, give about the prices, to describe it, you know, or say the triple seven comes out, you describe the triple seven, you do this and that. That's a really hard one to do because you got to be like alpha and have that video out and edited by like the first 10 hours or like six other people are going to have it posted and those videos are going to be watched rather than yours. So that's a good one. I mean, that's a really good one. I mean, look at alpha. He gets like like 15K, 26K every video he makes and they're just literally about a, like a one minute long video just saying the triple seven. Here's some pictures. Here's the expected release date. Enjoy your day and 26K right there. You could do like Air Force. Style. Oh, Air Force Proud kind of takes a long time to edit and stuff. Though that's like, you could do those style vids, but those still take a. I mean, you could do like your Air Force Proud. I guess Air Force Proud to fit in the same way as like Alpha Originals. They have the same style, but that's like a, a mainstream market. There's not many. There's that's. If you look for those videos, you're gonna look for them, not like lower people. You know, so I don't know. I really don't know to be honest with you classy i'm not the best at coming up with those niches you could be like a memer but i mean i don't think you want to be known as the memer so if you want to do microsoft news make sure you can edit videos fast yeah honestly you might just grind streaming ashton i'm telling you i love streaming it's super fun i enjoy it more than making videos just because you make a video and say you spend like 10 hours editing and you know you you, you do all this crap and you get like you know a thousand views or you get like 500 views like dang i mean not even a thousand a thousand is really good say like you take like five hours to edit a video it takes you like two hours to get the clips you put it all together make a nice little thumbnail and you post it, you get like 200 views you're like ah come on now really whereas you go live and you're live streaming for say like four hours and you're hanging out with different style people you got new people coming in returning people coming in got you know like fun stuff happening on that some jokes clips being made and then you end the stream with 200 views You're like wow that was way more enjoyable to get 200 views than just posting a video i worked like all day on to get two views on like you know what i mean like getting 200 views on a video and 200 on a live stream are two different feelings and i love getting 200 views on a live stream that's way better than 200 on a, on a youtube video i would recommend streaming just know that Streaming is one of those things you really have to get into if you get into it because a lot of streamers they put together something quick and it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a, a win lose thing. Sorry for yapping there. I'm just giving my honest opinion. So, um, cool. Here's ways he's coming in. This was him landing in Innsbruck. Yeah, you really can't see anything. You should turn down your glare shield a little. That would help. Not bad though. We got uh, always killing screenshot. I don't know that you're. Like, look how everybody else's screenshots are taken like that and then look how like small ears are and they're like sh i don't know that that just seems weird i mean it's like they're good shots just the i this is on a 1920 by 1080 monitor it looks so awkward it looks off i don't know are you sure it's 1920 by 1080 uh what do you think about tutorial videos or special things like the airplay oh yeah i mean tutorial videos are great it's just the fact that it has to be like a newer plane to be released because if you you could always post out like a like a, a pmdg tutorial but like pmdg came out like what almost two years ago now so there's so many other tutorials and the bigger ones that have more views youtube is likely to recommend those rather than your video when it comes out so i mean you could try tutorials but it would have to be on stuff that like is very hard to do or like not understanding the like maybe downloading a flightsim.to livery for new people uh maybe 
how to add PTP files when you try to add liveries to the PMG, stuff like that will be better than like an airplane tutorial. If you do an airplane tutorial, it has to be like how to fly the PMDG triple seven, like when that releases. It can't be something that's been out for years, you know what I mean? Because then everybody else already has a video for it. Uh, question: Will the triple seven uh, have high depth? Uh, have high definition? Fe oh, wrong stream. <laughs> you're all good, Bobby. Appreciate you stopping in, man. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, consistency is key for streaming. Yeah, and that's another thing. Streaming takes a lot of time. If you're not consistent, you fall off. I, I'm just that's just a bl <laughs> that's a blunt and honest way. I fell off. Like, I don't. I didn't really fall off, but if you look back at my past streams. Before I moved, like before I took my like two week break, not even a break, just I was in a hotel, I couldn't stream and I was moving, like actively moving houses and I couldn't stream. I went from having 1,000, like 1.8, 1.2, 1 1.6, just all these thousands of views on live streams, even for ones like I'm doing now, like a 30 minute flight. I'll do two 30 minute flights, it'll be like a two hour, 15 minute stream and I'll end the stream with like 1.2k views. I went from doing that to now pushing like 600, 700, 500, doing that. Which isn't bad. I'm just saying, if you're that just shows me being consistent and posting a live stream out day by day is what kept the content flowing, which kept the viewers coming in. Whereas you see, I took a two week break and now I'm slowly trickling back up to my normal. But notice how I had a big decline in viewership. You know what I mean? So consistency is the literal biggest thing in any YouTube channel, but it definitely is important when you stream. Because if you don't stream for a little bit, that line goes straight down. Uh, Q&A ended 20 minutes ago. Just playing uh, with the body. <laughs> uh, what's up? What's going on? I appreciate you stopping back in, man. Currently about to hop into this Boston, uh, Boston center and hop into this event, man. Can you check screenshots? 80 30 driver. Look at the tour. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I'll check screenshots. I got you. Yes, 19 20 by 10. Interesting, bro. Triple 7 is going to have similar price range to the 737. I heard. 8 through 20 sim pilot has the 8 through 20. He's going to have the uh, 77 locks in the tour. Yeah, literally. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you make tutorials, like a330 driver whatever his name is they're locked in for that that's you look it up that's the first video that pops up you know what i mean um i don't need a tutorial for the phoenix i already know uh from the fly by wire but i need to know i i but i do more things in the phoenix look at his tutorials huh? don't try to thug it out and be like i know how to fly because i fly another plane just watch a quick tutorial man you'll learn even better i was going to jfk for the next slide, right we'll seize them i don't think i am um I've been going to bed super late, like at freaking 4 a.m. And I'm starting to get tired. So I'm probably going to end it at Boston. Uh, we'll still hop in the Discord and stuff. But just so I'm not, just so I have free time after I end stream. And I don't stay up till like 8 a.m. or some crap. You know what I mean? So I think we'll land in Boston. Uh, we'll end it in Boston. But tomorrow I have two two legs that are both two hours long. So I think that'll make up for it. Uh, watching just playing some tutorials, yeah, hundred percent. Even with the videos, the moment you stop uploading, you drop in views. Uh, was uploading like three, like a uh, three vids a week, got decent views. Now we took a break in the Yeah, see exactly, Alpha. Lol, yeah. Uh, with sound checking screenshots, I got you, Ashen. Check journal wire out. I got you. Uh, I just really don't know what to do, especially because I don't really care to stream. Any ideas, chat? Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing no commentary, full flight videos like once a week. Yeah, that's what I used to do. I only I didn't do it all the time, but I, I used to start making those and they did pretty good. I mean, over time it got views, but until then it didn't really. Am I going to am I over the J JFK VOR? I am. So we need to. Let's pull this up here. Yeah, Boston and everything is full staff, so they should be able to see me without me contacting them. But let me pull up the charts for Boston real quick. Let's go charts. KBOS. There we go. Let's go charts. KBOS. And we're going to be getting taxi charts, airport info. We're landing four right, which is going to be over here somewhere, I think. Where's four right? Over here. Cool. And we need to take terminal C. I think that's what it is. Cool. And then arrivals, we're going to be descending on the Roebuck 3. So let's pull up the Roebuck 3. Is this the left or the right? Four left slash right. Okay, cool. So this arrival starts at the JFK VOR. We need to be flex of level two, three, zero. Did I get a contact me? Yeah, we gotta be at Ruse at flight level two, three, zero, two, one, zero. And Ruse is coming up right now. Let's see. Yeah, Fix and Ruiz. So Ruiz is in 35 nautical miles. 
which is all the way up there. We'll see. I'm going to set... What do we have to be? 230? I'm going to set it. I don't know... I mean, we are still kind of down in JFK, so I don't think we're going to get contact me just yet, but I feel like we should be getting getting one very soon. I'm not going to start the descent until I get asked, but we'll see. Um, Let's see. Uh, You yapping hard? I'm not yapping. I'm just giving him an explanation, Zip. You got banned off of that, so don't talk to me. <laughs> uh... Nah, we need your amazing voice, bro. Uh, what do you got planned for tomorrow? We're going to be doing... Uh, we're joining into the Vatsim event tomorrow. So we're going to be doing Orlando to Indianapolis. Indianapolis to Orlando. Two hours, both legs. Uh, or shirts, like, fly to iCal in 60 seconds. Oh, yeah, that thing. Just got a camera for playing playing. Nice, just save We got uh, Petty in the house. Yo, Al's got a question. What CPU temps do you run average when playing flight sim? I'm currently running... I run around... I want to say 40 to 55 is, like, my max. Same as my GPU. Or actually, my CPU runs a little bit higher. I'll say the CPU is around like a max of 60 if it's like really under stress. Streaming right now, I'm running 52. So it's not, my stuff tends to not overheat. Um, my whole specs are in the description if you want to get all detail with it. And I have some links too. But yeah, I run like 60 max. The average is around like 45 to 55. Doesn't run pretty hot. Food cart got you, FS man. The 777 comes out. Practice landings to take off. Practice starting the flight. And what should I do first? Uh, Boston to Heathrow, LAX. Do LAX to Dulles. Spring break, triple seven, LAX to Newark. And after that, I'm just going to go to Hawaii. Oh, there you go, man. That's freaking lucky, dude. You'll have fun with that. Hey, we don't talk about that. That's my that's my only one mistake. Hey, it's a pretty sad mistake getting banned off of Vatsum for trolling. That's crazy. <laughs> I said, hmm, okay, bud. Now, triple seven, uh, 300 with the Alpha Airways. They're just going to look sick. Oh, yeah, there you go, man. All right, so we're going to check out this stuff here real quick in the uh, Discord. Nice. Beautiful. Got food court, Mr. FS man. Is that potatoes, I think? Got potatoes, got some chickpeas, and a salad. Oh, wait, you put it all together. There you go. That don't look bad, man. That's sick. Uh, we got general. Bad textures. Very bad textures. Uh, cool. Nice. Yeah, FS man, that looks pretty good, man. Sounds amazing, though, Ashton. Uh, I, re I recall we have the uh, 777 for CTPW. What do you mean? I have no clue what that stands for. 63 likes, so guys, hit that like button if you have not already. I'm trying to hit that like goal this evening of 80 likes. Let's see if we can hit it. Yeah, I'm getting a little concerned here. I feel like we're in his airspace. I don't know who to contact, though. Like, I, I'm kind of depending on a contact me because there's 16 different... Yeah, I'm about to come into his airspace right now. I'm like right on the line, dude. I don't. Ruse is in 50 and I'll come out. So we'll we'll say. How far is Ruse actually? That's not 50. Yeah, it's in 30, 35. We can make that in 35. I'll wait for a contact me. We got like another three minutes and then I'm probably going to have to just tune to some random one. Just call one of them. I was about to say, let me just call one of them because I don't want to risk it. Oh, Boston Center actually just gave me something. 34.0. Never mind. <laughs> he literally just called me the second I said that. 34.0. In Boston Center, good evening. It's uh, JetBlue 254 flight level 350 coming in from the southeast. How's it going? Is it 35? No, it's 34. Oh, I muted them. I muted them. I muted them. I muted it. I muted it. I'm sorry, Boston Center for JetBlue 254. Can you say that again? I had you muted. So I think I see 11 Boston Center, hello, uh, Squawk 0044, and get ready to copy, got a reword for you in the box. 0044, and, uh, we are Oops. ready to copy, Vianca 211. Uh, Vianca 211, clear to the Boston Logan Airport via present position, direct burn, Foxtrot Echo, Romeo, November, Zulu. Oh my god, Jordan we're gonna have to do a spin or something. Uh, ain't Crosser Prawn in April? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, it's always so sketchy entering your airspace right, without so speaking to someone first. Eh. Five I don't know. I usually wait for contact means unless it's like a descent I'm needing to look like. No, not with you. Oh gosh. Okay. Everybody's stepping over each other now. Great. Time for Al's uh, mess up magic. I got you. Here we go. <laughs> Center, hello, climbing chain bubble 380, and caution, some more call sign and frequency is JetBlue 254. Just gonna read a bit. I was in the center for uh, JetBlue 254, sorry we didn't hear you, we had a meter. We're flyable street 50 coming in from the southeast. JetBlue 254 to send via the Robo 3, arrival runway 4, right? Boss sounds put at 3004. Center 3004 to send via the Robo 3 and plan 4, right? For JetBlue 254. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and not that. We'll get vertical speed. Let's start descending. Get her down about 1500. Let's get speed. Slow that down just a little bit there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I muted. Oh my gosh, dude, that would have been bad. I muted. I've muted Vatsim this entire time. So there probably was people calling me this entire time. Oh my god, that's terrible. I forgot I muted it. <laughs> This is why I need a stream deck so I can see if I muted stuff or not. Gotta go peace. We'll see you, Ashton. Appreciate you hanging out with us, man. We'll see you. Appreciate you hanging out with us, man. All right, so Sky let's look at this. We gotta cross Roebuck at flight level 190. And altimeter is 300 something. I keep not hitting standard, so it said 3004. I'm pretty sure it was. All right, so Ruse or Roebuck. Where's Roebuck? Roebuck is up there. We need to cross the robot at flight level 190. So we're going to set 190 and altitude. And we'll go ahead and plan across that there. Approach is online. That's our next handoff here. I think this guy's the lowest center. Approach is going to... Oh, never mind. Ne never mind. There's multiple approaches. Never mind. We can't plan for that either. <laughs> uh, Dog, how? What happened? How? What happened? What happened? I'm so confused. Everybody's saying, no way, what happened? But <laughs> Yoham always comes in and says, dog, what? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, Chat had no idea. Yeah, for, do y'all have any content, flight sim content ideas for Classy? Oh, how did you mute VATSIM? I went into the V-Pilot, and because we were sitting on the ground watching the, uh, we were watching the, uh, the, uh, the 777 preview video, I had muted VATSIM just so we didn't hear all the, the loudness of VATSIM, and I never unmuted it. Wait, he says, what airline, uh, would you work for if you are a pilot? Delta, Southwest, or United? That's my order, too. I'd rather work for Delta, if not Delta, Southwest, if not Southwest, United. And after that, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care either way, actually. As long as I'm flying a plane, it doesn't matter to me. But if you have a preference, that's what I got. We're going to land auto brakes low today, though. And Ruse, we got to cross at 21,000. That's in 25. See if you can make that. If you guys haven't already, though, hit that like button. We're at 64 likes. Trying to hit that lovely light goal this evening of 80. Appreciate you guys stopping in. We quickly shut this door. 3345 is back to 211. And we're back. I'd be happy to work for American. I don't know. I've heard everybody say bad things about American. That's the only reason. I love the beacon lights, though. Look how you can see the beacon lights in the daytime. Like, they're bright. What's going on, Aviation Page? Appreciate you stopping in, man. How are you doing this fantastic evening? What do you mean, so? What's up? Um, yeah, once you start training, you'd be like, yeah, whoever hired yeah, Literally, that's why I'm like, I don't care. Even if American hires me, I'm like, I don't care as long as I'm flying a plane. But yeah, if I had a preference, I would choose Delta. Americans goaded? I don't know. I've never flown an American. I've just heard people say they don't like it. And then other people saying they love it. Um, I return the PNG uh, showcase the triple seven three. Uh, uh, looks frame heavy because of the premiere. It looked like a solid thirty FPS. Camera was clean. Though. I don't know. We all don't really like it that much. I don't know. Aviation page says the E one ninety. Huh? Uh, what about the E one ninety? I came in high. I did a misapproach. Uh oh. 
Legit, I was hoping uh, to be instructing on the 40s, and now look at my job. I'm flying. I'll be flying 172s now. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. As long as you're in the plane. Like I said, I don't know if you heard aviation page or uh, not aviation page. Um, uh, Jetblue 5321, across Calverton, Charlie, 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 Why does it keep speeding us up? Kennedy, altimeter, two, niner, niner, niner. Right, oh, but yeah, yesterday, um, yesterday. I wasn't live because I had to wake up really early and I was super tired the rest of the day. Um, but yesterday, I actually, we got my license and all that switch over. And then, we, uh, I asked my mom if we could go to this airport that was like down the street from my house. And now, we're not really down the street, it's kind of, it's like a 30 minute drive. But anyways, we got a discovery flight planned up. So I'm getting a discovery flight uh, on the 30th. And then I also, if I like it, we're going to try to see if we can start some training there. So that should be freaking fantastic. I'm going to go by with we'll Cheesy. Appreciate you stopping in, man. Pretty good jet, to be honest. It's an okay jet. I don't love it. It's not my favorite whatsoever, but it's it's good enough. That That's my thought press. It's good enough. Hey, I'm Boston. Southwest 102 on the ground in Providence. Looking for an half hour to Baltimore. The Baltimore. Um, it's all right. They they didn't let the planes uh, sound shine through. I'm afraid I'm needing a sound pack. I don't know if like, I'm... I'm not liking it at all right now, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like a great plane to me right now, but we'll see. It's still in beta, so we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know why my spoilers and stuff aren't working in this plane, so I'm going to have to manually do it. Uh, DM me where on Discord? I got you, man. What airport? I got you. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell, I'll tell Classy. Uh, how much time? Aviation page, if you look at the very top, it shows our ETA is showing 10 minutes. So we got about 10 minutes to arrive. There's a lot of traffic into this airport. And there's also an event going on, so that 10 minutes is probably around like 15, 17 minutes. But 10 minutes until we arrive into the That's Boston Airport field. You can't find your flight plan in our uh, PDC system, so get ready to copy voice plan. Ready. You find the E190 ready just feels ready. like realistic operations. Uh, what you got planned tomorrow, Phoenix? I think that was for Southwest 102. Yes, to that's what we got planned. Southwest 102, quite as the Baltimore Airport. If you guys haven't already, though, yeah, hit that like button. Let's see. I, should I lower it? We're going to say, we should go for 75 likes. Let's see if you get 75 likes this evening. Hit that like button if you have not already. I appreciate it. Yeah, low, uh, low key, the showcase was underwhelming. Maybe it's the way they did it, but I'm feeling... If, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll see. We'stop we'll see. Zero, I'm intrigued correct. as uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be close to me. I mean, you said you were like the air. I think you told me the airport that you were training. I don't think it's close to, you, but it's around the area. And, uh, are you flying to Phoenix two, tomorrow? Think, uh, two, three, Zimp, are you real? Are you are you a real human, Zimp? One, zero, two. Are you are you a real? You just you literally just asked me that. You, you like four seconds ago. You said, "What do you got planned for tomorrow, Phoenix?" I said, "Yes, the Phoenix." You then asked me, "Are you flying the Phoenix tomorrow?" I'm a little concerned. And at Jetpool 254, just making sure you're going to descend to the arrival there. Yeah, we are. We are looking a little high. If you can give us a spin, that'll be great for 254. Oh, you want to spin? Yeah, looking about the 3,000 over the publish. All right, Jetpool 254, turn right heading, uh, or let's do an S turn. Just turn right heading 120. I'll get back to the probing. All right, right turn 130 for uh, Jetpool 254. Jetpool 254, descend and maintain 15,000. All right, down one five thousand. Uh, Jeffy two fifty four. Yeah, cause I I was not about to make that. Go ahead, we'll set five thousand now. He started our descent all late. All right, cool. And is there any speed restrictions on this arrival? Um, we gotta meet Sophie at uh, Robux at two six zero, and we're coming yeah, up on Robux. So let's go ahead. And we'll just put two sixty on the speeds. Plan 260. Cool. There you go. Oh, you thought I was trolling? I didn't think you were trolling. I was just like, bro. Yep, we'll tell you for 254. What are we going to meet Provi at here? If I could get this chart up, that'd be great. Pro V, gonna cross that one one eleven thousand. Um, Pro V is very, very close here. How close is Pro V? Pro V's in seven miles. 
I'll tell him what we got going on here. Uh, same airport VR is that? Nah, not the same. It's close though. Now you got a nice controller tonight? Oh yeah, I do. Are you gonna fly the Phoenix tomorrow waiting to see those nice Phoenix textures? I am, Eli. We definitely are, man. The Phoenix is good at Mr. Burgess? Oh yeah. And uh, Boston Center, it's a uh, JetBlue 254. It looks like we're at 19.8. Uh, it looks like we got a cross probe at 1.1. I uh, think we're going to need a full 360 if possible. JetBlue 254. Okay, turn left heading 360. Left turn 360. Thanks for 254. All right, keep that turn heading 360. Yeah, because we are, we are not making that. <laughs> It's in seven miles, we need to just fall out the air that it's not happening. Alright, three, six, zero. There's no shot it actually popped up three, six, zero. I've never seen that on any plane. Okay, anyways. Um, I bet I know airport you got DME real quick. I got you. Hold up, man. I'm, <laughs> I know y'all excited. Jesus Christ. I'm over here trying to make sure we're not going to get yelled at. I gotta be extra careful in this plane because it has no VNAV, so I'm trying to properly follow the arrival. So I'm having to read the charts a lot. So give give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you once we get on the on the ground, man. I can't do that right now. Uh, did you like the picture I sent of the United Triple Seven? Uh, when did you send them? Aviation page. I was saying that because of the, I know you were Eli. I'm kidding. <laughs> Put that speed break out. We got it out. We're throwing it. We're good. We, we can make this off of three six zero. Uh, why not just left click hold and rotate? Oh gosh. Oh wait, you could do that? I didn't even know you could do that. Don't worry, I'll fly before you die. Exactly. Uh, you can make it. Yeah, you have to stall the plane. Check your transponder. Block two, four, six, three. All right, we'll get two, four, six, three in the box. Uh, six, two, fifty-four. Delta fifteen zero one descend via the Robux three arrival runway four right to the Boston altimeter three zero. Did I did I not set that before? Send me the Robux 4 by River Ultimate 3004. Alright, we can make it now. By, uh, Any speed restrictions? We gotta cross the next one at Scovy at 220, so we'll be good. Yeah, we'll Alright, right turn direct Provy 254, thanks. Alright, let's go ahead and get Nav back on and we'll get Provy. There we go. Nice, there we go. Looking fantastic on the Ravenon. That guy is dope. I love this Boston controller. He's always helping people out. Cool. Uh, check landing rashes. I got your aviation page, man. We're currently coming in and on a VAT some arrival. So give me a second. Bro. I don't know if you guys are trolling or if you're being for real. <laughs> like, <laughs> this whole thing has been becoming a big troll. If you haven't already, though, hit that like button. We're at 66 yeah, electronic Boston approach on 130. Boston Pro 33-0 for uh, JetBlue 254. Thanks for the spins. We'll see you. It's Boston Approach 118.25. Good night. 118.25 for 24 Juliet. All right. Boston Approach 1330. Boston Approach JetBlue 254 on the Roebuck 3 passing 13-6. Boston 788. Climb maintain 14. Okay. He stepped on me. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna go and turn off these musics here. JetBlue 254, Boston approach. Hello, Golf Current, up there 3004, expect 4 right. Golf Current 3004, expect 4 right, 254. Did it reset him? Oh my gosh, 3004. <laughs> I swear I said 3004 four minutes ago. Anyways, minimums 4, 4 right. We'll go approach. Uh, Eyeless or lock, 4 right. Minimums. They're conditional. What do we got? ILS straight in 218. So let's uh, set 220. It's just playing. You can't get exact. So we'll set 220. 2, 2. There we go. Uh, I'll hop back onto the taxi chart. Airport info. Like I said, I don't know what gate number it is. I forgot. But we're going to a terminal Charlie. Uh, Pier, Pier Charlie. Um, cool. So, Scofi, I gotta be at 220. Coming up on Scofi, so let's go ahead and set 220 on the speeds. Two twenty. There we go. Passing out of ten thousand. Also, let's arrest this ascent. We're killing ourselves right now. Cool. Delta 
We'll go ahead and get the landing lights on. Fasten seatbelts come on, zero. Calls coming on, we'll get the wing lights on. Beautiful. And we need to cross Scofi at 10,000 here, which is exactly what we did. Next one's Sorrel. All right, not Sorrel, is that Arrow? Yeah, it is Arrow. We need to cross it at 8,000, and or 8,000 to 7,000, and Guna at 6,000. So yeah, we're going to meet that. Be fine. There we go. Now the speed brake's working. Cool. Everything's looking set. Auto brakes are low. Let's go ahead and get landing rate monitor open. We'll get landing rate monitor. Boom. Close that here. And let's get a flight recorder client open. Just so I don't have to rush through this stuff. Cool. Looking good. Cool. There we go. Uh, no cat three. I don't think we need a cat through with these visuals right now. I mean, we look fine. I'm probably going to visually fly it in anyways because this plane, I don't know if it's good at flying ILSs, but we'll see. Four right, yeah, it does have them, but we don't we don't need it. I don't think we'll need. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need it. So it's good practice to utilize uh, the best minimums, I guess. Let's go and get headings to let. And pull this back up here. So Nino's at six thousand. Well, Nino's at six thousand, and from there we're coming in on our discretion. Tower is Delta on one, one two eight point eight. He gave somebody else another approach, so we're going to set 128.8. We have information we have, golf on board. Oh, he might switch us over this, so we'll see. Yeah, you never know what may happen. Having the Cat 3 may determine if you land or not. Hey, I guess so. I reduce speed to 210 knots, so Jeffy 254. Two one zero knots here. There we go. Uh, Boston four right city approach is uh, dude. It's amazing, bro. All right, slowing two one zero knots now. Speed racing. Go ahead and get on out of here. There. Uh, we have a weather for guys. Yeah, just saying. I mean, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Um, Alpha. It's just this plane isn't fully optimal for all that kind of stuff. That's why I'm just kind of like, I'm like, eh. It's fine. Just, this plane. Approach 26.5 for JetBlue 254. We'll see. Thank you. One, two, what do you say? 126.4? What, what was it? Let me go check. Approach 126.5. 126.5. Dude, I swear I just read it back and I don't actually hear what he says. And Tower, before I call him, let's go Tower 128.8. One two eight point eight zero zero. Beautiful. Cool. Boston approach. Ship blue two fifty four to sing on the Roebuck three passing six point one. Ship blue two fifty four. Boston approach. Good evening. Call with Washington Air Force four right approach. Uh, SMO cleared the ILS runway four right approach for uh, Ship blue two fifty four. Cool. So we get the straight in. Flight seventeen seventy. Flight heading zero one zero. Two one zero knots on the speed. Looking good. You got the field inside over there? Let's see if we can join the localizer. Wonder if we can. Let's try to join the localizer. Let's try the four right. One ten thirty. Is that a girl on frequency? I haven't heard one of those in a minute. <laughs> There's a girl in frames, that's it. Alright, one ten thirty. Uh I guess we go land mode here. I think there's literally I was about to say. I think there's a button that just says land. Uh no, actually it's approach. That's in the other plane. Alright, guess we're getting locked on. Two tens on the speeds. Speed breakers are getting stopped. And let's go ahead and get flap set two degrees. And cool, missed approach. We go three thousand. We go into the Boston DOR outbound to wax and so it's, so it's three thousand feet. Um, we go a right turn direct to Bowen oh, and we call way, for uh, any more instructions. That should be fine here. Cool. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. We'll switch over these charts. This is now going to turn into the mist approach. So we'll pull this one here. Beautiful. Alright. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> 
Based on airline SAP, I'll do something that's kept to you. Are you just sitting right now? Yes, sir, Aviation Page. You sound just nice? Hey, it's okay. Uh, we all know if it's very enough to be honest. Number 416, Bravo Whiskey, Boston Approach, good evening, Descent Maintain 3. Yeah, this, this plane isn't that detailed, so I don't know if it'll have all the Cat 3s and all Number that model. We'll see, though. We're on a glide slope already. Alright, 310. Alright, landing, uh, re uh, landing replay can go ahead and start recording. We're gonna land four right. Um, if we don't need to do a go around or any of that, we'll probably land around here next to Papa and Delta. Vacate Yankee, we'll backtrack 1 5. November, hold short 1 5 right, usually like we always do. Here we go, man. Coming on in. Things looking set now. Go ahead and call it the cabin. Nose light comes on Number as well. Full Bravo whiskey, flight heading, uh, Slow the plane down here. Let's go ahead and get 160 on the speeds. And we'll get 170. Now 160 is good. That's a 5 mile. We'll get 160. I have a landing VRF today. Landing VRF of 134 uh, right knots. Cool. Uh, we'll Gears dropping. Delta There we go. 2500. That's checked. Confirm. Does that say 25? Yeah, there we go. It's because of the, uh, the uh, altimeters. What's going on, Jason? Appreciate you stopping in. The VNAV still does not work, man. Basically, all this update was was for the plane, this for the systems it already had to be stable. That's all of it. Still no VNAV. This plane will not have VNAV for a long time, sadly. All right, we'll go ahead and get flaps number three. Flaps number four. We'll get flaps full out here in just a second. Delta two thirty three, Boston approach. Delta 233, Boston approach, right heading 310, descend maintain 3000. Alright, 150. I'm pretty sure ground's at 121.9. Delta 233, descend maintain I'm looking for that switch over to tower now, though. JetBlue 24 Juliet, let's do it at 6000. 24 Juliet? JetBlue? Interesting. It's actually flying this ILS pretty perfectly right now, I can't lie to you. From Boston Approach, Ship 254, looking for the switch over to tower. 11 o'clock at 2000, Airbus, report on site. Yeah, I got that Airbus on site, that's a problem. Fulbright Whiskey, I need you to the left of runway 4 right. Alright, we got gear down, 3 greens, landing lights on. Low on the auto brakes, taxis on, uh, we got cabinet advise, and flaps getting set full here. Flaps set full. Boston approach, uh, JetBlue 254 looking to switch over to tower. Uh, JetBlue 254, contact tower, one Boston Tower, Jeep 254, about a two mile short final for the 4 right. Okay, get to it once it's Jeep 254, runway 4 right, Clinton. 4 right, Clinton, and Jeep 254. Careful, one India, I'm sorry. Alright, cool, that was a little stressful there for a second. I was like, yo, are we gonna get cleared? Alright, 135 is on the speed. My aircraft here. Sorry, do I have the wrong side? It's now about uh, 10 to 9 o'clock, and uh, descending out of uh, 1500. Locking those landing rates here. Roger, that actually flew an ILS perfectly, dude. Holy crap! I'm very, I'm actually fairly surprised. It flew it a lot better than it used to. It used to hate ILSs. Let's right check. Right. Continue. Right. Greaser reverses out. Negative 114 on that bad boy. Reverser's out, auto brakes off. This plane slams on brakes. Holy crap. 
I mean, this plane like slams on brakes. I mean, like it's insane how fast this plane goes from 130 knots to zero. Jesus Christ. 114. All right, left on the Yankee, join 33 right behind the frontier, the JP254. King Air 6 Bravo Whiskey, left on the runway 33 right, left November whole trip. That frontier is the girl, the lady on Vatsim today. Pretty cool, representing the gals. There needs to be more girls on Vatsim, dude. I swear there's more girls I see on TikTok that are have, like, you know, aviation TikTok videos rather than, you know, fly on Vatsim. I just find that so weird. It's so rare. Bro said butter, 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 butter. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, yeah, appreciate it, man. Negative 114. That's going to look good in the replay. Is that a frontier without sharklets? That's a new thing. Representing the gal. Dude, she is, dude. I mean, like, I just find it insane how there's so many girls I see on TikTok that are all like, you know, I love aviation. Where did you love your Like, all those TikToks. But literally, there's none on Vatsim. This is like the, a rare occasion. I mean, I just think it's cool. Not even trying to like make fun of them or anything. I just think that's cool. There's never any girls in that, so it's sick, dude. Owls is so down, but bro, literally, I'm not okay. <laughs> Grease says appreciate it, butter. Most of the aviation girls are rich. Awesome. That, yeah, that is true. They actually got real planes to <laughs> fly. That is true. That's a good point. You were closest as well. Nice. Hey, there you go, man. Right, flight directors can come on off. Uh, Let's get that APU starting up now. APU started up. And let's go ahead and find what ground's on. Like I said, 121.9. Wasn't she cleared to cross, though? I swear she just got clearance. 121.9. I heard somebody stalling. Dude. Look at that. Dude, she's beautiful. <clears throat> or they go to Emory Riddle, dude. I want to go to Emory Riddle, which means twenty-five million dollar Sims. You really only hear dudes, but yeah, the uh, the their daddies are loaded. Oh yeah. Cool. Alright, cross four left, left turn November, hold short one five for JetBlue two fifty four. Alright, so, right, so I need to right cross this and November, hold short on November. That's a little bit different uh, than what he gave her. Oh, wait, right, no, it's the same thing. Turn, November, I think November, I just heard right, different. Alright, strobes and all that can stay on here as we're crossing an active. Strobes still on, wing light still on, all that looks good. Yeah, we're actually running a VATSIM event like at 90 frames, or not 90 frames, at like 60 frames right now. That's flying this plane. This plane isn't really that optimized, so. I said 130W. Hey, stop spamming because no one cares. <laughs> Man, she's blast. Jeez, bro. All right. Thank you very much for the service. You got it. Jeb with two fifty four contact ground one two one point nine on the other side. Ground two one nine on the other side. Jeb with two fifty four. We'll see us. All right. Man, she slammed. Well, I thought I was about to hit her. All right, cool. Uh, ground one two one point nine. There's another dude. I think he was over Absolutely. there. I need to worry about him because he was about to cut me off. We're good. Boston ground. Isaac's in the battle right now, I could tell. Okay, I just the brakes in this plane every time we hit him. Cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get the uh what's that? Red beacon strub comes off, wing comes off. Call out the cabin and AP could actually go to the oops, can go to start now. I'm so off the center line. Miles ground, good evening, Jeppa 254. We're on November uh, looking for Pier Charlie, please. Jeppa 254, boss of ground, cross from my 1 5 right, then taxi left alpha. Alright, cross 1 5 right and go uh, left alpha to Pier Charlie for uh, 254. We'll see you. Thanks for the service. Actually, you can go left or right on alpha depending on your gate. Have a good night. Uh, we'll figure it out. Left on Alpha for a 254. Thanks. All right, stroke comes on. There we go. Uh, like cool. Um, that water on the side. That was cool, was it? I didn't even pay attention. Oh, yeah, there is water over there. I forgot. It's on, like, the side of the thing. Bro said, Amy should pay hurry up, park. Just for that, I'm going to hold short of this. <laughs> uh, if flying manly, a dude, what are we, what are they arguing about? I should have went to Emory Riddle. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. 
Uh, Zach's in the house. Yo, what's up, man? Sorry I'm late. Crazy night with some storms here. We're out here with no power for 5 o'clock. Uh, 8.34. It's now 8.50. Really, dude? I mean, I appreciate you coming in, man. Hopefully, you're, you're safe and, you know, not being all... Not being all detrimental for your health. I hope I hope you're not like risking <laughs> risking your life to watch the stream. But I appreciate that, man. Hopefully you're having a fantastic evening other than the uh the power outage, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Hit that like button if you guys haven't already. We're going for 75 likes. We're at 68. Coming into the gate. I'll figure out which gate we get here in a second. Make sure there's not another dude over here. Really gotta watch. We're zooming right now, man. Look at that Delta coming in. Butter. Nice, man. Uh, if you're doing auto land, I'm talking about a manual landing. Cat the, dude, they're actually arguing. <laughs> what is this? All right, I think this is where we park. Uh, pier tra Oh. God dang, man. Okay. Sorry. That guy was moving. Yeah, this is where we need to park, but there's two planes that are taking the gate right now, so... We're gonna figure out where to park here. Attack so I can go ahead and come off now. We don't need it. Um, that could go off. APU is at 31. I gotta scoot on over here so we could actually turn it on. Um, there we go. APU is now coming on. I think one of those guys was pushing because his nose just went up, so I hope he doesn't push into me. Jesus Christ, dude. Who is... Oh my gosh. I mean, like, bro. Anyways, <laughs> uh, there's a gate next to them. Buzz blind. No, not them. I'm talking about not that one. I'm talking about these. I want to take these. I don't want to be right on top of them at that corner. That's going to be Charlie 29. Let's go ahead and let's take Charlie 29. Charlie 29. With the safe dock. Don't show me this spot. Jet Blue Airways. Cool. <clears throat> little Delta zoom it, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, let's get on Discord and sell it. Yeah, for real. Get on a Discord call for real. Yeah, everything is good now. A lot of thunder, some rain and hell mixed in there, but everything is good because of the outage. Apparently, it was damaged a tree. Ah, I see. Now, I'm glad you're safe, though, man. That's that's never fun when the power is out. I get the power outages at the worst time, so appreciate you stopping in. It means a lot, man. I mean, I'm comfortable enough to fly this plane, honestly, man. I mean, I ca literally every time I don't fly it for a little bit, I kind of forget what I'm doing with it, but other than that, I fly good. I thought that said zero. That says 50-something. I can't see it. Captain Smoke says, uh, shout out Boosted JTV. Hold on, let me see. Boston Ground, Citation 501, Alpha Papa, ready for taxi. Yeah, you're loud, Papa. Jeez, bro. Runway Niner, taxi via Bravo, Kilo, hold to runway four left. I'm not going to get a dance even if I perfect this park. Runway just because... Niner via Bravo, Kilo, okay. hold short, four left. Citation five, runway gets set. Papa. Very good parking, but there's nobody that actually uh, do our parking job here, so that's fine. Um, APU's at a hundred percent, so we could go ahead and kill the engines. And we gotta manually throw these to idle here. Don't worry about that. We're gonna be getting some replays. Beautiful. Welcome to Boston, everybody. Did I not turn the strobe lights off? Oops. I look like a new. Not turn off the strobe. That's crazy. Welcome to Boston, though, guys. Lovely, lovely flight. Dude, the lights in this plane are actually pretty bright. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, Captain Smoke says, "Shout out Boosted JTV for me, owls." He is, uh, he's new to flight some so much love. Shout out to Boosted J. Ha, nice Boosted J. Uh, what's going on with the Captain Smoke? Appreciate you stopping in, bro. said, finally, bro. Cool. All right, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and get the seatbelts off. Uh, sterile can come off as well. Hydraulics A come off, or hydraulics, um, pump A comes off. Uh, we'll probably turn off the batteries and all that, but there's no really way to fully shut down this plane without killing it in the replay. So we'll go ahead and get the, uh, cabin crew door unlocked. And, uh, let's check out some replays. We'll disconnect off of Adsim here. Um, cool. Let's get some landing rate. 114. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll turn the music up and roll the replay and I'll show you what the uh, landing rate was. Alright, we gotta, we gotta start over this song though. Alright, let's roll the replay here. We had a long replay. It's still recording now, so that's crazy. Alright, 
Alright, let's check it out. Beautiful landing, man. We'll take that. That was a lovely landing. <clears throat> Alright, let me pull it up on stream here. Negative 114. It's actually very surprising because this plane you have to absolutely grease on the ground. Or it says you slammed it because there's no strut compression in it. So, we'll take that. Oh, it's a good flight out of Atlanta. Atlanta to Tampa. Atlanta to Jacksonville. Atlanta to Houston. I mean, you could go literally any airport. It'll be a real flight, to be honest with you. Of course, all this happened when my mom decided to go to the store and get a whole bunch of food. Uh, the power's out for hours. Hopefully, everything is still good. That's uh, that's the only only thing to say. Ah, that's all good, Zach. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got coming in. It's like a pretty stable approach. Uh, oh, worry about these. Yeah, it'll be fine, man. Like I said, I'm glad you're all good. Can you make an infinite flight in Microsoft reacting to my viewers' landings? Um, I've done it before, Aviation Page. Uh, dude, the way this plane's flight model looks landing is so bad, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um, we definitely can. I haven't, I've planned to make a new one. Oh, it's because it's going against the replay. The plane's flying against the replay. Okay, anyways. Um, I definitely can. I haven't made one of those videos since the last one. And I haven't really planned to make a new one, but we definitely can think about it. Just it won't be anytime soon. Nice flight. Appreciate you, Lone Star. I said I'll uh, I'll get in contact with you after stream here after I get a quick bite. Can do a quick leg or something somewhere. Uh I fly out of Atlanta that Atlanta center controls every flight. That what do you mean? If you fly out of Atlanta, you gotta go through Atlanta Center. I don't know what you're asking. The plane actually uh flying looks so good. Though. Exactly, yeah. I'm telling you, it looks freaking beautiful. Uh, low, by the way, we weren't really arguing. At least I wasn't trying to. Oh, sorry about that. You're good, Isaac. I just let y'all do y'all's thing. Can you make an announcement later after stream that I'm going to be doing the thing? I mean, I'm not going to make an announcement because I don't know if I'm going to be actually doing it. I'm just saying we can, but it's not in a priority to me, for me to make it. Guys, you take your time? Yeah. That's it. I'm just going to get a quick bite. Nothing nothing too heavy. Beautiful landing. 114. I'll happily take that. Look at that. I'll tell you, this, the E-190, bro, it ain't that bad right now, dude. It's actually a pretty stable aircraft. I'm enjoying it. If you guys have enjoyed this stream, hit that like button. We're at 69 likes. We're going to hit that like. We'll have 75 now. Hit that like button if you have not already. Tell your dog. Tell your cat. Tell your fish. Tell your uncle. Tell your brother. Tell your dog. Anybody. Mikey says, great stream per the usual. Appreciate it, Mikey. Like I said, hopefully we can see you live again tomorrow. I'm sorry you had to take that call. I, I guarantee you're probably excited to stream today, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, plane flying against the replay looks disgusting. It literally does, bro. That's why I love planes like the Phoenix now that don't fight against replays. Are you an Android or Apple guy? I've been an Apple guy since 2008, and I'm on my fourth iPhone, but the Mo Motorola Razr Plus has been wanting me to try something different. Um, I'm an Apple person. I mean, I have the... I'm, I'm rocking the 15 right now. I, I have been an Apple person because my mom's been an Apple person, and I used to get my mom's hand-me-downs, so after like a year and a half of her having one phone you know she would get the other one and i'll get her old phone that she already had so i started off with apple which is kind of why i love apple uh, at least when it comes to phones i think macbooks and stuff are freaking stupid i mean i i love a windows computer i hate mac stuff but yeah i've been a i've been an apple person but i like apple i don't know some androids are cool, but I just don't like the UI of it. It doesn't seem as efficient to me. I don't know. No, no, nothing against Apple or Android, but uh, tomorrow for sure. Hey, there you go. Hand me a hand me down, like you know what a hand me down is. Like you know, say your brother has uh, a diamond that he wears on his neck, like a chain, and then he he graduates, so he gives the chain to you. You graduate, so you give the chain to. So it's just hand me downs, you know. Apple is the best for anything not gaming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anything not gaming. I don't I just don't like MacBooks. Like the MacBooks are weird, dude. I I think MacBooks are freaking awkward. Nothing against them. I just don't like them. We're at 70 likes though, guys. Can we get five more likes? We got about another three minutes of the live stream here because we're gonna check out the other wing view. We'll see if you can check out an engine view and then of course get some landing replays uh through the plane spotter view. Lovely landing, man. Uh most privileged thing I've ever heard. I was about to say, yeah, <laughs> what's a hammy down? Uh, you, you what? <laughs> Throw this plane back up. Check out another replay. Yeah, this thing's fighting. It's f it's literally flying against the replay. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. You <laughs> said long. <laughs> Do you actually not know what a hand-me-down is? That's actually crazy. 72 likes, though, guys. We were three likes away from 75. Let's see if we can hit that, man. Super close. 
appreciate you guys all hanging out with me tonight this has been a fun stream i'm really liking the e190 i won't say it's a plane that i would recommend anybody to buy right now it's just a personal preference thing i've said that before but it's a great plane man nice little stream today how long was today's stream so far about a four hour stream pretty good pretty good like most airlines are still required SFP. dude i have no clue turn on active pause that might fix it uh the replay ignores it but the plane does oh yeah actually yeah that might work i think that actually might do it uh currently have a 13 uh uh those seem smooth changes software oh like the iphone these days they're more concerned about the camera than anything else but yeah i i do agree with that the the newer iphones literally when the 15 came i wouldn't have got the 15 if i like had to pay for it um there was like a deal with my provider that said hey if you trade in your iphone now and upgrade a plan to certain megabytes then you get the free iphone 15 on us plus like you know the monthly charges that come with it which was a really good deal so i got the 15 because of that but yeah i don't know Mo literally the i had the i what i have the 12 i had a i had an iphone 12 like the the product red 12 and literally there was like no difference i really noticed like even with the screens like you have to have the pro version of the iphone 15 to get the 120 refresh rate screen like it's still a 60 hertz screen on the normal 15. that's insane to me so it literally was no different it just felt like a better ui and it wasn't as laggy that's really it uh play plot says great land i got a good little piece receipt by plot i do it's using diff uh it's using a different way hey down for pants oh, i see ron says no let's go to jfk i'm sorry man i said i was thinking these i was thinking these flights are going to be like 30 minutes but they turned into being you know these an, a four hour stream so we're going to end it here we're not going to end we're not going to not go to jfk though um this weekend i have a plan to do jfk to st martin and then st martin to like tampa or fort lauderdale or something we'll see so that should be a good one because finally we can run jfk you do a cat three and i was one was clear talking about approaches uh you sure i was about to say gamer with the butter appreciate it. told you it worked yeah it works well appreciate that man flower of the ship looks hot i'm no bro it looks beautiful look at the sunset we got and you got the the obviously fly tampa boston grounds dude oh dude the ground looks so good all right let's go ahead and we'll zoom it here top outside let's let it run through the replay here for a second it kisses the ground just here let's go ahead we'll reset the camera view reset position now that's external view oops got to go to the camera this is where we reset position follow mode lock mode control there you go let's block that down for here uh, let's get it on this side first zooming in just a little bit here obviously we're gonna we, we have to start off with the ugly side you know what i'm saying it can't be the beautiful side we're gonna end the stream with the beautiful side there we go that's centered enough let's go ahead and throw it back up we'll check out the replays on that angle lovely flight man this looks beautiful dude i still can't believe i lost the sim market giveaway though that was the most uh, i'm so sorry game room like i said if there is something i could really do to to make a difference i would but it's just how the rules are man i really can't i'm sorry about that you load up the new jfk since i've had the jfk um it's just i wasn't i've never really streamed it i've streamed it a few times uh it's just with my old graphics card jfk was unplayable i'll get like three fps streaming there with all my apps open for streaming well now that i have the graphics card the 4070 i'm able to actually get some good flights in through jfk so that's why we're going to be using it now i've had it for a minute though so i want to write yeah and then isaac wins i was actually hilarious dude i was i was kind of laughing at that i was like oh come on bro it went from game rim to isaac like bro cool uh four guys and four guys what predicted they're still going all right let's get another view here let me speed up the camera it's super slow all right there we go and we're gonna go ahead and we'll bring this back just a little bit more let's see what this angle looks like and after this one we'll call it a day, uh, night man 72 likes let's see if we get it three more likes until we hit 75 this evening man i appreciate you guys stopping in <clears throat> oh my gosh this is entertaining bro i kind of just want to let the stream keep going Oh, this song playing with the oh
Hold on. That was kind of nice with it coming in like that. Let's get it. Let's do a flyover. Let's do a flyover. Last one, because I that was actually too clean. I'm not gonna lie, that was too clean. The the beat the beat rocking do. <laughs> Uh, what is man's argument? I don't even know. You see my pictures, aviation page when I end the stream up, man. I'll check them out. My guy got you. Fires with the moo. I want to hear the engines. The engines don't have any sounds and they're super loud. They're horrible in this plan. You won't hear them. We have the audio max turned up right now too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. Come on. That's so nice. Cool. Let's pause it here. We'll throw it back to where it was. Let's get it a nice clean view to end it out with this evening. Get it about here. Nice. And we'll go ahead and throw it back up. Throw it to about, about here. Looks good. Let's go ahead and end out this song here. And we'll get our songs playing, man. Lovely stream today. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Lovely flights today, man. I had a freaking blast flying this plane. I honestly thought this was going to be a little rough because I didn't do a full test flight. But, I mean, we did a good, nice two good landing. We had like a 128 and a 114. I will happily take that. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream, man. Um, so like I said, tomorrow we're going to be uh, flying into a VATSIM event. Uh... Orlando to Indianapolis and back should be fun if you guys haven't already though hit that like button um but yeah I appreciate you guys all stopping in and all that we're gonna be live for the rest of the week till Sunday or actually till Monday but I hope you guys have a great evening stay safe take care and I'll see you guys tomorrow Peace. Thank you.